friends. Hi. Welcome. How dang excited are we? I am pretty dang excited. Um. <laughs> me, let me back up real fast. Say hello to everyone. Uh, Emmy, Luna, Fruity, Arcade, Allie, Howdy Buds. How's it going? How are we doing? Um, happy to have you here, Arcade. I mean, it's your game, so I have to specifically call you out. Uh, <laughs> but I'm happy you're all here. I'm stoked. I'm excited. It's weird. Um, because it's a Friday and we're starting way earlier than we usually do. But I wanted to give us enough time to experience the game. Um, <laughs> We're all here to experience Krovin. Um, I kind of let I kind of let the community decide, and more people were in favor for Krovin than not. I figure I will do some of the other routes to try to go for the true ending in my own time. I don't want to do I don't want to do everything. I don't want to cover everything, Cemetery Mary, because I need these heathens here to also pick it up and play it themselves. Reminder, it's free on Steam. <laughs> you know, you know, Twilight's just such a lovely, wonderful, kind character. Uh, <laughs> I do love Twilight, but also, but also, we gotta go hang out with our, <laughs> our goofy, sad pro buddy. It's gonna be fine. Um... <laughs> Anyway, I'm stoked. I'm excited. I'm glad y'all are excited. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm breathing incorrectly. <laughs> also, ready? Ready? Rip it and rip it. Um, I am... I am wearing the screwy shirt today. It seemed fitting. Seemed like the correct move when getting dressed. Uh upon waking up this morning. So that's a thing that's happening. Um, I don't have much else to say, honestly. I'm stoked. I'm ready. Um, fair. Fair. But good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad y'all are, y'all are on it. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm trying to think of, like, if there's, like, anything, like, super important that we need to discuss beforehand. Not really. Not really. Uh. <laughs> Doing ah, bah, 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 noises now. I did see in the preferences um, that there was a character blips volume option, which I don't remember seeing beforehand. I don't think that was a thing. I could also just be absolutely losing my shit. It's been a minute since we've. Uh, Done. Some cemetery Mary. Sorry, I'm like moving things around on my desk. Um, uh, as far as announcements are concerned, don't have anything new to say. Schedule's gonna be the same as per usual for the foreseeable future. For the foreseeable future. Why was that so hard to say? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I think I think we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna get into it gonna interrupt the lovely music here it is here it is y'all can't see my cursor good um uh, i have messed around with some of the settings to make sure that it all runs properly i have not checked sound though so apologies if it's too loud we will try to address it when we start but like if we're ready let's just fucking go let's just let's just let's just go um, reminder, we do have content warnings in the, in the chat, but also here in case you need to see it. Uh, which, thank you, Arcade, for putting, putting the list of content warnings on the page. <laughs> like, on the game page. I know I scream about that a lot, but I do appreciate it. Um, how does that sound? I'm gonna turn it to about there. Is that good? Too loud? Just fine? Has it been move us over a little bit? Try to 
arrange everything, so it was nice. I'm not happy with it. <laughs> oh, this is your first experience with Cemetery Mary, isn't it, Luna? <sighs> I forgot you weren't here. Um. <laughs> Get, get cozy, get comfy. It's going to be a lot of reading, but it's going to be great. Um, I'm excited for y'all. Okay, we're just going to we're just gonna go. Uh, and we are just going to start from the very beginning. I mean, I know that a lot of us have seen it, but we're going to do it again, because why not? Um, I've never been to a funeral that I didn't enjoy. That is, until very recently. And I wasn't quite sure how to feel. It was a beautiful service. And one they certainly deserved. If only it had come later in their lifetime. Then maybe it could have been prevented. If there wasn't a murderer in my city. That's what everyone's been saying anyways. The Blackwood Butcher. That's what they call them at least. It was hard not to overhear the rumors people said about them. I heard they strike at night. I heard they only target one person at a time and don't stop until they're dead. I heard it's a ghost blindly seeking revenge. I didn't believe in any of that. At least, not at first. But my parents did. And because of that, they didn't like me going off to the cemetery all alone. Staying until it closed. Walking home by myself in the dark. Even though it was only across the street, these rumors have uh, made them afraid for my safety. Do you really believe they're real? I asked my father. Sorry, it is dry as fuck here. <laughs> I do, he answered. Are you really worried for me? My mother did not say anything, but that's to be expected. They thought I was a perfect target, but I didn't still believe in it. Still, they were worried about me, so they sent me off to live with my aunt, uncle, and cousin. They didn't live far. At least, not anymore. They moved from their fancy home in gorgeous Helen City, to a small little cabin in the woods. I never understood why. But I never really asked about it either. My parents felt I would be safer with them. I didn't want to leave. But every day I stayed only seemed to stress them out more. So I went. To make them feel better. For the first few weeks, everything was fine. I barely left the house. Barely went to town anymore. And when I did, I was always with someone. Taking all precautions to avoid becoming a victim of the butcher but I still thought it was only a rumor. Even if the number of deaths in our community increased, I never thought that I or someone I knew would be a victim. Then, that thing happened. To those two. And for the first time, I was worried. Shortly after that, my own parents disappeared. They weren't in the diner, nor could I contact them. Even the authorities couldn't figure it out. No one had seen them. It was as if they had suddenly vanished. As if they were killed off. I don't like to think about that possibility. Actually, well, there was also that other thing that's happened. Maybe I should have told the authorities about it. Or anyone for that matter. But I was too afraid of what might happen if I did. There's our baby! <laughs> the blips! The blips are here! Uh, I knew I would fall asleep if I sat down. Is it raining outside? It wasn't supposed to rain today. The light's on outside. Is Croven out there? I'd better go check. There's our boy! There's our boy! Let me just get stupid excited about this. Um, what are you doing out here? You're out here. Where's Aunt and Uncle? Groven, I finished dinner. Come inside. What are you doing out here? It's raining. <laughs> oh, his blips. I can see that it's raining, Mary. Finish dinner. Come inside. It's spaghetti. I used your favorite sauce, too. Um. <laughs> No, not the perpetual blips. <laughs> Hold on. Can we, uh... We didn't do it properly. 
properly. It's okay. Uh, okay, I'll be inside in a second. Just let me put this out. Also, a little baby crowman in the corner. All the food is cold. Um, I know I fell asleep after I made it, so I just wanted to take a seat in the living room, but it's fine. I'm not complaining. Other than that, we didn't say much, and dinner was quiet. I cleaned up most of it, but Crowman helped a little bit. After that, he went to go sit in the living room. Once I finished cleaning the kitchen up, I joined him like usual. Normally after dinner, when Crowman and I sat here together, we'd do something fun. We'd play a game on our phones together, or we'd just uh, get out a board game, or we'd play cards. Talk about our days if something exciting happened. But... That's when Aunt and Uncle were still... Crowbin's been in a pretty bad mood lately. It's not as if I can blame him. I want to talk to him, but... I don't really know if it's uh, if he's much in the mood to talk. What should I do? I'm gonna get mad, but I'm gonna attempt a conversation. Crow, do you want to talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. Still got my old therapist number, you know? Crowbin? You know the reason she was your old one? I know. But she was good at this kind of stuff. And I've been thinking that maybe... Shut up, Just shut up already. You have any bitter over it? Why are you trying so hard to rush me into therapy, huh? thought you knew about this shit better than anyone, but here you are. I'm not gonna stop being upset just because you miss me being all happy, smiling, and shit. Crowbin, please! <laughs> Can't you just stop trying to fucking talk to me about it? Get over it when I get over it. Let me get your own life and then st you'll stop worrying so much over mine. Sorry. I think I ended up making Crovin more agitated trying to talk to him. Oh well. She's just trying to help, buddy! After a few, uh, few more moments of awkward sitting, I went upstairs and headed to my bedroom. I didn't want to make Crovin angrier than I had already. <laughs> Crovin, you will love me regardless of whether you want. No, that's not true. I will encourage you gently, but firmly, to appreciate the help I'm offering. If you want it. <laughs> I love you, love you, please. I brushed my teeth and got changed into my pajamas. Stretched out on what you could consider my bed. The room I have in the cabin is nice. Not like my room back in my actual home, but I've stayed here so long I've been able to decorate it a bit more like to my liking. <gasps> Hi, Smiley, I love you. Enjoy your reading. Thank you for the lurk run. Um, it's a pleasant room to stay in, even if it's not quite home. Of course, I don't normally sleep right away. I usually read a book or watch a movie on my laptop or lie awake thinking of every embarrassing thing that's happened in my life. <laughs> well, same. But as of recent, I've picked up a different nighttime ritual. One that's nowhere near as pleasant. Phone time, phone time, time for phone. The text message I had received the days following my parents' disappearance. It was from a number I didn't recognize. Your parents are safe, it had said. I know I should have done something smart. I should have told someone. But instead, I texted the number back. And they responded to me. Hi, kitty cat. Yeah. Um, I've noticed that other that other than the first message, they usually don't reach out to me. It's me who keeps texting them, hoping to find out what's happening behind all this. It's true. <laughs> we love Mary, but she keeps making bad choices in her life. Mary, <laughs> please. <laughs> Are you still awake? I'm awake whenever you want to talk. Mm, are my parents still alright? Yes. Why are you keeping a careful eye on them? How can I be so sure you even have them? What if you're just trying to prank me? But who was phone? We still haven't figured that out. Just saying. We still haven't. Haven't figured that out. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay, that's a not very great. That's not very reassuring. <laughs> Real talk. Our sweet Mary. Um, what if you're just 
trying to prank me. Why would I do that? Because I'm hoping it's a prank? I'm sorry. It isn't a prank. I can promise that it's all real. How did you even get my number? <laughs> okay. Real talk. I have, uh, I have threatened to make this plushie because it shows up in, um, Arcade's other games as well. I'm gonna talk about Arcade as if she's not sitting here with us right now. <laughs> but it's precious and we love it. <laughs> but of course, with, with Arcade's permission, um, I will 100% make, make this little buddy because I also adore him. Tumulus! Tumulus? Sorry if I'm saying your username incorrectly, but hello! Welcome! <laughs> okay, you got cute shit in your games. Let me make the things from your games. It's gonna be great. Um, but yeah, welcome in, friend. How's it going? How are you doing? Uh, both are okay? Cool. Good. <laughs> um, but hi. Welcome in. Make yourself comfortable. We're, uh, we're reading some cemeteryary today. Also, Allie, thank you for the contribution to the center sandwich. I love you, bitch. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. Um, <laughs> alright. But also, Arcade, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna make them. Oh! <laughs> Too many exclamation points. Um, did you ask how you got my number? Your parents gave it to me. Why would they do that? Because they care about you. You must be lying to me. My parents wouldn't do something like that. <laughs> it's too dang excited. It's understandable and fair. <laughs> um, I'm sorry you don't know your parents as well as you think you do. What does that mean? Seriously, you freak me out. I just want my parents back. Please don't drag this out. I just want them back home. You should get some rest. It's late, isn't it? I'll talk to you tomorrow. I don't like to text for too long. Until then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Mary. Uh, they suggested that I get some rest. But how do they expect me to do that? I've never felt more restless in my life. Even asleep, I knew I wouldn't rest. When I woke up the next morning, Crobin had already left for the day. But that wasn't a surprise. He had been staying out late and leaving super early ever since... The incident. Um. <laughs> I'm excited to hear all of the blips. Uh, and I think we all know that I'm particularly excited to hear Reggie's blips. I need to hear them. Um, also, captions. Captions, why didn't you say Reggie's lamps? <laughs> blips there you go there you go please captions <laughs> um i think being home bothers him i'm not surprised whenever i pass the diner i too feel like not being there it's not the same without mom and dad after all despite this cabin being out in the middle of the woods it really isn't all that hard to get back to blackwood <gasps> Outside of our cabin is a faint dirt trail. It gets a bit twisty at some parts, but isn't too confusing. It takes about 15 minutes to walk down, but maybe 10 if you're fast. At the end of the trail, there's a fence. One with a slight gap in it. And past that fence, there's a little community. It isn't big. A few trailers with a few people living all the way out there. Far from anything that's... Well, anything. But there's a road here and a bus that comes through. It runs through Blackwood, so whenever we need to leave, we take this bus. And then, after the end of a short trip... There's that good music. You're in Blackwood. It's the city I grew up in, and I always really loved it. There's the library and the local stores, but my most favorite place to be is the Blackwood Cemetery. It's got lots of trees to read under and the prettiest headstones I've ever seen. There's a mausoleum too, though I've never been inside. 
private mausoleum, you know? Art very good. Art very good. Also, I imagine. <laughs> You've done a wonderful job, Arcade. Honestly. None of us can stress enough. Good art. Um, I don't know who, who it belongs to. Anyways, I always try to leave flowers when I visit, at least every so often. But I visit a lot. I like to think it helps them, you know? To not feel lonely. And then, after having spent my day in Blackwood, I come back home the same way I left. But I always make sure no one sees the way I come back home. Art good! <laughs> Uh, just in case, you know? <laughs> Sorry, the, uh, the last image is the one that I used for the, uh, Cemetery Mary thumbnails that I made. <laughs> kind of sad I don't have all my hair anymore. I can't do, I can't do Mary horns. Uh, despite the recent events, I too leave the cabin more than ever now. Groven is rarely home, and I don't like being here alone. I know I'm just being paranoid, but I don't like the thought that maybe the butcher could find me out here all alone. Nikki Chu O One is raiding with a party hey! of three. Hey, and the gang welcome you. Hello, friends, Nikki. Thank you for the raid, bud. I appreciate it. How is it going? Doing some, doing some Five Nights at Freddy's. The security breach is that the that's the new one, right? How are you liking it? How is stream? How is it going? Also realizing that chat looks like garbage on screen. Is there a way for me to fix this? Maybe not. It's fine. Um, but hello, Nikki and Raiders. How is it going? Gonna hop on over here real quick. Um, Johnny Yama, hello. Welcome in. You liking it? It's a little confusing, though. I have heard from what I have seen of it, it looks like the maps are, like, gigantic. Maybe a little too large. Um, but howdy, welcome in, friends. Nikki knows me. I don't know if the others the others who came in know me, but if in case you don't, my name is Keisha. You can call me Keish. I am a queer horror and mystery game streamer. We play lots of spooky stuff over here. Um, we are a, a an 18 plus stream. We like to swear and talk about things that can potentially be a little inappropriate sometimes, but also a lot of the content that we play is, uh, definitely more mature. Um, but welcome on in, get comfy, get cozy. We are currently playing a game called Cemetery Mary. It is a visual novel written by, uh, written, made, <laughs> uh, illustrated by our friend here, Arcade Chant, who's in chat. Um, it's good game. It's good game. <laughs> we do, uh, thank you, Travis, for getting that up. We do offer content warnings for every single game that we play. Um, because like I said, we do have, we do tend to cover slightly more mature topics. Um, so if you ever need to know what is in a game, you can hit exclamation point CW. Um, they're also on a timer, so they'll show up in chat every once in a while. Otherwise, if you're interested in checking out the game that we're playing, um, by wishlisting it, suggesting it to your friends, purchasing it yourself, exclamation point, uh, game link is the best way to pull up a link to the game. Thank you, Travis. Um, can't hear me. I, uh, I, it looks like my microphone's picking up. Can anyone else verify if there are sound issues? Okay. Um, I was gonna say, the game do it doesn't have any sound at the moment. I've stopped on a screen. Um, but as long as we can hear it before. Yeah, computer. Uh-oh, computer. That's a computer issue. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Um, cool, 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 cool. I hope that Brit can get that sorted out. Not, you know, computer issues kind of suck. Um, but yeah, welcome in, everyone. Uh, if y'all need to, presumably you've been streaming for a little while, if you need to get up, take, uh, take a break, do a stretch, get some food, get some water, tend to whatever business you got to around your place, feel free to. Uh, I'm streaming much earlier today than I normally do. We are planning on streaming until we reach the end of the route that we're going to do uh, in Cemetery Mary. We'll see how long we go. We'll see how tired I get. 
but uh, we'll be around for a good long while. So if you do need to take a break, feel free to get up. Um, yeah, we'll be around if you want to come back and hang out. If not, no pressure, no sweat. <laughs> We're going to speed run it. I'm just going to rush through all of the reading. It's going to be great. Don't even worry about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, pop on back over here. See what's going on. Um, yeah, no, Nikki, go take care of yourself. Uh, like I said, get up, stretch, grab some food, get something to drink. Take a moment to rest your eyes from a computer screen. Um, like I said, we'll be here if you decide to come back, but if not, no pressure, no sweat. Self-care. It's important. Do the thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if anyone else is sticking around and hanging out, welcome in. We're happy to have you here. Um, where were we? I don't like the thought that maybe the butcher could find me out here all alone. Even if that's the whole reason I'm here in the first place. So, I go out a lot now. Feel more comfortable surrounded by lots of people. Despite how things may seem, I always preferred to be around people anyways. That's one reason why I like to go to the cemetery so often. There's always people there. Even if you can't see them. Um, after I got out of bed, I made myself a small breakfast and got changed into one of my favorite outfits. Proven's gone, and the bus I take into town should be arriving any minute now. <laughs> Sorry, the blips still scare me. I'm not used to them. Ah, it's fine. Um, where should I go today? We should go to... This one doesn't matter, right? Because this is just meeting everybody, right? We'll just start from the top. Go down. We'll go to the library first because I want to hear his blips. <laughs> All right, goth girl jump scare. The scariest thing. The music is so good. I just the tone and the feel of the game is just perfect. Reggie blip time. Reggie blip time. <laughs> Tamales, have you played Cemetery Mary before? Have you experienced this? Struggle so much getting a good blip from. It's got to be right. It's got to be perfect. <laughs> I'm sure it came out perfect though Hold on, we're gonna hear it Decided to go to the library There's nothing quite like a good book My favorite kind of books are mysteries <gasps> Do it! It is, uh, so like I said We do have the game link available It is available on Steam um, And Itch.io Free on both There is an art book available for purchase On Steam though if you're interested in it at all Um but it is free. Would definitely recommend. It's very good. Oh, I'm excited that this is your first time experiencing it, though. Awesome! Alright, my favorite kind of books are mysteries. Not necessarily murder mysteries, but mysteries in general. In fact, I kind of prefer it when the mysteries don't involve anyone dying. There's a lot less tension there, you know? But maybe I'm just too soft. I also quite enjoy manga. Especially the shoujo kind. I feel almost embarrassed to like them, but I find that they're cute and nice, and I like seeing characters fall in love. Yeah, a shoujo. Maybe that's what I'll try to find at the library today. I stepped into the library and began to make my way over to my favorite spot. A tucked away corner in the library, right by a single window. Sometimes I'd spend an entire day in that corner just reading. I've even managed to finish entire books without leaving the library. I looked forward to doing something like that again today, but... <gasps> Him! <laughs> Him! <laughs> ah, it's a good mug. This is man juice. Our little gingerbread boy. We love... We love him. But also him! <laughs> Me going rabbit over Reggie already. This is a Croven run. We're gonna stick with Croven, but also... My mans. <laughs> when I got to my favorite spot, I noticed a man was already sitting there. Our boy! <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. I'm glad. I figured, but also... Him. <laughs> awesome! 
Yeah, I like to, like, regardless of, uh, regardless of what game we're playing, how big or small, regardless of, like, who made it or whatever, I like to provide the links because it it's good. We like to support the people that make it so I can stream. <laughs> you know how it is. I was surprised because usually this library was pretty empty, but this man, he's familiar. That's your boyfriend, Mary! Oh my god. <laughs> I've met him before. Da, 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 da. Him. I'm gonna, I need to take a moment. <sighs> okay. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> Did I take your seat? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mary, you have to recognize your boyfriend. Come on. He's only the most perfect person that has ever existed. All right, I can do this. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, it's you. Da, da. Mary. Da, 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 da. Marianta, yes? <laughs> oh, that's great. I remember you. From the funeral, right? Da, da. You should lie to him just to have... I can't do it. <laughs> Indeed. Da, 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 da. Do you remember my name? Reginald? <laughs> da, 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 da. That's right. Da, 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 it's a pleasure da, da, da. to see you here. I was hoping I'd run into you again one day. Oh? Da, 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 da. <laughs> I hope that doesn't come off da, 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 da. You were just such a pleasant person to be around. Da, 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 da. You really brought life into that funeral. <laughs> Oh, really? But thank you, I think. Da, 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 da. So, what brings you to the library today? Oh, well, I didn't really have plans, so I thought I'd check out a book or something. Hold on, I am going to turn down the blips just a little bit. I'm get all burpy all of a sudden. My bad. <laughs> da, da, da. That's a little better. Is that too quiet for y'all? <laughs> da 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 the most romantic sound. Look, I'd listen to Reginald go da 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 at me all night, okay? Anything to get him to speak to me. Um <laughs> We all love Reginald here. We're all Reginald stands here. It's okay, we understand. I have I have a few characters that I have written that I'm like that with. We get it. <laughs> Likewise. Da, 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 da. What kind of book were you interested in checking out? I don't want to lie to him. <laughs> A show, yo. Also oh, her face. Not me already screenshotting everything constantly. I'm um I'm actually here to look for a shoujo manga. Da, 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 da. A shoujo manga. Da, da, da. <laughs> What's that? Oh, um, it's like, do you know what a manga da, 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 da. is? I have an idea, but I can't say I've read one myself. <gasps> Hi, Bunno. Thank you for the lurk, friend. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> well, it's like one of those, but it usually centers around the romance between the two main characters, and sometimes there's like, Friends or rivals? <laughs> Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? <laughs> Do I look like I know what a shoujo is? I just want a picture of my goddamn Mary. <laughs> look, open, clear communication. We gotta let we gotta let Reggie know what Mary likes. Okay. <laughs> But, but I really like the comedy ones because you get cute jokes mixed into the romance. But sometimes the drama ones are really cute too, and they can get really intense. And, uh, sorry, I'm rambling. Also, thank you, Allie, for getting that shout out out there. I appreciate it. Um, I'm not good at explaining da, 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 da. things. No worries, I think you did a good da, job. Da, 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 da. A show joke. Sounds interesting. Da, 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 da. Perhaps I'll check one out myself da, later. Da, 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 da. 
trying to be more open to new things, after all. Anyways, what are you reading? Or what are you here to read? Me? I'm reading Manslaughter on the Disorient Locomotive, which... <laughs> Thank you, copyrights, for not being able to get Murder on the Orient Express. <laughs> In there. Also, hydrate time! If there's anyone new in chat, we do this thing where if I have to, sorry, it's a little dusty. Um, if I have to do a self-care thing, like take a drink or do a stretch or any of that stuff, it is highly recommended that you do it as well. You might not be talking as much as I am, but it's still important. <laughs> one day, one day that train will be yours. Uh, I think, oh, we just looked it up. I am, I'm extremely thirsty. I'm sorry. Our man is here. <laughs> uh, I think we looked it up recently because I wanted to read some Agatha Christie and I think most of her stuff becomes public domain in 2026 I think that's right I could be wrong though also it's drink time The thirst still remains. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta take like baby sips from this thing. I desperately need to get a new uh, cap on my water bottle because this one is too tiny. I have a powerful thirst. <laughs> do it. Do it. Fucking do it. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, I've been meaning to read that one too. Da, 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 da. Do you want it then? What? Oh no, no, that's okay. Uh, please take your time. <laughs> so, so Reggie is Poirot, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> and or the one who was killed. 2030 for Orient Express? Okay, thank you, Allie. I wasn't too far off. But now we know. You've got you got eight years to get the to get this going, Arcade. <laughs> Alright, uh, take your time. Just uh if you wouldn't mind would you tell me when you're done with it? You know, so I could maybe read it after. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Uh, I've already gotten pretty far in, and I don't think I'll be finished by today. For so little time. Um, sorry, I've got hiccups. Uh, you have a cell phone, uh, cell phone, yes? Also, this is the smoothest way to get a girl's phone. Just tell them you'll message them when, when a book is free. Uh, would it be alright if I have your number? That way I can notify you as soon as I finish. And, well, I'd like to try and be friends too, if that's alright. Oh, really? I mean, yeah, of course. Reginald and I exchanged phone numbers. I was shocked he even remembered me. <laughs> 20 out of 10, way to get a girl's number. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fucking love Reginald. I cannot, cannot stress enough how much I love Reginald, and I will not be discussing him in length because I don't want to spoil anything for his route in, in the off chance that you, uh, you play through it. Reggie is so nice. <laughs> Listen, Reggie is so nice. Also, it's too warm for a blanket now. Get it out of here. Don't worry about it, Lamia. You just have more blankets to steal from me now. Murder of Roger, Roger Ackroyd just entered the public domain. <gasps> the next couple of years is going to be very good for public domain stuff. Real talk. <laughs> um, but I consider meeting him again a pleasant surprise. And one I really appreciated. After our exchange, I picked out a shoujo book from one of the shelves and began to read it in one of the other spots in the library. I ended up liking it so much I looked for the other books and brought two or three with me to read. Uh, to read later. After I came home, had dinner, and cleaned the kitchen up, I began my usual nighttime routine. 
I got changed into pajamas, brushed my teeth, sat on my bed, and texted whoever they are. Hi, it's me again. Are you there? Yes. You're still not going to tell me anything, are you? No. Can I ask you something, even if you won't give me an honest answer anyways? Okay. Are you the Blackwood Butcher? Would I tell you if I was? Are you afraid for their safety? Of course, why wouldn't I be? Let's see. Why do you have them? I wouldn't put it like that. I don't own them after all. Even if they are in my keeping for now. You're way too vague. Why did you even contact me to begin with? I thought you'd like to know about your parents. I'm only trying my best to keep you happy. You think I'm happy? Maybe not now, but you will be. I have to go now. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love her little nighty. <laughs> After another frustrating and unsettling night of text messages, I got under the covers and tried my best to sleep. It wasn't easy, and I had a lot of difficulty trying. I don't remember exactly when, but eventually I was able to sleep, even if not peacefully. Car just drove out past outside. It was very loud. <laughs> um, Dad? <laughs> Baby Harry. Yes, sweetheart? Also his blips. Um, yes? Is something wrong? <laughs> It's a very good dad blip, though. Real talk. Mama told me that Uncle Ray died. Did she know? Are we going to see him? No, no. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. <laughs> I don't? But... Listen, Mary. Normally when someone passes, you hold a funeral for them, right? Yeah? The thing about funerals, though, is that they're for people who are worth remembering. I can definitely hear, like, the Sans-esque sound to them. Um. After I got out of bed, I made myself a small breakfast and got changed into my favorite outfit. Corbin's gone, and the bus I take into town should be arriving any minute now. Where should I go today? Let's just go down the list. Let's go to the cafe. Uh, I decided to go to the new cafe that opened up. I just realized? Sorry. Nope, never mind. It's fine. Nope. <laughs> just realized by doing Crovin's route, we might get to see a little more of Vasilis, won't we? Which is very exciting. Even if not a ton, at least a little bit. Uh, I decided to go to the new cafe that opened up. Planet Dollars is a popular cafe, uh, coffee chain, but we've never had one in this town. Well, until now, that is. I've always wanted to go to one, just to try it, you know? Although, I don't actually like coffee. But still, I could at least see what they had, right? When I got to the cafe, it was already packed. I thought since I, it had already been around for a few weeks, some of the hype surrounding it would have died down. But I guess not, seeing as how noisy and crowded it was. Um... <laughs> Okay. 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 It's fine. It just means I need to catch up on here for sweethearts. <laughs> um. Still, at least it was something different from usual. As I said, I'm not particularly fond of coffee. And since I had a light breakfast anyways, I decided to treat myself with a muffin. A chocolate muffin. Because sweet foods are the best. However... I found myself in a bit of a pinch when I tried to look for some place to sit down. It seemed as though everyone's seats were already taken, and I really didn't want to walk and eat at the same time. Luckily, though, I was able to find an empty seat. Hi, Twyla. Also, I love the coffee symbol in the background. Is it different? It's not different, is it? Me trying to remember what it looked like when we played this ages ago. Oh no. Right? It's eyebrows! 
A girl around my age with the most spectacular eyebrows was diligently working on her laptop with an empty seat across from her. No, it's the same okay. I love it, though. I do love it. <laughs> it's just been a minute. Um, I figure she must be writing an essay for college or something. Those are her eyebrows. They're magnificent. Oh my god, we're getting so many rates today. Ghost Panda Zero is raiding with a party of two. Hi Pace Panda. And the gang welcome you. Right? They're very good eyebrows. Um, hello Panda and Raiders. Welcome in. How are you doing? How is it going? How is the Minecrafting? Thank you, Allie, for getting those shout-outs out. Um, welcome in, buddies. How are you doing? I am, like, super washed out, but that's because this screen is so dang bright. It's fine. Um, <laughs> thank you for the raid, Panda. I super duper appreciate it. Um, quick introduction. Hello. Are you doing well today? Good! Oh, no! I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's rough get to start over do things a little differently maybe um but yes welcome in raiders my name is Keisha. you can call me Keish. i'm a queer horror and mystery game streamer we're playing some cemetery mary today uh it's great and fan fun fan fan fantastic words are hard <laughs> um we're doing a super long stream today though uh so hey panda if you've been streaming for a while Need to take a break, rest your eyes, get some food, do a stretch, get something to drink, go for it. Same thing goes at, uh, for the Raiders who came in. Uh, we'll be here for a good long while if you want to hang out for for longer. Um, got a much better biome to start in. Good. <laughs> nice. I don't know, Arcade. You saw how bad I did it the first time. Um, good! No, I'm glad that it went well and that, uh, even with the corrupted save, you were able to start a, a better world this time. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna be going for a good long while. If you need to get up and take care of yourself, please do so. Um, if you would like to come back and hang out afterwards, understandable. If not, totally okay. <laughs> what I did! Um, oh, four hours! Yeah, no, go, go... Go take care of yourself. Like I said, do a stretch, get some food, get some water, tend to whatever you gotta. We'll be here if you if you decide to come back. Um, we do have content warnings in chat. If anyone ever needs them for any of the games that we play, exclamation point CW is the best way to pull that up. Um, it'll either be a link or a list. In this case, we got a list of stuff um, that we will potentially encounter in the game. We like to make sure that you're all making informed choices about the kinds of content that you are uh, viewing. So. Panda, you're awesome too, though. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. Um, but yeah, no, thank you for the raid, Panda. I super duper appreciate it. <laughs> uh, let's get back into it. I figure she must be writing an essay for college or something. Coffee shops are popular with people in college, or so I hear. Seeing as this was the only seat left, I asked her. Uh, excuse me, may I sit here? She didn't verbally answer me. Rather, she glanced over at me, rolled her eyes, and nodded to the empty chair. I tried to look apologetic as I sat. Oh, so hold on a second. There we go. Thank you. Wool muffin. Uh, we'll just stay quiet. Continue to stay quiet. <laughs> you have the most spectacular eyebrows. We're gonna do it. Her blips, though. Thanks. So you're interested in what I'm doing here? Well, yeah, I guess. Right? I would also like this muffin, please. You seem to be very, uh, you seem to be very focused, after all. As focused as I can be. For real, though. <laughs> What's your name? Me? I'm Mary... Twyla. Nice to meet you. Anyways, I'm working on a report. A report? Like, for school? No. Have you noticed 
something odd going in town recently. Something odd. Not surprised if you haven't heard about it. It's like the police are trying to dull suspicions for just arrest potential suspects so everyone can feel safe. Oh. Oh! Are you talking about the killing girls? The Blackwood Butcher, right? Don't say it so loud. But, yes. How did you know? Oh, well, uh... I've been hearing the rumors for a while now. And actually, my aunt and uncle died pretty recently. They were, um, killed. Really? Uh -huh. That's actually pretty... How did they die? Oh, uh, I didn't... I don't know. No one really told me, but the circumstances were strange. Like, they didn't die naturally. There was definitely someone else involved. At least, that's what I've been told. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you can help me with this report. And, uh, some other stuff. Oh, I can? Yeah. If you're okay with that, of course. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure, I guess. I mean, having a killer around is bad, so if I can help, like, raise awareness or, or something. I mean, like, yes. I'd like to help you. Thanks. This will really put me ahead. I have to go, actually. I'm running late for something. Here, give me your phone number. I'm not entirely sure I'll need your help, but I'd rather have a way to contact you just in case. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Sorry, my cats are being weird. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> Tifa was just like walking around in circles. And then looked at me and just walked away. Okay, bud. Uh, Twyla, Twyla and I exchanged phone numbers. After she packed up her laptop and was, uh, after she packed up her laptop and was picked up by a car outside. Come to think of it, I didn't actually see her drink any coffee or order any food. I guess maybe she finished before I got there. I don't know why she would choose such a noisy place to work, though. After spending my day looking in some nearby stores, I went home pretty tired. I ate leftovers for dinner and yawned more than once as I got changed to my pajamas. Plucked myself onto my bed and pulled out my phone, ready to continue the nightly conversation. You're there, right? She's actually a ghost! Haunted Twyla! <laughs> of course I am. I don't know why I keep contacting you. I guess I'm just afraid if I don't, you'll disappear or something. That's unlikely. I know you won't tell, uh, tell me where my parents are, but can you at least tell me why you took them? No. Why not? I don't know who could be seeing these messages. I'm not showing them to anyone. You expect me to trust you? Or trust that? You expect me to trust you? Fair point. I really don't see how this works. How am I supposed to trust you or someone dangerous if you don't give me any info to go off of? Especially when I haven't even heard from my parents. Goodbye, Mary. Sleep well. Mm. Poor baby. <clears throat> I felt sick that night as I tried to go to sleep. Tossed and turned so many times, and yet I was still too tired to get up and try doing something else. I don't remember when, but eventually I was able to fall asleep. I didn't sleep very well, though. Not going back out there. Mama Mary, <laughs> you, you, you saw how they were looking at me. I can't do it. I can't. I'm sorry. I just... Maybe it's better if I don't anymore. After I got out of bed, I made myself a small breakfast and got changed into my favorite outfit. Carvin's gone and the bus I take into town should be arriving any minute now. Where should I go today? Time to go to the cemetery. I went to my favorite place, the cemetery. The cemetery is pretty much on the same block as my family's restaurant. Right next to it, in fact. 
All you have to do is cross the street. It's on the same side of the road. I think my parents chose this location because it's good for business. That's what mom told me anyways. People are usually hungry after a funeral. Crying really takes a lot out of you after all. I was always glad to live there because I really love visiting the cemetery. <clears throat> good, they deserve it. <laughs> down the rows and see who got flowers that day. I am just going to be chugging water this entire dang stream. Excuse me. We're just gonna get rid of the cap. I don't even want to deal with it anymore. Um, that's what I do most days. Sometimes I'll pick my own flowers just to leave on graves that look like they've been, uh, been forgotten about. I'm actually quite known for the cemetery. big juice you're too big sometimes some people have even begun to use a uh, nickname for me though I don't know how many of them even know what I look like there they are there they are there they are when I arrived at the cemetery gates however I was surprised to see Croven standing there with what looked like a new friend Croven? Mary? did you follow me? Huh? no I didn't you know I always come here. Yeah, that's, you, you, that's usually not until later. Why are you here so early? I mean, it's not as if I had anything better to do. But you have to be here right now. Kind of on a date. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry there, please. Oh, this is a date? I mean, it can be if you want it to be. Hmm, I'll think about it. <laughs> Who's your friend? This is Bacillus. I met him at the arcade. Yep. Sorry, Mary, but can you please go? I really just don't have the energy for this right now. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I'll, I'll see you later. Later. See you some other life, Mary. Bye, Bacillus. I love you. <laughs> it was a good ten seconds of my life. I love you. <laughs> I, 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 I got, I, <laughs> I can just stutter over my fucking words. Uh, I see what you did there is what I was attempting to, to say. And then, and then, and then got stuck. <laughs> Cause hospital game. Yes. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so excited for when, for when that's done. No rush or anything, but also. So excited. Um, <laughs> I left Croven alone. <laughs> don't want to interrupt his little date or whatever. I especially don't want to make him more mad at me. However, I wasn't going to let it, uh, let him stop me from going to the cemetery. I continued on, past the gates, and stepped inside. It seemed emptier than usual. It didn't look like any funerals were being held today. Would it be mean of me to wish there was? Yeah. It probably would be. Forget I said anything like that. It was a really awful thing to say. When nighttime rolled around, I headed back home. I slipped into my pajamas and headed to bed almost immediately. Of course, though, I couldn't sleep right away. I had someone I needed to talk to first. Also, because it's been a minute. <gasps> Hold on a second. Hold on a hot second. Are these... what's happening and catch up yeah <laughs> I assumed I was starting from scratch and was totally fine and, and like cool with that arcade you're amazing it did I was <laughs> just looking at these being like wait a second that's weird why'd you put such important save states in your game those are mine. I did those. That's awesome! Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's super appreciated and will make it so much easier for me when I go back. Right, Reggie is still here. It's all fine. Um, 
I was planning on doing like a bunch of runs like on my own uh, to, to to figure out more stuff that was going on, but I wanted to wait until until I did the the stream one. <laughs> this is very good. All right. <laughs> good evening again. Good evening. <laughs> Actually, literally, I will die. I think that'd be fine. I will. Okay, listen. <laughs> if you're fine with it, I might message you uh, when it when if I get to that point just to scream. Um, we'll see. That's gonna happen sometime soon, though. <laughs> just. No, I'm very excited to, like, finally, like, dive into this. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. No, Arcade, you cannot give me this permission because I will do it 100%. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'll, I'll do it then. Yes, Luna! One of us, one of us, one of us! Okay, this makes me so excited. This, honestly, this right here, this shit that we're doing right now is, was like my big, was my big goal for the channel in general, was just to like spread the word about indie devs and maybe meet and hang out and befriend some, but mostly just get the word out about their projects and stuff. And so like the fact that, the fact that Arcade's here and he's been so supportive and so wonderful in general, but then the fact that like everyone else is also like, super wonderful and fantastic and supportive of, of devs that we've like found and stuff and just ah okay <laughs> uh it's a good good time everyone here is so wonderful and i need you all to know that i need you all to know that also i mentioned it before earlier but i do have i do have my screwy shirt on today <laughs> right Indie dubs all day, every day. Okay. May I ask you something? <laughs> you always do. How did you know my name was Mary? I've always known. It's screwy time. Have you eaten your daily dose of screws today? Because if you haven't, screwy says eat more screws. Huh? I've always known what your name is. <laughs> Have we met before? did, you probably wouldn't remember. If. So we didn't meet? Take the if as a maybe. We may have met before. But would it make any difference if you didn't remember me? It would be as if we were meeting for the first time. That's weird. It, I'm uncomfortable. Any updates on my parents? They're fine. Will I ever see them again? Yes. I'm coming to get you, too. Mystery number, please. I just need more time. Good night, Mary. I went to sleep feeling pretty shaken that night. I tried not to think about it. I'm surprised I was able to get any sleep at all. Hold on. Excuse me. So sneezy. I'm surprised I didn't have any nightmares, either. Ooh. Uncle Cross? <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> yeah, Mary? Uncle Cross, can I ask you a question? <laughs> sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all sneezes all the time. Shoot, hey. That's not your food, Farley. If you're gonna be a butthole, I'm gonna pick you up, and you're gonna hate it. You want me to, you want me to show you off? I can show you off. Come here. Big lad! It's rare cat! It's rare cat! Big goofy rare cat. He is not pleased. Very not pleased. Get out of here, farts. Um. Smallis! Thank you for stopping in and hanging out for as long as you have. Sleep is very, very important. Um. <laughs> I hope that whenever it is that you get to play the game that you enjoy it. 
Um, it's been wonderful to have you here. Sleep well. That is a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Farley, Farley, very fluffy. Um, I am going to turn on a fan right quick because it is very warm up here again. Yeah, warm up. Nice. So, excuse me for a second. What are you doing, farts? Hey. Get out of here, big man. Mr. I'm gonna steal llama's food all of the time. You can't hear the fan, can you? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Fartly toot. He's a big boy. We love him. Nope. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Great! I love that. Uh, shoot. How do you lose your eye? Oh, man. That's not... It's fine. I don't mind. I lost my eye in the war. Are these new? You were in war, Uncle Cross? I was. I won't get into the specifics of it. Also, this little plush. It was important to me that I protect my family in any way I could. Do you miss it? My eyeball? Yeah. You know something? Not as much as I thought I would. I think I would miss you a bunch, a uh, bunch a lot more. I have no memory of this, the, <laughs> of those little bits. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not great at remembering stuff. I remember weird things. Forget important things. It's great. I woke up late the next morning. I must have been pretty tired after the last few days. Dragged myself out of bed and followed my normal morning routine. Got changed into my favorite outfit, had breakfast, etc. Now we made friends. And of course, Crowen was once again nowhere to be seen. Uh, seen. Me trying to click save. <laughs> Reading it wrong. We're on page eight. No, don't over right there. Put it there. Um, however, when I checked my phone that morning, I realized he had sent me a message. To my surprise, there were other messages there as well for my new friends. Who should I read first? That's precious. <laughs> uh, we're gonna read Crowens first. Hey Mary, I'm sorry. I know I've been acting pretty nasty to you lately. Hope you know I don't mean it. Have you been to the Planet Dollar yet? I'll be heading there for lunch today. Maybe at like 12.30? Right? Phone background? Very good. You should come and have lunch with me. My treat. Then I can like formally apologize or whatever. Mary, it's Twyla. If you're still interested in helping me, I'll be at the library around noon today. Should be quieter there. And there's some books I want to pick up for research purposes. Meet me there if you can, but if not, I'll just call you up another time. Uh, Kiki also has good art then! It's very precious. I love all these, like... I love all the little collaborations. <laughs> or, like, guest spots that you have in, in your games. They're cute. And I like them. Um. It's gonna take every ounce of willpower I have to not go spend time with Reggie. I need everyone to understand how difficult this is for me. Da, 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 da. Good morning, Miss Marianta. Da, 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 da. I hope you're doing well today. Da, 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 da. You had asked about the book the other day, right? Da, 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 da. Well, I actually finished it quicker than I expected da, 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 to. Really love to give it to you, but I won't be at the library today. Da, 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 da. I'm actually going to be at the cemetery. Da, 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 da. I like that place, though, right? Da, 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 da. You should come see me. Then I can pass the book over da, 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 da. to you. I'll be there a quarter after noon or so. Da, 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 da. <laughs> then maybe after we can grab lunch or something together. Da, 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 da. It's difficult. I just, I love, I love Reggie so much. Hope that doesn't come off weird. Da, 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 da. I just like some company for my lunch break. <gasps> Hi, Smiley. Da, da, da. I'll be back. How's it going, friend? No! Okay, I am going to save here again. It's fine if we save over that, because we haven't made any choices yet. Exit the phone! Um. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. We'll just have to live for a very short amount of time without Reginald, and it's gonna suck, but it'll be okay. 
Also, Allie has been on it with the shout outs today. Thank you, Allie. Um, what's up, Smiley? I was messaged by each of them. However, I think I only have time to meet up with one of them today. I mean, no, but yes. <laughs> There's kissable friends in Croven's row. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Where should I go today then? It is a thriller visual novel, um, where we all just thirst after Reginald all of the time because he is best boy. Um, yeah. <laughs> You know, when you play a game and there's just one character who you're like, I would like to smooch that kid. That's this. I would like to do a smooch on Reggie. Our sweet caramel haired boy. Give me the lad. Anywho, we are going to the cafe because we're going to go hang out with Croven. It was a tough choice, but I had to choose one of them. I told the others I had plans and that I... <laughs> I do love- <laughs> I need to make my own assessments for science. Hold on. I might have- I have a picture here somewhere. I have a picture here somewhere. Where is it? Please. It's not there. That's not it. Look, I have- I have- the very first Patreon request that I ever, ever made from Arcade on my computer somewhere. And we will wait while I try to find it. I have found it. It has been located. Yeah, 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 Game is free on, free on Steam. Go support our friends. If you want. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. We are going to do display capture. And, uh, wow, this is not going the way that I thought it would. Where is it? Where is it? Display capture! There? There's Reggie! There's the boy! <laughs> this is Reginald, and we love him so fucking much! Anyway. <laughs> He cute, and he, and he, and he great. His hair says cute, because he's cute. Sorry, do we need to see that again? I can zoom in on the cute. I can zoom in on the cute. You want me to zoom in on that cute? Let's zoom in on that cute. Look, look, there it is. It says cute, because he's cute. <laughs> Not me just going absolutely feral for this for this man. It's fine. It's fine. Um <laughs> Science is extremely important, that's fair. You don't got you don't gotta be in into into them. That just means more for the rest of us. <laughs> now we don't have to share. <laughs> I love Reggie so much. Um, all right, what, what's happening? I told the others I had plans and that I'd have to meet with them some other time. Twyla has magnificent eyebrows. I do have a weakness for, for characters with very good eyebrows, um, to be fair. But uh, I gotta do Twyla's route at some point. I gotta make it happen. All right, then when noon rolled around, I headed to my destination. Gotta go hang out with her cousin. They're very good eyebrows. Spotted Croven pretty quickly. Dressing the way we do, it wasn't that hard. Recognize those red and black striped sleeves from a mile away. When Croven saw me, he gave me a hug. And it made me realize how long it had been since, we had, uh, since he had last hugged me. His arms felt relaxed and he was wearing his classic smile. For a moment, it looked as if he was back to his normal old self. Croven, good goth boy. It's true. 
we had lunch together and like he had promised it was his treat. <laughs> Look at how happy he is! <laughs> Sorry. So you definitely dabbed? <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> you know I had to do it to him. <laughs> That's so you. Proven. We got all types in this dang game. <laughs> I know, right? Thought about mentioning how happy I was that he was starting to feel alright, but I was worried that by bringing it up, he might get upset again. <laughs> so I just kept the conversation going. There was no reason to bring it up anyways. So, would you consider it a successful date? Oh, yeah, totally. I mean, they looked ready to kill me by the end of it, but in the fun way, you know? Kind of like how Mom looks at Dad whenever he makes a bad pun. Exactly! Oh, I'm so happy for you. Do you think you'll take them out again? Maybe? Well, going on a date sounds fun. Uh, don't worry, Mars. Someone will take you out to one day. It's fine. You'll just end up in a coffin, but it's fine. but now that we have one, it actually ain't too shabby. Oh, actually, I've been here before. Oh, you have? His face? It's fine, Croman, it's fine. When? Oh, I was here just the other day, because I wanted to check it out. Funnily enough, we sat at this table, too. Oh, you did? Wait. Who's we? Did you suddenly make friends behind my back? Huh? Oh, when I was here, the place was pretty packed, so the only empty seat was at this, at this table. But some other girl was sitting here too, and I guess we're like, kind of friends now? Thank you, Allie, for, do, for doing the good mod stuff. I mean, I've just met her, but we're keeping in contact, so her name's Twi- Twyla? Yeah. Is there a problem with that? Mary, listen to me. I'm saying this because I care about you? Stay away from Twyla. He's just mad that she's got very good eyebrows. I'm I'm perceiving ting. <laughs> huh? Why? You just can't talk to her, okay? I can't. Ugh. All the people you had to talk to her. She's the kind of girl who'd stab the devil in the ass with his own pitchfork. Seriously, you shouldn't be talking to her. This just makes me even more intrigued about Twyla, Croven. Listen. Listen. <laughs> Do you know her? Did something happen between you two? You've never mentioned her before, and... Mary, please. I know I'm going, coming off really bad right now, and you probably think I'm being a giant dick, but just don't talk to her. You just can't. If she's that bad, I'll watch my back. Only doing this to please Croven. I already promised I'd help her with some stuff. But I trust your reasons for disliking her, even if I don't know what they are. I think it's a little late to back out of the arrangement, but I'll definitely take what you said to heart. I'll be careful. Good, you should be. Come on, let's go throw our trash out. Proven's got some dirt and isn't sharing? Buddy! Share. Lay it on us. Give us the tea. The tea is for Twyla. Um, <laughs> Crowan was still salty over Twyla, even after I had attempted to drop the conversation. He said he wouldn't, ta uh, wouldn't talk about it anymore, but I better not ever mention him to Twyla. Ever. We tried to spend the rest of the day together, but it was more than apparent he wasn't in a good mood anymore. At least by the time we started heading home, he had calmed down to a much more normal state. After getting home, he said he was going to smoke outside for a little bit, so I let him and headed up to bed. And did what I do every night. Time to talk to our stalker. I don't know that he's actually a stalker, but, you know. It's mystery number time. Hello. Can we talk about the thing you said the other night? I haven't been able to 
stop thinking about it ever since you said it. What's bothering you? You said that you were coming for me. That you just needed more time. Are you really going to steal me too? Who is phone? Who was phone? The world may never know. <laughs> uh, it'll be alright. I promise. It's for the best. Sick all over again. <laughs> Mystery number whisk me away. What do you want me to tell you? That I'll get to see my parents again? You will. At least that's what's planned. You shouldn't worry yourself sick over something like that. I promise I'm taking extra good care of them. Somehow that's still hard to believe. You'll see. I wouldn't do anything to disappoint you. When will this be over? Soon, hopefully. I just need more time. You'll hang on for me, won't you? Do I have a choice? <laughs> Sweet dreams, Mary. Um. Okay, you know, <laughs> when you put it like that, Travis. <laughs> I don't know, as far as we know. Sorry, I have to like move something on my shelf. As far as we know, it could be like. I don't know. I was gonna say something clever and then I just say could could not. Nothing came to mind. <laughs> um, I didn't sleep at all that night. I really didn't. There were a few times I shut my eyes and tried to, but <laughs> it's our buddy. It's true. I have got nothing. Could be, it could be dad. I don't know, maybe dad's playing a funny joke. Oh, ha, 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 Mary, we we were just, we went on vacation and I thought this would be funny. The joke just went a little too far. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> you know, that thing that dads do sometimes. <laughs> oh no, I don't know. <laughs> but nothing could calm me down anymore at this point. My anxiety was through the roof. I just wanted mom and dad back. I wanted to know for certain that they were okay. It should have been me that was taken. Maybe it was supposed to be. The next morning when I got up, Proven was still home. He seemed to be acting pretty normal for once. At the very least, not agitated. But despite this, I didn't sit and have breakfast with him. I wasn't in the mood to really talk to anyone. Not right now. Not after last night. It was too much. I just wanted some private time to myself. I just wanted to cool down. As I was about to leave, Crow called out to me. Am I eating breakfast, Mars? I responded, All right, doubt. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pick up something while I'm out. He responded with a simple okay, and after that, I was out the door. I just wanted to go to that place. Not be bothered. On the bus ride there, all three of them texted me again. Corbin said he noticed I left pretty quickly and hoped I wasn't upset with him for his behavior lately. Twilight talked about some of her progress on her research, and Reginald said he'd be at the cemetery again today. Although I appreciated their messages, I really just needed to be alone. I needed to go back there. I forgot that this was so early in in this whole situation. <laughs> And just relax. No, that's not the right word. I wasn't going there to relax. I was going there to mourn. The Dying Red. It's where I grew up. I lived my whole life in this diner. Restaurant? Bistro. I never know the right word for places like this. We always had such silly names for it since it was next to the cemetery. The restaurant in peace, sometimes the diner, even just simply dying dead. <laughs> I always wondered if others caught on. You probably wouldn't know just from looking at it, but there's two floors. The bottom floor is the diner itself. I've eaten there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, sometimes all in the same day. The top floor is more like a house. Our house. There's bedrooms, and a bathroom, and even a small living space with a TV. <laughs> we do a little pun sometimes. <laughs> it can be a little cramped sometimes, but it's cozy. 
no one could get up there but me and my parents, of course. The upstairs is locked. You need a key, which I have, of course. After Mom and Dad went missing, the authorities locked this place up, and it's been locked ever since. I don't want anyone going in there. Not even me. Because I don't know. It's kind of like a crime scene or something. But I still have the key for the front, too. It's my house, after all. I carefully scanned the area around me as I stood in the parking lot. There were a few cars that passed by, and maybe a person or two on the sidewalk, but no one really seemed to pay me any mind. It was still a bit early in the morning, so I wasn't, uh, it wasn't surprising to see so few people out. I looked over my shoulders a few more times to make sure no one was watching me. Then I stepped up to the front door, unlocked it, and took a step inside, closing the doors carefully behind me. When I stepped inside, I was instantly hit with a wave of all different kinds of emotions. I'd been avoiding the diner for a long time because whenever I passed it, I just think of mom and dad and feel sad. But now, stepping inside, it felt nice. At least a little bit. Just being able to be in my own house after so long. It was bittersweet. On one hand, I felt so happy to just be home. Everything was just as, uh, just as I had left it. The light still entered through the windows the same, uh, uh, the same way it always did. It still smelled faintly of delicious food, even though the kitchen hadn't been used in a while. Even Mom's specials, uh, specials board was in the same spot. But it felt so empty, so desolate, so abandoned. There wasn't even any electricity here, so the place was hardly ever empty. We always had customers, and the diner always did well. It was hardly a moment where I'd come downstairs and see mom, or only see mom and dad. There was always people, even if just one person was here. The counter would be full of coffee drinkers at night and in the mornings. I'd see families come by for dinner, or people out on dates come here. I always loved being able to see that. There were so many good memories in this place, like... Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember what we chose last time, because I would love to see a different... Thing. I think we did the birthday. We did the time we had a Halloween party. It was more like a trunk or treat kind of thing. We had a bunch of cars lined up in our parking lot giving out candy. There were a few games to play. I remember Mom helping me put together a little Grim Reaper costume. It was a rare instance where I actually got along with other kids. And I even was able to see them considering I was homeschooled. I remember Krogan being there, too. He was dressed like a zombie, though his makeup got completely ruined when he tried to go bobbing for apples. <sighs> bobbing for apples. That's so gross. Who even came up with that? I don't think I could even imagine doing it today. But it seemed fun as a kid, I guess, even though I never did so. <gasps> yes, please. <clears throat> yes, please. I probably thought it was gross back then, too, I guess. I remember Krogan get, uh, got to sleep over afterwards, too. Good old Reaper Mary. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Mom and Dad kept the Halloween decorations up all day the next day. It's funny. I use some of these decorations in my room now. But I remember all the booths and tables and windows being absolutely covered in orange and black streamers. But now it was all covered in dust. And no one's here. Go. Let's go to my room. I decided to head up to my room. My real room. I love her room so much. <laughs> um, as I stepped inside, I felt strangely happy. I missed my old room and all my stuff. So nice, or it felt so nice to be. I felt so nice to be back, even if I wasn't staying. It just the sense of familiarity made me feel so calm. I wish I was able to take some of this stuff back home with me, but I didn't have anything to carry it in. Also, the, sorry, <laughs> I notice new things every time I look here. The little picture of her and Crovin. the last time I was even in this room? Um, also, there's a crack behind that poster. I don't think I noticed it before. Uh, it was just as comfy as I remembered it. Right? Give me 
all of Mary's things. They are mine now. <laughs> uh, the bed in the cabin was nice, but it just kind of compared. Just having a canopy above me. I've had this bed ever since I was a little girl. I remember Dad tucking me into this bed and reading me bedtime stories when I was too fussy to sleep right away. <laughs> it didn't take long for me to start crying. I missed my bed. I missed my house. I missed my parents. I remember my mom wishing me a good night one day. And then disappearing the very next. I hadn't heard from them since. They... They could be dead right now and I wouldn't even know. I didn't want to think about that. But... Could I really ignore the possibility if it meant... I just hated the situation I was in. Every little thing about it. I wanted to scream, but what good would that do? I felt helpless. All I could do was sit and cry and wait for it to be over. Mary. I ended up falling asleep in my old bed. I was already exhausted from my lack of sleep, and crying certainly didn't help in that respect. When I woke up, I was aware of how much time had passed. Unaware, excuse me. But I felt groggy, and I didn't think I should stay any longer. It'd probably just make me feel worse. I got up from the bed and began to head back downstairs. We didn't... <laughs> if only Reggie were here. Also, we didn't get to look at the at the parents' bedroom this time. Whoops. It wasn't until I got to the bottom of the stairs that I noticed... Someone was here. Some stranger kneeling over in front of the doorway for whatever reason. <laughs> I was almost frozen in my spot. Who were they? Why were they here? No... No one should have been able to get in. One second. That sprite. I unlocked it. Crap. I stood there hoping they wouldn't see me. The way they were dressed, with baggy dark clothes and their hood up, told me they were most likely bad news. Did they follow me in here? I wasn't sure what to do. I thought about trying to escape out the back way, or sneakily heading back upstairs if need be, but... As soon as I took a step back, I tripped slightly, let out a small yelp as I caught myself on one of the bar stools. The stranger immediately bolted outside. Oh, wait! I wasn't even able to get a good look at them. For a split second, I considered trying to chase after them. And even if that wasn't a stupid idea, they ran much faster than I could keep up with anyways. Panicked and slightly shaking, I took out my phone. I was so nervous, I pressed it to my ear without even having dialed anyone yet. But who would I call? The police? No, I can't do that. I was already in here when I wasn't supposed to be. I don't want to put any kind of attention on myself. But I can't just call nobody. I have to tell someone about this. Who? Who do I go to? Um... You're right, we gotta call Roman! He's family. He'll know what to do. I love you, Reggie. <laughs> I rushed to call Croven. He was my family, and the only person I could trust with something like this. Please pick up Croven. As I was beginning to fear Croven forgot to charge his phone or something or other, he picked up. Yo. Croven? Where are you right now? Hurry <laughs> one day, Reggie. We'll be together again. Do not fear! <laughs> Are you busy? Can you come meet me? Whoa, 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 hold up. What's with all the questions? Everything okay? I'm... I'm at the diner and there was someone here. Some intruder. They just ran out, but... Please, can you please come here? Cool down, Mary. Reel it back a bit. I'll come, okay? Don't panic. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll try not to. Felt like an eternity passed before Croven got here. Couldn't really read the expression on his face. He looked kind of concerned, but also kind of annoyed in a way, too. That's just his face, Mary. Don't worry. Did I bother him somehow? Still, he calmed down pretty quickly, so we looked around the house together, trying to make sure whoever was here didn't leave anything behind. And they didn't. Except, well, when we checked my parents' room, I noticed one of my mother's necklaces was missing from her drawer. It was the necklace my father had given her for her uh, for their anniversary a few years back, but she couldn't have taken it with her. 
I remember seeing it here, checking the diner after my parents first disappeared. Did they take it? The thought put my stomach in knots. To think that they must have been in here while I was dozing off in the other room. Oh god, I don't... I... Uh... After we searched every room, we headed back downstairs. Probably gave me a kind of sad look. You really okay, Mars? I am now. Thanks for coming. Mars, are you sure you weren't just imagining things? It was probably just an animal that got in. I don't know. I know shit's been kind of rough lately, and I know I haven't been helping in that, so... Look, I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised if... What? No! Croven, I definitely saw a person here. I swear it. In that case, maybe it was just a squatter? Croven, I really don't think so. This place was locked before. They couldn't have gotten in until I locked it. What if they followed me here? Can't know that for sure, though, right? I... I guess not? Look, you caught me at a bad time. I really can't do a lot to help right now anyways. Let's just get out of here and try to forget about it, okay? Forget it. Is there anything we can do? Or can... Uh, is there anything we can really do at this point? You already called me just because you didn't want to phone the police, right? Look, I'm sorry someone got in. But what do you want me to do about it? Just one guy, Mars. I can't track him down for you. Let's just leave this place alone for now. Alright, <laughs> Croven, you're useless. Dude, my guy. My pal. My friend. Listen. I guess... We left and locked the place back up, but something seemed off about Croven today. He would, he usually wasn't like this. Croven was always so hot-headed and defensive, especially toward me lately. But now that I'm actually asking for his help, he just doesn't seem to care. I went home disappointed that night. I could barely eat or brush my teeth. The fuck was that sound? No? Spooky sounds up here. It's fine. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. I could barely eat or brush my teeth properly. I almost went straight to bed. But no, I couldn't do that. I just couldn't. Even if I wanted to. Hello. Again. Is that you in my diner today? What do you mean? Earlier today, I was in my diner, or house, I guess. There, there was a stranger. I couldn't see their face, and they ran out as soon as they realized I was behind them. Was that you? <laughs> Emmy Boyd coming in clutch. No. I don't know why I bothered asking. I doubt you give me the truth either way. Sometimes, lying will be necessary. But I'm telling you the truth now. If you say so sure what else to say. That's okay. I prefer when you don't ask questions. Why's that? You know what they say. Curiosity kills the cat. Good night, Mary. This is fine. So much for getting a good night's sleep. Y'all wanna y'all wanna pause here for a hot second? I need to use the restroom real quick. Um <laughs> and we're we're making good time so far! Making good time. I'm happy with where we're sitting right now. Um, it's pee time. Everyone else, get up. Do do a little bit of a stretch. Right? Yeah. Travis, Travis is saying what I'm saying. Um, it's pee. It's pee time. Everyone, go use the restroom. Grab yourself another snack. Refill your drink. Uh, stretch either by standing up and walking around, or stretching wherever you're sitting. Get yourself moving a little bit. We'll be, uh, we'll be right back. I'm gonna shove a granola bar in my face and then go to the bathroom, and it's gonna be great. We'll be right back, y'all.
still need to take my, my allergy meds, but, you know, it's fine. I don't want your meds took. Also, Nem and Smiley, thank you for the contribution towards the center sandwich. <laughs> Which has been such a weird fucking sentence to be saying as often as we have, but it's fine. <laughs> um also welcome in them nice to see ya hold on ready ready grip it and rip it it's a soda heavy day sometimes you have to have a couple of sodas and that's fine i don't think i like had any yesterday it's fine all right we all back? We all ready to go? <laughs> Nem, this is Arcade. Arcade, this is Nem. Hello, welcome. You're all here now. Um. Well, I'm also kind of ready for the for the center sandwich. It's gonna be very good. But also, are we ready for uh, more Cemetery Mary? Will it be crustless? No, because I fucking love crust. <gasps> Thank you. This is man juice. This is the... The man juice. It will be cut into triangles, because that makes sandwiches taste better. <gasps> if you do, you have to send pictures. <laughs> you have to send pictures of the sandwich. Um, That would be super fun. <laughs> We all try a different cereal on, on the sandwich, report back which one we think is the best. Um, alright, I think we're ready to continue to do this thing. Let me, before I do that, I should clean my glasses because I touched my lens sometime between going downstairs to get allergy meds. And sitting back down? I can't see shit. Okay. Oh, that's so much better. I love it when there aren't fingerprints on my lenses. Um. A little burpy. It's okay. All right. All right. Shall we? Continue on. Y'all have already, <laughs> in the last four days, raised 40% of the points that we needed for this fucking sandwich. And I need you to know that it's 5,000 more points than what the Mary cosplay stream was worth. <laughs> Y'all want me to eat a fucking sandwich. I see how it is. All right. Also, thank you, Ellie, for getting that for the shout out. Uh, Nem, when's your next stream? Hey, buddy, when are you gonna stream next? Let's go. We are close. We are so close. Let's do the thing. <laughs> Mary, are you still sleeping? <laughs> Mary. No, I don't want to get up yet. <laughs> Let me sleep. I had a long night last <laughs> night. A long night. <laughs> You went to bed at 8.30. You didn't sleep well. Well, your mother's making pancakes if you want any. <gasps> ah, you're picking up Kitty tomorrow! Okay, well, stream sometime soon, but also kitten. I'm so excited she gets to come home with you. Perfect. Wonderful. I demand pictures. Kitten. <laughs> we love kittens here. Um, perfect, perfect. <laughs> That's all we ask. Kit cat, cat kit. All right. Well, your mother's making pancakes. If you want any, do they have chocolate chips? Of course, it's Sunday. Okay, I'll be down soon. I remember this one. Quickly got out of bed and got dressed, yawning as I descended down the stairs. Even from the top of the stairs, I could already smell the chocolate. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat all of them. <laughs> Mary is perfect. Listen, 
I cannot stress enough how much we love Mary here. Dad! Well, you know I'm just teasing you. Besides, your mom would kill me if I did it. I got downstairs and sat at the counter beside my dad. There was a plate waiting for me, and my mother was behind the counter drinking her morning coffee like usual. <laughs> a little naive, definitely needs to set her boundaries a little more, but you know what? We all got things we gotta learn and work on. <laughs> uh, thank you for breakfast, Mom. That's why her boyfriend not point for Reggie is the perfect <laughs> love Reggie. So much. Of course, dear. Mom. Mom, your voice kind of scared me there. <laughs> I, lo I love Mary. <laughs> I love everyone in this game. <laughs> so, do you have any plans today? No, not really. Oh, was Crobin busy today? <laughs> just a little Mary to snuggle up with? Um, I don't know. Probably. Just want to hold her hand. Let's go, let's go get coffee, not coffee, and let me hold your hand. Um, well, we can always do something if you want. We can? Of course we can. Did you want to see that new movie? The horror one with the janitor? Why don't we go tonight? Are you sure? Aren't you busy? No, no, you know I'm never too busy for my little girl. It sounds really fun, but what about mom? Are you really worrying about me? I'll be fine, sweetheart. Go out with your father. You can even call up Crow and see if he wants to come too. <laughs> sounds like sounds like the perfect time, honestly. Um I've been really looking forward to this movie. I'm so excited now. This morning's been quite the pleasant surprise, but something feels off. Like I'm forgetting something? No, something or something is weird here. But what? Mom's fine. Mom's always... Wait... <gasps> no strep! This is good. <laughs> Go to eight, not cafe, and get not coffee, and not chocolate muffins. <laughs> Perfect! Also, yay, no strep! I'm happy, Allie. Wait... Mom? Mom can't talk. Mom is mute. Mom's never been able to talk her whole life. I had to learn sign language as a kid to be able to communicate with her. She's never... Whose voice even was that? That was talking to me? My mom doesn't have a voice. What's going on? Mary? You okay, mom? You look like you've seen a ghost. I... I'm fine. Are you sure, dear? I can make you some tea to help you calm down if you're feeling anxious. No. No, I'm okay. I think I'm just gonna, uh, go to the bathroom. I hopped out of my seat and rushed my way over to the ground floor bathroom. That... That wasn't my mom. Was that even my dad? I was hoping that once in the bathroom I could rinse my face off and make sense of things, but... Evo, Llama, what are you doing? Hold on a second. I'm just gonna leave you on this very tense moment to go check on the kitty cat. Mommy, I'm here. What are you doing? Why are you being handy? You're not bothering me. Come here. Come here. Sorry. Hi. She gets all pissed off when he gets near her sometimes. But then other times she'll like actively seek him out just to start shit. <laughs> <laughs> jump scare? What jump scare? M Mom? Mom, what are you doing here? Weren't you just outside? 
Mom? This seems fine. <laughs> That's a decent jump scare. Oh, Mary. What's the matter, Mary? I thought you liked ghosts. It's a funeral today. I'm happy. Is that bad? I've been planning for it. I overheard them talking about it in the cemetery when planning a spot for her. Is that bad? I really enjoy funerals. I always have. Even when... I like to see everyone gather around for their lost loved one. They're also sad. Bring flowers and sometimes even little parting gifts. That's so nice, don't you think? If the spirits could talk, I bet they'd say they appreciate it. Would a ghost attend their own funeral? I would. Well, in any case, I'm excited for the one today. And I'm excited to see what they're like. Hopping off the bus that morning, I was glad to see I wasn't too late. It's a good thing I always wear black. I see someone playing Cemetery Mary. <laughs> Not to name names or anything. <laughs> good. Um, it's a good thing I always wear black. No one even seems to turn their head to me as I come near. It started to rain. They never said anything about rain today. But I thought it might when I saw all the clouds this morning. So I came prepared and brought my umbrella. It was then that I noticed a little old lady with no umbrella. And no one was even bothering to help keep her dry. So I covered her with my umbrella. Oh. Oh, it's an umbrella. <laughs> I just kicked the lady into the into the fucking hole. Join her. Move out of the way. It's Croven time. Um, oh, it's an umbrella. You scared me for a second. Thank you, dear. Of course. <laughs> the back and four blips. Pardon me if this sounds rude, but were you one of her friends? Yes, I apologize for being late. Oh no, no, don't apologize. She was never the kind who got upset over silly things like that. I'm sure she understands your reasons for being late. <laughs> Luna is good. Good people. We love Luna. Still feel bad about it, though. Truthfully, she was only an acquaintance of mine, and I didn't know her all that well, but still, I'd like to pay my respects, so I'm sorry I'm late. It's alright. She... she wouldn't want you to feel bad. Forgive me if this sounds rude, but what is your relationship to her? Me? Ah, uh, yes. I'm... I'm Spella's mom. I never met met you before, have I? That's okay, lots of people haven't. I'm very sorry for your loss. How are you feeling? Feeling? It's impossible for me to feel anything but heartbreak. I truly don't believe I'll ever recover from this. No, no, don't say that. She wouldn't want you to think like that, right? Yes, I suppose you're right. Um... I want to be like super rude and I think we but I, I think we did she was young last time and I kind of like if I may how did she die oh it's you don't have to I'm sorry if that was too intrusive she she was sick you see for a very long time she was in the hospital for a while we always thought that she was going to get better it always seemed that way at least in the end, well, things didn't go as we thought they would. Let's see. Very sorry that happened. That's alright. We tried our best. Do you think she's scared? No. She's all alone now. Where's she going to go? Who will tell her how to get there? The way she is right now, is she happy? Even if she's not... No. How can you say she's alone when everyone is here beside her? I know she can't really say much about it, but I'm 
sure she's happy to have all her friends and family by her side. All the people here... She meant a lot to them, didn't she? That's why they're all here to keep her company. I know lots of people like to think you're alone when you die. But I think it's hard to consider all this being alone, you know? She's not alone when we're all here. Yes, I suppose that's true. We're all together here, aren't we? And I'm supp I suppose I'm glad she isn't alone. Yes, me too. I'm sorry if I've upset you by talking about her so much, miss. It is a funeral after all. I should behave more respectfully. <laughs> Very slowly, that's why I make her cry later. <laughs> also me with all of the characters I write about. Aw, oh, you're precious. Let me traumatize you a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. It's fine. It's fine. Um. <laughs> no, no, it's quite alright. Talking about it has actually helped a little bit. I feel a little bit better hearing your thoughts. Is that so? <laughs> Definitely. Broker adversity. <laughs> I'm glad then. Yes, thank you. Why, I'm so sorry. I didn't even catch your name. It's alright. My name is Mary. Mary? Mary. Uh, hold on a moment. Do you mean to say you're... Cemetery, Mary. I see my reputation precedes me. Yes, that's me. I see. Thank you, Mary. If Spella was here, I'm sure she'd want to thank you, too. She is here. But... Hearing it from you means enough already. Thank you as well. Aww. It was a lovely funeral. The coffin was lowered, and soon enough the rain stopped. I watched everyone say their goodbyes to her and to each other, and then steadily they left. Soon it was just me and the lady. I'd have felt bad if I overstayed my welcome. Didn't want to outlast her at her own daughter's funeral. So I quietly said my goodbyes and left. But to my surprise, someone was there walking or waiting for me on the sidewalk. You're not Reggie! Hi, Crovin. <laughs> Crovin? Hey, Mars. You good? Yeah, I'm good. What are you doing out here? I don't know. I remember you talking about some uh, some sort of funeral happening today. Figured I'd stop by and ask if you wanted to hang out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, but I guess now is after, so you want to hang out? Oh, uh... Alright. What's that look for? Oh, oh, nothing. It's nothing. It's just... Oh, I don't know. You've kind of been in a bad mood lately. It's kind of sudden that you want to hang out right now. Is there any reason for that? Nah, nothing special. It's not like I have other plans today or anything. No one's been responding to my texts, so... Oh, I see. Are... Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. So, we hanging? Or, nah. Oh, yeah, yeah! Just, uh, you're not, you know, gonna get snappy, uh, gonna get snappy me with me, are you? Ooh, there's a typo. I, I, I found a typo. Arcade. <laughs> you're not gonna get snappy with me, are you? <laughs> no promises. Crowman! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I won't. Come on, let's go. Let me just find one every single time we sit down to, to look at this. I'm so sorry. I don't I don't like this power. <laughs> it's okay. Now you found it. Now it's been found. <laughs> now it can be fixed. Um, I followed Croven down the sidewalk as we headed somewhere. Suddenly he wants to spend time with me again. Even though other times it's like he can't wait to get as far away from me as possible. Still, though, I would appreciate the time he wanted to spend with me when he did. Hold on a second. We kept walking together. I kind of just let him lead and followed him wherever he was, uh, wherever it was he was going. Also, look at that precious smile. 
I didn't even think to ask until we uh we had been walking a block or two already. Oh, hey, where are we going actually? Or are we just wandering? Huh? Oh no. I figured we could <laughs> the swoop. <laughs> the swoop. <laughs> it's very good and very precious and I love it. I love Croven. Figured we could go to the arcade together. <laughs> Ever since I was there the other day, I've been itching to go back. It's not like I can play the fighting games alone. <laughs> Tell me, do they? Do they? I mean, I can, but it's not as fun. The arcade? I felt so excited. I couldn't remember the last time I went to the arcade. Or any arcade, for that ma matter. <laughs> they walk in. The person behind the counter is a kitten. Hello, welcome. This is the arcade, and I am a kitten. <laughs> it's funny because arcade kitten's name is arcade kitten. It's 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 a, it's a fun it's a funny joke. <laughs> Sorry, I wondered if it still looked the same as it does in my head. I wonder if they still had the crane machine. Well, those questions would be answered shortly enough. Yeah, it is. Look at her. I'm gonna screenshot some more. It's fine. <laughs> She's so she is so stoked to be there. <laughs> the automatic doors in front of the familiar brick building began to open up. Also, this music is very good. <laughs> the bright light from outside leaked into the dark interior of the building. The arcade. Oh, it's just how I remembered it, except cleaner and with a new carpet. And I was taller now. Oh goodness, I haven't been to the arcade in so long. Really? My friends and I are here all the time. Honestly, it's kind of a wonder we haven't been kicked out by now. Don't tell anyone, but I cheated at ski ball last time I was here. Maybe we can do that today and rack in some tickets. And then we can finally get that lava lamp from the prize game. But only if they still have it in the blue color. This is so exciting. What should we play first? I don't know. Why don't we look around and see? Have. Krovin and I sought out a game to play. We tried to look for ones we could play together since we were both here. It was a bit of a challenge finding one that was free, though. I guess everyone else had the same idea we did to come here today. See, last time we were here, that's when you met that person, right? The... Vasilis, I think? Yeah, what about them? Well, how are they? I never heard you talk about them after. Did your day go well? I noticed Krovin's face go a little red. Oh, are you still seeing him? N none of your business. Krovin said as he avoided eye contact with me. Although it was a bit snappy, I could tell he didn't mean it maliciously. Eventually, a fighting game opened up, just like he was hoping for. So we made our way over to begin playing. I'm not all that good at fighting games, or video games in general, but I have fun playing them regardless. As we selected our characters, Krovin said he wouldn't go easy on me. So I had to make sure I gave it my all. <laughs> Girl sounds strange, her name Henrietta. Mikso? Is that how you say it? They're precious. Their designs are very cute. Oh my goodness. Oh. Alright, here we go. You ready? Uh, I think so. Maybe? Well, you better be. I do. <laughs> oh no! I, I don't know combos! Let's go! Kick, punch, kick, block, kick! Not bad, but I'm better! Block, kick, jump, kick, punch! C -c 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 Combo! Are you sure you haven't been in here in a while? Yeah? I don't know. I feel like you're lying to make me let my guard down. Kick, punch, block, block, charge! Whoa! I actually won this time? Holy shit! <laughs> That's dope. Also, we did it. I won! <laughs> Not bad. Just clicking whichever one had the most blocks in it. Yay! <laughs> Now you're sure you don't come here on your own sometimes? 
Never, I swear! I'm just messing with you, Mars. Nice job! Kevin and I played a few more games after that. Some more fighting ones, one or two racing ones. All the kind of games you can play with two players. These kind of games don't really give out tickets, though, so it looks as if we wouldn't be getting that lava lamp today. Playing all these games was really fun, but I could see how it was starting to tire Krovan out. We, uh, we were about to leave when I spotted it. <laughs> also, the claw machine with all of the... <laughs> I see that kitten behind the text box. Oh my god. Cousin Krovan's sleeve to which he turned and looked at it. He groaned. <laughs> really? The crane machine? You know they're just scams for your money, right? The toys there are so cheap anyways, you don't have an- er, and you don't have enough? Sometimes I use my eyeballs. Not often, but sometimes! <laughs> alright, alright! Fine, I'll try it. Just keep in mind that I'm rusty, okay? Krovan and I walked up to the crane machine. He reached into his pocket for his wallet as I pressed my face to the glass in excitement. Perfect. Now we know. I'm definitely gonna just go screenshot crazy. <laughs> the snake. Uh, on my own time. I don't want to like bother everyone too much with like the pings, but also, but also look at that face. <laughs> all right. If there's one problem I definitely have aside from all the others, it's that I love plushes too much. <laughs> I always collect them, even though they usually just sit all pretty in my room. Just something about how soft and comforting they are. I'm sorry, can we just... I, I, I understand. Mary, Mary, I understand. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. I understand. <laughs> okay. I, I get it. I have... <laughs> <laughs> Plushies are life, okay. I said all these bad boys over here. This one is one of my favorites. His name is Wolfric and I love him. <laughs> okay. Those just those live over there right now. Alright. Uh there's just something about how soft and comforting they are. <laughs> Back when we were kids, Krovan and I would come to this arcade whenever he was in town. I always tried to win things from the crane machines, but I could never do it. Dad would always try too, but he was like me and could never quite get it right. But Krovan... Krovan seemed to have a gift when it came to this stuff. It wasn't all the time, but more often than not, he was able to win things. And he always gave them to me. Most of the time, anyways. Alright, here we go. I heard him say as the claw lowered into the pit of toys and stuffed animals. Couldn't quite see what it was grasping, but it got something. When it raised itself up, it was... a box! One of the mystery boxes holding a mystery prize inside. I'd never seen Krogan win one of those before. I don't think I've ever seen anyone win one of those before. The box slid down into the prize chute and I took it out. Dug into the tightly sealed tape with my fingernails and grabbed the flaps of the cardboard as I took out the prize. It was... a book. Despite having just come out of the machine, the book itself seemed a little worn, old and worn. The cover read How to Talk to Ghosts. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> See, Mary, I told you all these machines are scams. Sorry. <laughs> The way it is lit up. Who wants to win a book? Me. I would like to win a book. What do you mean? It's perfect. I love it. Thank you for letting me have it. Eh? It's not good. I mean, as long as you're happy with it, I guess it's fine. Krovan and I left the arcade after that, but I had quite the pep in my step, I'm sure, as I was so happy with my new prize. And to be spending time with him again. It was actually a bit late in the day, uh, by the time we got out, so we grabbed something quick to bring back home for dinner. Dinner. I need to think about food for later. Sorry. I- 
just realized that because my stream time is all different today, did not did not plan for that. It was nice to be riding the bus back with Proven this time. It made the ride and walk back to the cabin feel much less lonely and much less scary. After retiring, retiring to our rooms that night, I put the book on a bed, uh, bedside table to remember to read it later. Um, I got all ready for bed and then pulled my phone out, knowing I wouldn't be able to rest until this was taken care of. Hey, are you still there? Hello? I'm here. What can I help you with? I mean, I think you already know the answer to that. Right. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do for you in that regard. is that? It's safer that way. I promise you. Why'd you even message me in the first place? I thought it would help you feel better. But if you truly want me to stop, I can do that. No, don't. Then I won't stop replying to you. But for now, I'll have to. Good night, Mary. Mary. Woke up the next morning pretty early. Earlier than usual. But I didn't feel tired. In fact... I actually felt pretty good. Yesterday was just a bit better of a day than usual. I'm glad it happened. I tried to be quiet as I walked past Proven's door that morning. I saw that he left it open a crack, so I peeked inside. He was sleeping still, drooling on his pillow and arm hanging over the side. He looked absolutely silly, but it was nice to see him getting some rest for once instead of racing to get out of the house before dawn. Seeing as he was still home, I thought it might be nice if I made breakfast for the two of us. Thank you for the bubble chalice. Wow, lazy artist. <laughs> Don't take that seriously. I feel bad just joking about that. Oh no. <laughs> it would be very good to see, but also. Um. <laughs> I went downstairs and into the kitchen and started preparing some stuff with what we had. <laughs> Good. This is one of those, like, you joke about it and immediately you're like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I, made, I made a bad choice. A little later, a while later, I heard Crowfin coming down the stairs from the thumps of his steps, but he still alerted me by asking, <laughs> are you cooking something down there? Come into the kitchen. I just finished making pancakes. I got pancakes. What kind? What other kind? Chocolate chip. Duh. <laughs> Ah, you're right. It was foolish of me to ask. <laughs> so happy. Kermit took his usual chair in the kitchen as I set out plates for us. Do you want milk or water? Milk, of course. Yeah, Kermit, you idiot! <laughs> what kind of stupid asshole do you take me for? Ew, Kermit's a milk drinker. <laughs> Judging! <laughs> Crowfin seemed preoccupied with his phone, but I was in, uh, in too nice a mood to care about that. I gave us milk, gla milk glasses and put some chocolate syrup on the table just in case. Because, you know, you can never have too much. Crowfin, are you doing anything today? Hmm? Why? I just had a lot of fun yesterday. I don't know. I thought maybe we could do something again today? If you wanted to. Oh, you want to? I, uh really been planning on it. Oh, I mean, it's okay if you're busy and all. Well, I mean... Uh, there's some things I have to take care of first. But you, uh, will you be free later tonight? Huh? I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't really hang out with anyone besides you anyways. Alright, because the gang and I were thinking of heading to this club tonight. The gang? You know, me and my buds. Oh, I've heard you talk about them, but I've never met them before. <laughs> See? Perfect then. <laughs> you can come to the club with us, meet them, we can let loose over a few drinks. It's all good. I don't drink, but I didn't terribly mind going to a club with Proven. They're gonna get swifty! <laughs> I've never really been to a club before, and even though I'm sure I'm not- or even though I'm sure I'm not really the kind of crowd they expect to see there, I always, I was always curious to see what one was like, so I looked forward to it. It's club time. We're gonna go party hard. 
I tried to keep myself busy throughout the day, clean the cabin a bit as it had been getting a bit out of shape, and tried to start a grocery list since I was sure we'd have to go, uh, go on a run soon. But despite how I thought I might feel, I was excited actually. <laughs> Not the hot friends. Also, all the characters are like, like, young adults, right? Like, early early twenties. That is that a thing that I remember seeing on your Twitter? <laughs> Am I just making shit up? I might be making shit up. They're young adults, so we can call them hot. <laughs> Perfect. Mostly making sure that they're all, they're all well within the drinking drinking age. We don't we don't appreciate illegal drinking here. No, but also, but also, um, I never met these friends of Groven, but I know he's known them for a while. At least he's, since he's been living closer to Blackwood, it explains why they're all going to a club, though. I am late twenties and I don't want to go to a club ever again. Maybe even earlier. Unless it's for a concert, but even then. Oof. Oof. There's been times where Crovin would rush out of the house during dinner just to go meet them. At least, I always assumed it was them. He's always hanging out with them as far as I know. Despite how much time he seems to spend with them, I've never met them or have even seen what they look like before. I always hear good things about them from him, though. So at the very least, I trust that they're nice people. Okay, I was 20 and and an idiot. <laughs> I, I was 20 and an idiot. I am no longer 20. Still an idiot, but at least responsibly an idiot. <laughs> That's how Allie do. Allie, Allie is the only thing in my life that keeps me vaguely straight. <laughs> Look, I can look back at my own life and be like, those were bad choices. Not anymore. Well, still bad choices, but again, at least a little more thought through. Generally. Generally. <laughs> I hope they like me. Kept up with the Crowman throughout the day. <laughs> I had to ride the bus into town without him this time, but that was okay. I wasn't done cooking at all. At all. I was still, still fresh little bun. Had, had to bake a little longer. Um, the hard part was following his directions. This club seemed like an awful lot of work to get to, but I was eventually able to find it after I realized it was sunken into the sidewalk. There was a staircase leading down to the entryway, and I heard Crovin yell, I can think of, like, three shitty bars, at least three shitty club bars places in town that are like this and I am concerned. I am concerned for sweet baby Mary. She should not be in this situation. I will tell you this right now. Mary, you're in with a bad crowd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there she is. As I cascaded down them and finally met the people I'd heard so much about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there they are! I I recognize some of these, I think. Here she is. Gal of the hour. Hello. Hi. Hair. I'm, uh... Was all I could mutter out. They appeared more rough than I was expecting. I mean, I knew that was kind of the look and crowd Proven liked to hang around, but maybe I wasn't as ready to meet them as I thought. <laughs> Theo, please. Please, Theo. <laughs> he would 100% be a, a, the kind of guy to wear glasses inside. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, check him yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fellas, this is Mary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mary, these are the fellas. Yeah, 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 yeah. My dude over here is Theodore. Yeah, 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 yeah. And other gal over here is Zapara. <laughs> Why Theodore? <laughs> it's not the voice I ever imagined him to have. Or like the, the, the range. 
That threw me off. We're fine. <laughs> oh, she's kind of cute, Crowman. In a scary kind of way. Yeah. Creepy cute, as they say. Spooky cute. I don't even believe I want to kiss. Fair enough. I just, I just wanna, I just wanna do a smooch on the lot of folks. Just right on the forehead. I like her eyes. Zapar, are you okay over there? <laughs> just gonna say this once. The girl looks like she's tripping a little bit. <laughs> Look, I love, I love her design. I am, I am just also concerned for baby Mary over here. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. They're just screaming like, hey, looky, I've got a demon inside me. <laughs> I like her horns too. Really sells the look. <laughs> Mary, you need to leave. Robin's friends. I wasn't sure how to feel about their compliments. Or how they were looking at me. It felt as if they were eyeing me down and they stood off mostly to Groven's other side. I wish they'd stop looking at me like that. I wasn't really sure what to say. <laughs> all right, all right. What are we waiting for then? <laughs> Let's get in there. I peered around Croven and his pals. There was a bouncer in front of the door. He seemed like a giant compared to us. I could also see that he was kind of glaring at us. I whispered over to Croven. <laughs> is, is that guy going to let us in? Huh? Oh, no, definitely not. <laughs> it's cool, though. I'm gonna be a distraction. Oh, no! <laughs> this is gonna end horribly. Look, of all the stupid shit that I have done um, while I was still still cooking, I've never snuck into a club that I was not supposed to be in. I've done a lot of stupid shit. This is not one of them. Right? Mary shouldn't be here! <laughs> Crowman, what are you doing? Um, then you, then you guys will run in and I'll find my own way in. Mm, Arcade, oh no! <laughs> huh? I've done this plenty of times before, so don't worry about it. I promise it's gonna be okay. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna save? Really? That guy seems pretty no-nonsense, doesn't he? Relax, I know what I'm doing. As long as you're with me, Mars, you're good. Well, except for these next few seconds, but... Just follow Zap and Theo. They'll show you how it's done. Oh, no. Watch as Crowman walked up right up to the bouncer and promptly kicked his... Oh, dear. Crowman then zipped right, pa uh, right past us, the bouncer charging down his path, missing the rest of us by a hair. Before I, I could even call out to him, I felt the tug on my arm as Theodore and Zapara pulled me to the door. Come on, dumbass! That's our opening! And I was brought inside without any more protest. Forgot how loud clubs are supposed to be. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! I mean, I'd never been in one before, and I had expected them to be loud, of course, but... I didn't like the way the music felt as it, as it pumped through my ears. It made my bones shake. It was pretty dark, but there was also plenty of colorful strobing lights about. There was a large dance floor and a DJ booth and a bar off to the side, and plenty of people were up and dancing. Right? <laughs> We'd only been in here a few minutes, but I could already feel how human the atmosphere was. And there was no doubt it would uh, only start feeling more apparent as the night went on. I looked around us. Proven wasn't anywhere, and I was stuck here with his friends. They were talking to each other, but I couldn't hear any of what they were saying over the booming music. They seemed to hear each other just fine, though. Eventually, they started walking somewhere. I trailed close behind them, not wanting to lose them in the crowd of people. I sat down at a table, and I awkwardly squeezed in next to them. To my surprise, Theodore took out a cigarette and, li and a lighter. I wasn't sure if he was allowed to smoke in here, but I felt too intimidated to question it, especially to someone who didn't know. I was also starting to worry about Proven. He still wasn't here yet. I considered taking out my phone and calling him just to be safe, but before I knew it, he was heading to our table. He even had a drink in hand. I was astonished as he sat down next to us, as if nothing happened. Jeez, can you believe these assholes? Oh, I can believe it. Especially when it comes to you. 
Hey, shut up. I don't understand why it's always gotta be like this. Give them the money after all. Shouldn't that be enough for them? How'd you get back here anyways? Nah, uh, don't worry about it, Mars. He gave him the slip. <laughs> I got it all under control. <laughs> he says that. Say it because it's true, you fucking dick. <laughs> so what were we talking about over here? Nothing. Give me old one, two, three. We're just waiting for you to show up. Uh, waiting on little old me? So sweet. So sweet I could puke. Oh, yeah, Shut the fuck up, dickwad. Proven, please. Proven and his friends laughed amongst each other. Anyone could see how close they were just with a quick, uh, just with just a quick glance at them right now. It seemed to make him happy. Happier than I'd seen him in a while. Like seeing Proven interacting with them and seeing how well they got along. But that just made me feel like even more of an outsider sitting amongst them all. So, Mary, was it? Theodore took a long drag of a cigarette, then blew it right in my face. Theodore, please. <laughs> Tried to keep a polite demeanor as he did so. What do you do? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't understand. It's an easy question, ain't it? <laughs> arcade! We gotta... Do, arcade. Do we gotta... Do we gotta talk? Do we need to talk about this? <laughs> what do you do? What do I... Do? What's your job, sweetheart? Oh, I... Uh... Oh, fuck. As somebody who likes who likes bad boys, bad girls, bad them in fictional settings, get it. <laughs> Allie! <laughs> You're not wrong. Look it up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no. Uh I used to be a waitress. But it only lasted a little while. I'm, uh, not the best when it comes to people, I guess. Luckily, I've been able to stay with Proven while I try to sort things out. He's been very generous, letting me stay. Ooh, Proven's letting you have it easy, huh? You mooch off him, then? Funny thing smart if you are. What's he bought for you, huh? Huh? If it's a jacuzzi, can I try it? Hey, knock it off. Oh, no, it's not like that. Unless it is. Proven think I'm mooching off of him? <laughs> he would say that, huh? I'm not following. Don't worry about it. Zach's just a fucking idiot. Cat says you. Point proven. But anyways, so Mary, where'd you get those eyes, huh? I bought them from JC Penny. Sorry. Oh, uh, my parents gave them to me. Zap, <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> You're, you're up here, I need you about here. Ah, jeez, must have been a disappointing present. If my mama gave me the eyes like a dead fish, I'd have been bawling. Oh my god. I hope they kept the receipt. She was just joshing you, don't take it too seriously. Yeah, I'm just having a bit of fun. <laughs> Zap is... <laughs> We've just met. No, no teasing humor, please. I don't think Mary can handle it. I think Mary is too nice of a name for her, though. Nice? Nice, like, soft. It's too soft. Like a pansy. She's gonna be hanging with us. She needs a cool name. Should we call her Mars, too, then? What's off? I'm, uh, only I'm allowed to call her that. Oh, 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 I know. We can call her Scary Mary. Oh, no. Scary Mary? Well, hold on now. It's pretty fitting, I think. You, you think I'm scary? Oh, definitely. Like, I'm scared when I go to sleep tonight, you'll be standing at the foot of my mattress. And you'll say something like, Only a week remains! <laughs> I, I just worry about my baby! This is not the crowd for her! I just want Mary to be okay! <laughs> I mean... I guess I can kind of see that. You can? She ever 
do that to you, Grovin? <laughs> nah, nah. Just Mary Sue, stop. She's like a marshmallow. She's my two sweet little marshmallow manta rays. <laughs> don't, don't joke with her like this. Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna implode a lot. Um, no, we don't roast them, Theodore. We do not roast marshmallows here. Sorry. Well, you know what we do with marshmallows, right? It felt weird. Everything just felt like too much. We definitely kiss marshmallows. As somebody who doesn't like marshmallows, we just hold them and protect them and keep them away from people who whose sense of humor is fine but doesn't jive with sensitive, sweet little marshmallow beans like Mary. <laughs> the way that I just want to pluck this child can't even call her a child, but the way I want to pluck this girl out of the situation and just get her out of there. Whoa! Like, there wasn't enough room for everything that was happening. The lights, the music, the people, Crovin's friends. It was all a bit too much for me. I need to... Excuse me. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Just don't have a case of the purples. This is not the time for the case of the purples. Let me just point that out. Oh, that's it! She's like... Like Bloody Mary. <laughs> Sneaking into the bathroom to take your next victim through, fix him through the mirror. Be easy on him, won't ya? The lights in the bathrooms ain't that good, and you'll scare the shit out of someone looking like that. Zap. Have, have you looked in a mirror recently? I would be horrified if I ran into her in a bathroom. <laughs> okay, as long as it's not too horrible. <laughs> I got up from the table and squirmed my way throughout the crowd, looking for the ladies' room. I had begun to re regret coming here. Even if it weren't for the way his friends were talking, I wasn't a fan of this atmosphere. It's all so loud and so bright. I never liked this kind of stuff. Why did I come again? I went into the bathroom and only there did I realize how sweaty I was. Look, as somebody who enjoys being in a, in a space... Again, I'm thinking more like concert setting than necessarily a dance club. But I like I like feeling my bones rattle with like the the sound from the from the sound system. Um and I like being smushed in a crowd when there's a bunch of music happening. It's not for everyone and Mary is so sweet and so precious and so sensitive. It's not where she needs to be. <laughs> Felt gross. I went over to one of the sinks and rinsed my hands and face with some cold water. The mom friend in me is like, I just need you to, you need to not be here. Let's get you out. Let's take you somewhere that's better. <laughs> I did see the, please don't steal. <laughs> don't steal the soap. Soap is a precious commodity these days. People will steal anything. That's hilarious though. <laughs> Um, Crovin never told me his friends were like that. When he used to describe them to me, they always seemed so much nicer through his words. Although, should I have expected any different? I always knew these, uh, these were the kind of people Crovin liked to hang out with. I don't know why. Crovin's such a nice person. Even if he hasn't been the nicest lately. Still, Crovin being moody... Um, it'll pass. He'll start feeling better eventually. And he'll go back to treating me like how he did before, right? But these people, I just met them and yet the way they talked to me, Crovin didn't even seem to mind it that much. Maybe... Maybe I was the problem then. No, it's just out of the crowd for you, Mary! Ah! I probably shouldn't have taken this thing so seriously. Before I could have my thoughts to myself much longer, though, someone opened one of the stalls behind me. It's Zapara. She pops her head out from underneath the stall. You good? <laughs> I didn't even notice someone was here. It's a good thing I wasn't thinking out loud. She approached the sink to wash her hands, and I realized it was... Oh shit! Twyla? <laughs> oh hey, didn't expect to see you here. 
Can you imagine how horrifying that would be? <laughs> but also Twyla! Hey! Doesn't seem like your type of event. No offense. I could say the same about you. What are you doing here? I come here a lot, actually. Really? I did kind of forget the Twilight existed. It had been a minute. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. There's so much other stuff happening. Constantly. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I would have been ex wouldn't have expected that from you. Well, it's not a lot, a lot. And now she's back in existence. I'm like, I'm like a dog. If something has been out of my vision for 10 minutes, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> right? Eyebrows. They're there. <laughs> Demanding attention. I just met up with some friends. Or, I just meet up with some friends here every once in a while. It's where they like to be. How about you? Probably wouldn't like if you found out I was talking to Twyla right now. Right! I forgot about the drama. I don't know how Twyla feels about him, so it might not be the best time to bring him up to her. Oh, I was just invited by a friend. I'd never been to one of these places, so I thought it could be nice. But it's really loud out there. So my, my friend brought some of his other friends in there. And they're what? I don't know. Uh, obnoxious, maybe? I don't know. This feels mean to say, but they feel kind of mean to me. Mean how? Uh, I don't know, like, comparing me to Bloody Mary and stuff. Ugh, gross. It sucks. That's why I'm in here, actually. I don't really think I want to go back out again. I can do you a favor if you'd like. So? My friends and I, we actually sit in the VIP area. It's a lot more chill over there, for lack of a better word. Wait, you're actually inviting me? We haven't even known each other that long. And VIP rooms are expensive too, aren't they? It's fine. We're gonna, uh, gonna be working together, right? So we should help each other out. Besides, I have a feeling you're not really going to come back to this place after tonight. So I don't think anyone would be bothered by you just being here one time. Oh no! What should I do? Twilight's offer does sound very appealing. But Croven invited me here. Can we just leave him alone? I know he's with friends, but still... What if he starts wondering about me? And if he finds out that I was hanging with Twyla, he might get upset with me again. Our relationship was starting to get better. I don't want him to get mad at me again. What should I do? Is there a third option to go home? Hmm. I want to go with Twyla. <laughs> but also... Crowman to get pissed off, but also Harry deserves to have somebody who's not being mean to her. Follow my heart. I'm gonna follow my heart. We're gonna take Twyla up on her offer. I did say right. I did. Okay. <laughs> that moment of panic of, oh shit. I saved. We're fine. That sounds really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I just want I just want Mary to be as comfortable as she possibly can. <laughs> I worry about her. I left the bathroom with Twyla. It almost seemed as if there were more people now than when I had entered. I suppose it was completely possible, but it made me feel claustrophobic as I exit, uh, exited the muffled comfort of the bathroom. Twyla snapped me out of it, though. She gestured for me to follow her, so I did. We squeezed past people until we made it to a pair of big double doors. Hold on. Okay. There was a tall man standing before those doors, too. And there was even a red velvet or red velvet rope, like the kind you see in movies. I never thought I'd see one in real life. How expensive was this room? Upon seeing Twyla, the man reached over to unhook the rope and open the door, allowing us entry. We followed Twyla inside. Door closed behind us, I instantly felt more at ease. Twyla was right. It was a lot more chill in here. For starters, it was much more well lit. No flashing lights, just pretty chandeliers that radiated a warm, sophisticated aura. The music in here was also a lot calmer. It didn't quite make my ears ring like the music outside did. I could still feel the muffled thumps of the music outside music, but it didn't bother me nearly as much now. 
they had their own music playing. It wasn't completely my style, but still. Plenty preferable as it as to what was out there. They continued to follow the twilight as you walked over to one of the tables. There were a few tables in here, some more crowded than others, but there was still a fairly small amount of people in here. The table Twyla approached already had someone sitting at it, but she appeared to know Twyla as we made our way over and sat down beside her. Why? Uh, you're back! Mr. <laughs> Perfect. You even made a new friend while you were outside? That's so neat! You've got, like, the magic touch twine. Ignore her, Mary. She's a bit drunk. Oh my gosh, I am not! <laughs> I'm just, like, so happy to be making even more friends! When I was a kid, my parents were worried I wouldn't make any friends. <laughs> they should have just taken me to the clubs! It's so easy to make friends here! <laughs> right. Anyways, Mary, can I offer you anything? Drinks are on me, so... Oh, drinks are always on Ty! So, like, order whatever you want and run her dry! <laughs> we also have other things, besides drinks, if you prefer. Oh! Oh! Oh, thank you, but no thank you. I'm good. Besides, someone has to make sure everyone gets home safe tonight. Smart girl. Don't start any mess. It's a bit too late for some people at this table. Oh, are you talking about me? <laughs> She's so silly. Anyways, have you any updates on our little situation we're, ta uh, we're taking care of? Oh, oh. Uh, is it alright to talk about around? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Trust me, she's not going to remember any of it. What? Not true. I've got, like, elephant memory. Oh, yeah? Twyla pointed to me from across the table. What's her name, then? I've said it a few times already. Uh... Hit? Right. Twyla turned back to face me. As we were saying, anything on your end? Well, I'm, I think... I'm not gonna hold it against you that harshly. We should start buckling down on it, though. But I think it's okay if we take a break tonight. Yeah, great, great answer. Ten out of ten, you got this, Mary. So, tell me about the friend you came with. Oh, why? I was trying to make conversation, that's all. And like we said, this isn't really your thing. I find it odd someone like you is friends with someone who generally seems to enjoy this place. Oh, well my whole life pretty much so there's that uh one of those kinds of friends yeah D don't get me wrong he's like one of my closest friends but i guess our personality just headed in different directions as we got older so i don't know like i mean we're not too different both wear a lot of black <laughs> and we're into like similar things he's very out there and high energy and obnoxious. And his friends are that way too, you said. Yeah, <laughs> I just met them tonight. I thought it could be fun, but I don't know. It has been feeling very fun. I'm kind of wishing I met them somewhere else, maybe. I don't think clubs are the best place to meet people. What? What are you talking about? I think it's great. <laughs> It's fine, Mary. After all, you can't expect everyone to like you. What'd they say, huh? Huh? Oh, uh, they just, um, called me scary looking. But it's not like I haven't heard it before, so... Right. Well, like I said, it's fine. I brought you here, after all, so you don't have to sit with them anymore. <laughs> oh, Twyla's so nice! Right? No reassurance. I would reassure the fuck out of Mary. Maybe you're not scary. It's fine. Nah, she's just lucky. Lucky. And so are you, so don't get things confused. Aw, oh, I changed my mind then. 
Why is mean? <laughs> um, I sat with him for a while. Didn't talk about all that much. Well, Twyla and I didn't, at least. The drunk girl went on and on about a bunch of stories of hers. Never learned her name or how she knew Twyla. But she was very nice and seemed to be having fun. I know she was drunk, but still, she was nice. Speaking of people who were drunk, I started getting some texts from Crovin, who seemed plenty drunk by the way he was typing. Are you more as we're go? <laughs> um. Oh, it's supposed to be you've been gone for a while. Uh, you know, constipated or anything, right? If somebody's giving you a hard time, you know who to call. Don't even worry, I'll beat him up for you if you need to. If we. If you need me to. <laughs> I ought to go get him. Right, we miss you, drunk girl. Be safe, get home safely, make sure somebody else drives you home. Thank you for letting me see with you guys, but I think I'm gonna get going. No, what is that? My friend's messaging me, and I think he's a little too drunk right now. It reminds me of someone. Oh, ooh. I'm gonna go, but thank you again. Really, thank you. I appreciate it. Night, Mary. Oh, she's leaving. That's so sad. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, drunk girl. I left out the double doors and tried to remember my way to our table. It was a bit hard to see with all the crazy lights and people, but I did make it back. When I got there, Crowell was slumped over the table, hiccuping and mumbling things to himself. She was the real MVP. <laughs> we miss you, drunk girl. He never used to be this bad when it came to drinking. I picked him up off the table and told his friends I ought to get him home. They didn't protest in the slightest. I wished them a good night, slumped Crovin over my shoulder, and headed to the exit. I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to get Crovin out without the bouncer noticing, but to my surprise, when I opened the door, no one was out there. I was confused, but I also wasn't going to pass up the opportunity. I hurried along as fast as I could, uh, what with Crovin on top of me and all. We then waited together at the bus stop for the next bus to, co bus to come so that we could get home. It was hard for me to tell if Crovin had passed out or not while we were waiting, but he got up when the bus arrived. I still carried him, though, just in case he tripped over himself. We got on the bus together. Oh, buddy. The bus ride was long and tiring. Crovin leaning over me, his breath reeking of overpriced alcohol. It was even harder getting off the bus. I still carried him because I know he needed me. Mary. Yes? Are you okay? Mary. He hiccuped. Never liked seeing him like this. But at least I knew that when he was with me, he was safe. Yes, Crovin? I love you. I love you too. And I really do. I've always loved Crovin. He was like family. And the first friend I had ever made, the only friend I had ever made, hearing him say he loved me was something he seldom did as the years passed. <laughs> I love you too, Crovin. So hearing him say it right now, well, I wish I could say it made me feel happy. It did make me feel a little happy, but I wish it was something I could hear him say when he was sober too. Boundaries, Mary, we gotta learn how to, how to make them. Carried Crovin back up to his room and laid him on top of his bed. I think he passed out the minute his head hit the pillow. I kissed his forehead goodnight and headed to my own room. I wish I could have slept as easily as he did, but I had more to take care of first. It's mystery number time! Are you there? I have a question for you. Yes? What do you do all day? I can't answer that. Why not? You definitely don't just sit at the phone all day. Well, of course I don't. Then what do you do? I can't tell you. Is it because it's bad? Depends on what you classify as being bad. Well, I mean, just bad stuff? What does that consist of? Just because something is illegal doesn't always mean it's bad. And just because something is law doesn't mean it's good. case. Are you worried I did something illegal? Or are you worried I did something bad? You still haven't answered me, though. 
What is it that you do? I look out for you. Good night, Mary. Good night, mystery number. It's been a few days since that night. When Toby got up the morning after, he had a humongous hangover. He was stuck home with me because, well, there was no way I was letting him out when he seemed so sick. <laughs> mystery number kind of... <laughs> I reminded him to not to drink so much. It wasn't healthy for him. He didn't seem he didn't really seem to care though. Philo has, has been texting me too. I haven't really seen her in person since seeing her at the club, but she texts me often. Sometimes we'll agree to meet up somewhere, but something always seems to get in the way, so we haven't been able to yet. I feel bad though. She texts me updates a lot of things she's wondering about. Weapons, methods, potential victims. But I oftentimes don't know what to say in return or ever really have anything to show her. I was wondering if I should start investigating on my own as to not let her down, but she seems so confident in what she's doing. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know how I would start anyways. So for now, I've just been staying home. It's been raining a lot too, so it's not the most apt time to be outside anyways. But even though I haven't left the house in a while, I've been able to stay entertained. We got that book! Look at that book! Look at the spooky how to talk to ghosts book! She started reading the book that Croven had won me in the crane machine. When I saw the title, How to Talk to Ghosts, I figured it was, well, figurative. I thought it would be some spooky story with a clever title, but to my surprise, it was written as more of an instructional guide. Are we going to yeet it into the fire like we did the... That one, that one other book? No manga this time. <laughs> it's a very interesting read. And I'm curious as how they got all this information in As previously mentioned, ghosts exist on a different plane of existence. Not much is obvious. Yet they can communicate with us despite their beings existing on a separate layer from ours. You can see time and time again their attempts to reach us. Perhaps it's because they're angry? Perhaps it's because they're lonely? Does each ghost... Uh, does each ghost exist on their own, or do spirits share a realm with one another, expanding and everlasting? Is there a heaven? Is there a hell? Or is there only purgatory, stretching for miles beyond what we can comprehend? These are questions I cannot yet answer, for if I could, I wouldn't be here writing this right now, would I? But there's a question I have been able to answer. Since ghosts can make contact with us, I often wondered, could we contact them? Sure, you've heard of psychics and mediums and whatnot, but that is only half of what I'm talking about. Being born with the innate ability is a factor, of course, but I wanted to delve deeper than that. Despite where they may exist, they can clearly affect things in our realm. They can reach us, and like one-way glass, I know they can see us. But what if we could see them? It's not enough to, uh, it's not enough to hear them. I wanted to see them, to travel where they were. This is, this is how you get the start of Corpse Party. This is how the events of Corpse Party unfold. Um, bad ideas. Don't do these. <laughs> I believe that when you die, perhaps your soul can become unrestricted. But what if we could accomplish the opposite? Right? <laughs> Don't do it. You're gonna go wacky like Naho did. And then you're gonna kill kill your teacher, and it's just gonna be a bad situation. Just don't. <laughs> but what if we could accomplish the opposite? What if a living being had the ability to unrestrict itself before death? Perhaps this sounds. Excuse you, I was reading that. Oh, my phone is ringing. Perhaps this sounds like crazy talk, but you will find that I successfully. <gasps> don't do it. Yeah. Hello. Yo, where are you? Hmm? What do you mean? I'm at home. What? Well, that's lame. Thought you'd be out at the, uh, by the cemetery by now. It's kind of your thing, right? Well, I mean, it's raining, no? Nah, just a little cloudy out. Besides, I was gonna be heading there, so I thought I'd meet up with you or something? And we could, like, get lunch or dinner or whatever later. I don't know. That sound good to you? Oh, well, I can leave now if you'd like. Yeah, come on. I should be there by the time you get there. So, don't keep me waiting long. Proven. Well, it looks like I wouldn't be stuck at home all day after all. I put down my book and made sure the fire was completely out before going to meet Croven. I felt so surprised. But 
it was nice. To see that he wanted to spend more time with me, I hoped that this would continue. And when my parents came back, or when my parents come back, maybe everything will start feeling a little bit, a bit more normal again? I hopped off the bus, arriving in town again. It was very cloudy, but the air didn't feel moist at all. Maybe the rainy weather would finally take a break. I made my way over to the cemetery once again. I hoped that I didn't keep Krogan waiting too long, but I was a bit surprised when I arrived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> stretch. We can do a stretch. Thank you, Travis. Reminder, everyone else also do a stretch. It is important to keep your body flexible, even if only a little bit. <laughs> uh, big stretchy. All right, hold on a second. Oh, a text message from parentals. All right. Thank you for the stretch reminder, Travis. I was getting a little stiff. All right. Hey, you made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mars? Oh, yes, yes, I'm here. Krevin's other friends were here, too. I just love that. <laughs> Um, Zapara just looks like she's, like, ready to pounce on anyone at any given second. It's literally, like, fighting stance. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Why were we waiting for her again? We already know how to get here, uh, get where we want. <laughs> hey, chill out. Mary loves this place. <laughs> Figured if we were gonna be here anyways, we might as well invite her. <laughs> well, we're all here. Let's go. <laughs> The kind of energy I would love to watch from a distance, but not be next to, for fear that I would be getting pounced. <laughs> we all stepped through the cemetery gates. Theodore and Zapara uh, kind of walked ahead, but I pulled Krovan to the side and had him walk a bit behind with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Something wrong? I I'm sorry, Krovan, but when you invited me to hang out, I thought it was just going to be the two of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luna. <laughs> Boys from middle school won't go through like the glomp. Oh, <laughs> those were the days, weren't they? <laughs> um. Oh, I see. But this is still cool, right? I mean, you like them, don't you? What? Seriously? I. Don't know. Oh, come on, Mars. They're not that bad. Do do they even like me that much? Yeah, sure they do. Is this about their scary Mary comments? Yes. Yes, it is. Clear, open communication. Yeah, I thought so. But, but hey, they're not like that. Promise, you just met him in the wrong environment, that's all. It'll be fine. All right. We started to walk closer to the other two again. Um, I know the cemetery like the back of my own hand, but I wasn't sure exactly where we were going. Or rather, I didn't know where they were going. So, do you guys come here often? I, uh, spend a lot of time here and all, but I can't say I remember seeing you guys here before. <laughs> nah, not really. It's not quite our vibe, but it's good for a few things every now and again. Oh, are we here to visit someone then? <laughs> As if. You'd never catch me here looking like some, uh, you'd never catch me here looking like some overwatered pansy. Even when I'm dead. Oh, then why are we here? Ah, oh, there it is. I watched as Theodore approached one of the old trees near a usually forgotten corner of the cemetery. Look at that tough boy. There's not a lot of graves here. At least, not yet. And this tree doesn't provide much shade compared to the others. I watched as Theodore stuck his hand into a hole in the tree. Theodore, what are you doing? Theo, what are you doing? 
I always figured that squirrels and birds lived in those, so I never went out of my way to bother them. He just rips out a squirrel from the tree. But when I saw what Theodore pulled out, I... I was very upset, to say the least. It's drugs. It's drugs, isn't it? What? What is that? What's in there? <laughs> Mary's livid! What, this? <laughs> it's just the good stuff. Or, well, glad <laughs> stuff if you want to get technical. <laughs> How good can it be? This is the dollar cemetery! Right, Angie Mary, very good. <laughs> Just needed somewhere to hide it that wasn't uh wasn't home for a while. You know how cops and dumbass landlords can be, right? And so you just you hid it here? How how dare you? What's the problem? It's not like anyone ever comes here anyways. I do! You can't just hide your this junk here! Especially junk like that! What do you think this place is? This isn't just some park or stretch of woods. This is a cemetery! Blah. Yeah, you tell him, Mary. Um, his family's here, what are you doing with that? It doesn't belong here. That doesn't belong here. You just couldn't find some other place to hide it, is that it? If I'd have known this was here, I never would have let it stay. How could you even think to do something so disrespectful? This is someone's final resting place! How dare you try and taint it! Disrespect it! Treat it this way! Prove it. <laughs> Yo, Mars. Maybe you want to chill the fuck out a little bit? Hold on a second. Is it that big of a deal? It is, though. Listen here, buddy. How can you say that? Chuckle fucks tends to be my new go-to swear. So listen here, Croven, you chuckle fuck. <laughs> Croven's breaking the boundaries of reality. It's not gonna work. That won't stop that won't stop Mary's ire. How'd you feel if someone came into your home and just started wrecking everything? Chuckle fuck is a great swear. A great swear. <laughs> something like this is so, okay. I won't stand for it. Whoa, hey! Pause off! No! You don't deserve to even have this. Using this place as your hiding ground. Sweary would say so. Not Sweary. You were gonna leave it with it anyways. Not soon enough! It shouldn't have even been here to begin with. You shouldn't even have this kind of stuff in the first place. It's good for nothing anyways. Let, let go! Let go already! <gasps> I don't know what happened. Oh no. I think I might have just pulled too hard. And I was suddenly thrust backwards. A little spill, a tiny tumble. <laughs> and then the next thing I knew, everything was dark. Did she fucking hit her head on a on a headstone, please? And then in that darkness, <laughs> I heard giggling. And my eyes began to adjust to the light, and I found myself- This part was gonna be, like, right there. Somewhere quite strange. JK! Who's this?! <laughs> Hello? Uh... Huh? What? Hi, uh... Hello? Yeah, that was- That wasn't a blip. It's a- <gasps> Now we've righted a ghost. She precious though. Look how cute she is. Where am I? You're on my boat. Now I've already got dibs on being captain, by the way. Guess you're going on an adventure with me. Huh? Where are we going? I don't know. That's what makes it an adventure. Oh. Uh. It sounds fun, but I. I was just with my friends, wasn't I? I was so confused. Where was I? And who's this girl? And are my eyes okay? Everything's got a bit green. It's fine. Rather a case of the greens than a case of the purples. Don't worry about it, Mary. Yeah, but we're friends too, right? I... Are we? I... I'm sorry. I can't say I 
remember you? Is this Spella? Hold on a second. Green is better than the purples. 100%. So along the whole rainbow. Oof. That can't be good for your health. Yeah, you do. Come on. Just because I'm a kid doesn't mean I'm stupid. You're always here. Never mind. She's a ghost who's in the cemetery all the time. That makes sense, too. I am? Maybe we did have a case of the reds that one time. Emily? Oh, yeah! You come by to give me flowers, like, all the time! Huh? Oh, thanks, by the way. I think it's kind of overdue. Thanks. For the flowers, dummy! Mama always taught me to say please and thank you, especially when someone does something nice for you. And I think he'd want me to say thanks, too. So, maybe... Could I please have a teddy bear next time? Huh? The flowers are pretty and all, but I really, 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 really want a new teddy bear. And I think you'd choose a really great one, especially with your taste in flowers and stuff. So, pretty please with a cherry on top and everything? Wait, I'm sorry, please slow down. Hold on a second. <laughs> Me knocking stuff over on my desk. It's all fine. I say as I continue to knock more things over. Sorry, please slow down. I'm still a little confused. How did I get here? Who are you? Oh, I can answer that one. I'm Sunny. Some people here started calling me Sunshine. Here, wait. Sunny? Sunny Day? That's precious. Yeah! But Sunny is... Oh, right. I'm Mary, by the way. It's nice to meet you. So, that teddy bear? Oh, yes. Yes, I can bring you one. I'll add it to my shopping list so I can bring it next time I come around. But in order to do, to do that, I'll have to find my friends again. Maybe we'll find them on our adventure. She's precious and I love her. Yes, maybe, but... Am I dreaming? I must be right. But this... It doesn't feel like a dream. And Sunny... What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. Okay. But take it easy. You'll give yourself a headache if you think too hard. <sighs> yes, I suppose I might. Do you hear that? Hear what? Free. Mar Mary! Huh? Y I wasn't calling for you, Devo. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, thank yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Mary, are you okay? Y yeah, I... Oh, no. My head. What happened? The <laughs> cat's name is now Mary. Devo just hears anyone say any, any name with some sort of enthusiasm and immediately assumes it's for him. Alright, Devo, it's official. You're Mary now. We fell back on one of the headstones. Then we were out cold. I scared the shit out of me. I was gonna bring you to the hospital or something if you didn't wake up soon. Oh. What about your friends? They left. <laughs> Basically. Not even kidding. You say anything and that child is like, Me? You want me? It's not for you. But I'll pet you anyway, because I love you, my sweet, sleepy boy. Hello, Mama. She is just staring at me. This is fine. Um, friends, they left. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, I... I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to... I said don't worry about it. We won't hang out here anymore, okay? So just drop it. Promised you lunch, didn't I? Let's go. Crumman helped me stand up, and once it was confirmed that I could stand without a problem, he began to make his way to the exit. But I had to check something first. You bash your head onto onto Sunny's headstone. Looked over to the headstone that I was supposedly knocked or that I had supposedly knocked myself out on. The name engraved on it. Sunny. So what I'm hearing, my understanding is, 
we need to go up to every single headstone. Whatever, whatever whoever you want to speak to, just go to their headstone and smash your head into it. And then you'll start talking to ghosts. Solid. Solid advice. <laughs> Was what I just experienced really a dream? But of all the dreams I could have had, right, lunch and a concussion. <laughs> Head bash responsibly, y'all. <laughs> what of all the dreams I could have had? I thought back to that book I read, How to Talk to Ghosts. Maybe, just maybe, I'd have to try and see it again for myself. But maybe it really yeah. was. Mary, come on. I I'm coming, I'm coming. I hurriedly made my way to Crow inside, and we quietly went to lunch that day. Neither of us really said much. I felt bad. I knew Crovin and I didn't grow up completely the same, but I had no idea the kind of friends he made were people like this either. Did he always hang around people who acted like this? I didn't know how to feel. The Crovin that I saw around these people isn't the Crovin I'm used to. Who's the Crovin I know? Is he just a ghost too? No, I shouldn't think like that. Doesn't work, you might already be a ghost. Luna, please don't be a ghost. I like you being non-ghost-like. I mean, I'll still like you if you're a ghost, but I don't want you to be a ghost. Just don't be a ghost, please. We kind of went home together after that. I don't know why. It was just like, neither one of us wanted to just go on with our day afterwards. No, no ghost prejudice. Ghosts are just fine, but I also like my friends remaining corporeal. <laughs> Do you get special ghosty powers? You could probably go through walls, but that I imagine that's it. <laughs> so not really a solid trade-off, if you if you ask me. So even though we weren't talking, we both went home together. Uh, we stayed in separate rooms the rest of the day. <laughs> no puns. There were puns, but it's fine. <laughs> Just did our own thing. Neither one of us felt like talking about it. Dinner was quiet, and I think the only thing I heard him say that evening was good night as I retired to my room. If only I was really going to bed then. Again, you're still here, right? Of course I am. Is everything okay? Oh, whoops. My brain just did not register that last message. Yes, on my side at least. Is everything okay with you? The day was harder than normal. Why is that? Things were just stressful, that's all. I don't really want to talk about it with you. I just wanted to be honest in my answer. I understand. I'm sure you're carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders. Please, take things easy on yourself. Positive, the last thing you need is more stress right now. It's funny you say that, considering you are one of the things that worries me most. I see. It shouldn't worry you more than I have to, then. Good night, Mary. A day or two passed since then. Not much had happened, but I have been unable to stop thinking about my encounter with Sunny. It was just so bizarre to me. Out of anything I could have dreamt up, unless, of course... Had I really spoken to a ghost that day? That couldn't have been possible, and yet... I thought back to that book I read, but I don't understand. I hadn't done anything special. I didn't recite any chant or practice any written method. Why would I suddenly be able to speak to a ghost? I... Maybe it was just a weird coincidental dream after all. I... I had to be sure. I decided to head back down to the cemetery during the morning. Even though I knew a general area of where everyone was, I didn't really have an idea of who I was really looking for. Hmm. I think you might be interesting. Decided I sat myself down by the grave, and then shifted myself into a laying position over top of it. This felt weird. But I had to know. I shut my eyes and tried to think of nothing more than sleep, hoping that I could somehow fall asleep soon. And I'm not sure exactly when, but I did. 
All right, welcome to the sound of a graceful violin. It happened again. Just like with Sunny, I woke up somewhere new. This is a theater, right? It's soaked in shades of green. Free concert. You love to see it. Never been at a place like this before. Felt like a dream, and yet, not quite. It wasn't quite a dream. Right? What is this place? <laughs> Take a whiff. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, look around. I was in an old theater. Seats surrounding me seemed dusty. Looks as it looked as if they hadn't been sat in for quite some time. There was no one here except for me, and a violinist on the stage. I don't know if they noticed me here or not. Regardless, they continued playing. Take a whiff. Took a deep inhale, trying to smell what I could. Everything smelled faintly of lilies, so I couldn't see any flowers here at all. Which, in my opinion, is a little sad. Just big old breath. <laughs> Such a lovely musician should at least receive a bouquet. Feel. I reached out and touched the chairs. Although I could see that they had a fabric covering, it felt like anything but. The dust did not come off on my hands, and the chairs themselves felt like dollhouse furniture. Plastic-like. Fake. Missing. The sound of an elegant violin reverberated throughout the theater. The violinist atop the stage continued to play, despite the fact that I was the only one here. It was beautiful to listen to. I felt as if I could sit in one of these chairs and listen for hours, but I know I did not have that kind of time. Still, what a shame to cut off such a performance so early. Approach the stage. I walked up to the stage, the musician's, the musician's image becoming clearer to me as I did. They noticed me approaching, shifting their gaze onto me, and slowly stopped playing their violin. I placed it off to the side, expecting me to join them on the stage. So... I did. I climbed up the short stairs that led up onto the stage. The echoes creaked loudly in the huge room. The musician then gestured to an extra stool, hiding just behind the curtain. I grabbed it and placed it beside theirs. Hi! Lydian Walton? The one and only. It, it really is you. Well, I don't see who else it would be. I'm gonna have to. Start, oh fuck! I'm gonna have to start saving over things. pages i see i see okay i thought i had filled up all the pages is the thing okay cool good 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 <laughs> thank you to be fair there are already like with the, the pages available there are already so many options but i just wanted to like figure out how to get the numbers below to align with the pages fair enough as long as we know it's there. All right. Um. Are you a ghost? I don't know. <laughs> One day, <laughs> add it to the list of things to figure out how to do. One day, you'll you'll find you'll find the, the solution. <laughs> um. I don't know. Are you? Me? Why would I be a ghost? You're here speaking to me, aren't you? What brings you here, my dear? Well, uh... Sleep, I guess? Sleep? It's a tad silly, don't you think? Silly? You're playing a violin to an empty theater. Oh no, it's not empty. You're here, after all. Well, I suppose you have a point. Wait, I'm getting off topic. I wanted to talk about... I'm really speaking to a dead person right now. Right? <laughs> I love witticisms. This is how you get a ghost to speak to you. How is this possible? How should I know? I'm not the dead person expert here. Well, neither am I. You sure? You're the one always visiting us, after all. I'd say you're more like us than them, if anything. Me? Visiting? But I've never 
been here before. Oh, maybe once before, but that's it. Nonsense. You're always here. I'd even say you're here more often than you are. I... I don't understand. Mary, she's talking about the cemetery. Hey, baby. Oh, I'm sure you don't, little flower girl. I suppose all those petals that find their way upon my stage just happen to fall from the sky. I don't follow. Silly, silly, silly. You're always bringing flowers. Do you think we don't receive them? Wait, sorry. Are you telling me when I bring flowers, they wind up here? Seems so. Then, I must... I really am talking to a dead person right now. Not very quick, are you, dear? <laughs> That's alright. <laughs> Sweet, precious bean. Uh, sorry, I just... It's very exciting to actually be talking to you. Yes, I used to get that a lot. Although friendly, in a different context. This is... Wow, this is so... Wait. I'm a bit confused, though. Lydian, you... Yes? Well, it's just that... According to your tombstone and all... Yes, what about it? Well, if it's correct... <laughs> You're old! You shouldn't be this young. <laughs> you look like you could be my age. But how can that be? You died when you were in your 70s. That's true. Then, well... I guess I'm just having trouble understanding. Because you seem... Well, you look very good for your age. <laughs> very funny. But no. It's true that I died in my 70s. I just liked my looks better when I was younger. Can you believe me? I believe this was my prime. Yeah. Wait, so you're telling... Mary? Proven, I am busy chatting with some ghosts. Now is not the time. And once again, I was ripped out of this strange world by a very familiar voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mars, what are you doing yeah, yeah, yeah. here? You okay? <laughs> Proven moved out of the way as I stood up on my own two feet, brushing the dirt off myself. Hi? No offense, but... Um... <laughs> oh no, Panda! It's... It's... It's happened to the best of us. It has happened to the best of us. <laughs> oh no. It's been... It's been a couple of hours, hasn't it? This is fine. Get some, get some free views. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, no offense, but yeah, 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 yeah. fuck, were you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. We have beds at home, you yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to sleep on the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not going narcoleptic on me, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. I did it on purpose, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually. Why? I, well, it's like. I don't know how else to say it, but I I think Yeah. I think I can talk to ghosts. <laughs> don't laugh. I'm being serious. Yeah, no, I believe you. So did Jasper the friendly ghost invite you over for tea or uh Proven? I really am being serious. I swear I'm not lying. If, if I can prove- Hey, hey, come on! You don't gotta get like that. If you're serious, then I believe you. But, uh... Sleeping outside is kind of... Uh, a little fucking dangerous, yeah? So maybe, like... Don't... Do that? Especially all by yourself? Oh, right. Well... Yo, Proven. Theodore. Proven and I turned our heads to look towards the cemetery gates. Theodore and Zapara were on the other side. Theodore was waving over to us, hand high in the air. Zapara had her hands gripped tightly around the bars of the gate. Let me in! Is all I imagine. She was bouncing up and down as if trying to get Proven's attention. That's okay, yeah, that's exactly what's happening. As if we couldn't already see them. Proven turned around and walked over to the gate to talk to them, but they still wouldn't step inside. I followed behind. Oh, your boyfriend is dead. <laughs> uh, 
at a distance. <laughs> well, well, well. Look, you finally decided to show <laughs> up. Us? What about yourself? <laughs> I'm always where I'm supposed to be. What you doing in here anyways? That you weren't allowed in here anymore. <laughs> yeah. You're married. You're the baby. But I saw Mars asleep in here and I had to wake her up. Asleep? She fucking narcoleft or something? Nah. At least, pretty sure she's not. <laughs> For real, though? Uh, she just thinks she can talk to ghosts. That's all. Proven, please. <laughs> You're kidding. Hey, hey, hey! Don't laugh so loud! Can she show us, then? <laughs> I wanna see! I don't know, let's see. Yo, Mars! Proven called out to me. 100%. You wanna show us the boys what you can do? Huh? Show us you can talk to ghosts! We were gonna go to the haunted place anyways. Haunted? Yeah. You were just gonna dick around, maybe pick up a Ouija, <laughs> Ouija board on the way there? Not the Luigi board. But if you can talk to ghosts, then that's just as good, right? No! But I feel like I have to! This is gonna be a disaster. Really? Yeah? Maybe? It'll be fun. Whoop whoop! Come on, come on, come on, let's go! Zara. Chill. What's happening over there? Kitty cats are rolling around. I followed Proven and his friends out of the cemetery. <laughs> don't mess with the Luigi board. It's true. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I wasn't even sure where we were going. But... Oh no, you're right. Am I Zapara? Am I middle school wolf girl glomp energy? This is dangerous. I do need to re-dye my hair. Just was a lot of effort to go to the store. <laughs> Am I a glomp girl? Fun fact, I used to be. I was cringe. I'll admit it. Still am sometimes. Not a glomp girl, but cringe. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Um. <laughs> so goth. No, I was just an anime weeb. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um. But I felt as though I couldn't decline their invitation, especially since things didn't end that great with us last time, and I didn't want to leave a bad impression. Was. I'm not the same anime weeb that I used to be. <laughs> I'm very particular about my animes now. Um. But it was fine. I was sure that if I just stayed close to Kroven, I'd probably be okay. I followed close behind as they walked, talking amongst themselves. Wasn't really tuned into their conversation, too busy caught up in my own thoughts. And then, after walking a while, we entered a much different part of the city. This area, uh, this area of the city was more suburban than anywhere else. There were actual, well, houses. The kind with lawns and stuff, and not just apartments. They weren't anything too special, just... Standard houses. I guess a house is worth it if you really value your privacy, but these areas of town always felt so out of place. And since there were only houses here, no shops or anything like that, it felt like a trespasser entering this neighborhood. Even if all we were doing was walking around, like I said, I, uh, like I, said I would, I stayed close to Croven. And I made note of the house that uh, they were approaching, and then stopped in front of it. <laughs> That's a haunted fucking house. Here she is. This house. It was a bit bigger and nicer than the others on the road. My house. In the middle of my house. My house. <laughs> that was a joke last time. I know those aren't the lyrics. Let me just clarify. I know those aren't the actual lyrics. But what if a house was inside a house was inside a house? Consider. <laughs> 
It was a bit bigger and nicer than the others on the road, had it not been for the state of disrepair that it was in. My ghost in the middle of my house. <laughs> you can see the cracks in the windows all the way from the sidewalk. Not to mention all the tall, unruly grass that probably hadn't been cut in ages. It looked like there was probably some sort of gate or fence at one point, but not anymore. There was nothing stopping us from waltzing right up onto the front door. This house is haunted? Definitely. Well, just look at it. Hmm. What makes this haunted? I should probably save, considering. The gator fence? You're telling me this doesn't look like the pinnacle of a haunted house to you? Just because it's old and abandoned doesn't mean it's haunted. But have you ever thought of what, uh, why it might have been abandoned? People leave things behind all the time. It doesn't mean anything. Come on, no bickering, you're wasting time. Let's just go in already. We walked up to the front door. Crowbar was able to open it with no resistance at all. Door squeak, jump scare. As soon as the door was open, an awful stench flooded out from the inside of the house. How long has this place been abandoned for? Who this? Who this? Who's this in the painting? Who's this? We stepped in into the house and through an archway, which led us into what looked like a living room. It was in shambles, to say the least. I coughed after just a few steps inside. It felt hard to breathe, as if there was too much dirt in the air to really breathe properly. It's Payington. Who this? It was all very yeah. gross. Yeah. Didn't realize how fucking moist this air would be. Haven't you been here before? Kind of. Doesn't matter. We're here, so go on. Do your thing. Oh, what? The ghost thing? Uh, duh! That's kind of what we're all here for. What she means is that we'd like to see you talk to ghosts, like you claim to be able to do. <laughs> Knock yourself out! <laughs> oh, right. Well... I mean, it isn't that easy. So far, I've only been able to do it when I'm asleep. And well, you just woke me up a little while ago. Oh, come on! I'm sure you can do it. You have to at least try. We didn't drag you all the way here out, or all the way out here for nothing. But we don't even know if this place is even haunted. What if it's just a waste to begin with? <laughs> well, there's only one way to check that out then, isn't there? <laughs> Look, I under I understand blomp energy. All right, this is me when I'm feeling particularly feral. I got it. This is me when we start talking about Reggie. <laughs> Still, like I said, I just woke up, you know? I know I'm usually pretty good at, like, just falling asleep wherever, but I don't think I can fall back asleep this quickly after waking up. Crumb can sing you a lullaby. A hundred percent. Accurate. Fuck no. You do it. Uh, Crow, you know my singing voice isn't as angelic as yours. <laughs> Mars, would you be able to fall asleep if I sang you a lullaby? <gasps> Hi, Dougie! How's it going, friend? How are you doing? <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Or, sorry. OMG, OMG, OMG! Thank you for getting that shout-out out there! <gasps> but how's it going, Dougie? How are you doing? Crow, Crow Boy's gonna sing for us! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, it's not for you. Crowbin seemed embarrassed. What else did it lose? Ruby Gloom? <gasps> I have not watched it, but I am familiar with Ruby Gloom. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> Just precious, precious redheaded goth vibes, honestly. I appreciate them. Oh, Corbett seemed embarrassed. Lay down on the couch. Try singing for you. <laughs> Sounds like we all gotta watch some Ruby Gloom. Consider. Oh, 
We're doing pretty good. Been here for a little while, but hey, still having fun with it. Um, but yeah, we're doing good. I'm glad you're well as well. Daps. Arcade Kitten is is the is the dev for this game, by the way. <laughs> All of us just constantly shouting at Arcade here tonight because we're playing her game. It's fine. It's free on Steam. Go play it if you want to do a lot of reading. Um, also, I think it's pee time again. It's been a couple of hours. I think it's pee time. And I was trying to find a good place to stop and there hasn't been. So it's now, it's now time to do the pee thing. <laughs> Look! Look! Our community is all here to support all of our friends, and you are now one of our friends, and we're going to support you in your cool game. Yeah, Dougie showed up. I gotta go pee now. Bye, Dougie. Thanks for making me pee, I guess. No. <laughs> Just two minutes. Just give me two minutes. And then it's, it's all done. Done real fast. It's piss time. BRB.
sat down and tried to drink and I spilled on myself. <laughs> this is fine. Definitely drool. A hundred percent drool. I just got too excited for my water and like tipped it back way too far and then just like it's fine. So I'm just gonna have a little wet spot on my shirt. <laughs> Judge me all you want. It's fine. It's not fine. Oh! There's a Devo! Hi, Devo. My good boy. I do need to eat more screws. <laughs> Make my mouth tougher. Keep me from spilling on myself. Thank you, Scrooge, for always, always watching out for us. Alright. <laughs> I, like, really hoped that I would like, mostly just, like, gotten it on my neck or whatever. And I saw it in the camera, and I was just like, no, it's fine. Don't mind me. I just don't know how to drink things. Alright. We ready to go? Let's fucking go. I did what he asked of me. Everyone was already here and I didn't want to let anyone down. Besides, it couldn't hurt to try, right? Do I have some on my pants too? Are you shitting me? Did I really just like... I am covered in water. Besides, it couldn't hurt to try, right? I laid back onto the old couch and closed my eyes, hoping that it wouldn't break beneath my weight. I heard Crovin's friends begin to giggle amongst themselves as Crovin cleared his throat, readying himself to sing to me. I must admit, I did, al or I almost giggled myself when I heard, almost giggled to myself when I heard him start to sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. Although I'm not sure I would describe his voice as angelic, it was actually pretty nice to listen to. The only songs he usually sings along to are loud punk ones, so it was a nice change of pace. And despite how dank the air was and how itchy the sofa felt, I actually did end up finding myself drifting off to sleep. Um, I don't want to let anyone down, so I took a nap after my second concussion of the day. Go, Mary. No, again, boundaries, girl. Set them. <laughs> Look, waking up once in the morning is, is too much. Having to do it a second time, let alone a third time? Mary's <laughs> superpowers being able to fall asleep anywhere. What is that like? Please help. <laughs> <gasps> Suddenly, I was awake. It is, it is Allie's superpower too. Allie, share? <laughs> um, and I was in the bathroom at the old house. Did it work? Was I in the same realm as the ghosts again? Then maybe... Maybe this house really was haunted oh. after all. Hello? Called out into the house. No response. <laughs> I mean, it's 100% believable. I've met a number of people who are able to just like... Like that. Just go to sleep. And I'm over here like, I can't sleep normally. Let alone try to do like that nap thing so like what the heck it is a magic pack like it is a superpower y'all are magical beings <laughs> um no response i guess i'd better look around then also not the bathtub i'm just getting flashbacks to cat lady got it from out of the tub careful not to slip on my way out um <laughs> right go us no nap squad um, I exited the bathroom and into the hallway. Looking down it, this house seemed a lot bigger on the inside, even though it seemed big enough on the outside already. I hoped I wouldn't get lost as I started to look around. Ghosts? Hello, ghosts? The hallways were long and almost a bit disorienting. I had no idea what floor I was on or where the staircase was, or any idea on how to get back to the entrance. But if I was here right now, surely there was someone's ghost that I could talk with, right? <laughs> We're grumpy. No cap. We will not take a nap. 
No, no naps. None, none nap. Um, I'll find my way around. But where should I look for them? Oh no. Is this gonna be like another... <laughs> do I have to do this in the right order? Let's look at the window. To the window! To the hall! To the ghost down in the stall. I don't, I don't know where the ghost is. I looked out the window to try to get a better gathering of where I was. <laughs> when is a door not a door? When it is a jar. Also, that's valid. D d <laughs> I imagine that room's like, if, even if they're not like super difficult to draw, they're just boring. Don't draw them. Don't draw them if you don't want to draw them. Besides, it was probable that the ghost would be standing outside too. Maybe in a garden or something? I wiped the dust off the window, coughing a bit as it came off and into the air. Cut my hands to the glass and peered outside. It was still pretty hard to see uh, to see much, but it appeared as if I was uh, at least on the second floor of the house. I didn't see anybody outside, though. Ghosty, where are you? Broken door! I noticed there was a door that had been broken off its hinges. It was placed precariously in front of the doorway it belonged to so that it still covered it, but wouldn't topple over. I walked over to it and grabbed the door with both hands. I lifted it up and then gently brought it to the side. I peered into the now open doorway. Little light from the windows leaked through, but it was enough to see with. There was an old metal frame single bed on one end of the room and an old desk on the other. Other than that, there wasn't much else. And there was no ghost either. I placed the door back in front of the doorway the way I had found it. I mean, the fact that it is described as having a crystal knob, that is my assumption. I'm assuming this is where the ghost is. Kind of want to look at everything else, but we're just going to look here. I approached the door with uh, that had a crystal knob on it. None of the other doors that I had passed had something like this. It must have led to a special room. I grabbed the knob of the door. The crystal felt cool on my hand. Who ghost? Where ghost? Why ghost? When ghost? How ghost? What ghost? I turned the knob, but the door wouldn't open. I tried again, but it still would not open. I decided just to give up on it. I didn't want to force it open. Besides, if it was locked, that probably meant I wasn't supposed to be in there anyways. Mary is so polite. Let's try the crack of the door. I approached the door with a large crack across the front. I went to go reach for the knob. Huh? There is none. Looks like it had fallen off some time ago. I tried to push the door open, but it wouldn't budge. I leaned over and peered into the hole where the knob should be. Mm, jump scare. <laughs> Nothing. Or rather, it's too dark to see anything. Oh well. Do you know why it's too dark? It's because somebody is looking back at you. I looked towards the door at the end of the hall. It was slightly ajar. I walked over to it and opened it all the way. I looked inside the room. There was a bookshelf with hardly any books, and a worn-down cozy chair to sit and read them in. It's because there's no windows. Sad room. But no ghosts. I closed the door all the way this time and left it alone. There's no ghost. I am disappointed. I kept looking, but the place seemed completely empty. What was I going to do? Surely I'd be waking up soon. And when I did, I'm sure the others would be expecting to hear about what I found. Should I just make up a story of a ghost I met here? I mean, they wouldn't know the difference if I did, right? It seemed like they'd be, uh, that'd be my only option until... Footsteps. There was someone here after all. I heard them run away from my direction. <laughs> Wait, come back! I followed after them. The direction they ran to... It led me to a door. When I opened it, there was a staircase behind it, leading upwards into what looked like an attic door. I am concerned. <laughs> Fine. I have no other options. Well, there's only one thing to do here. I climbed up the stairs and opened the attic's sole door. Upon reaching the top, I was confronted with another open doorway. Light was leaking through it. Is there a window up here? I walked closer, turned the corner, and then... Oh, 
shit! I recognize that silhouette. Take them down. I have to. Whoever you are, take a step forward and reach out my hands. <laughs> Boo! Stumbled backwards and fell onto the floor. <laughs> Dude! That was so fucking funny. Oh my god. You should see the look on your face right now. I got you so good, dude. <laughs> uh oh. I started to sob, ball, quite loudly and embarrassingly. Zaparu tried to talk to me, but I was too wrapped up in my own tears. Right, so that made Mary cry. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. I heard heavy thumps and faint, hey, what's going on? Is, uh, what's going on? Is Croven and Theodore found their way up to the attic to meet us. When they saw me, both of them seemed shocked and upset. I quickly diverted their attention to Zapara. <laughs> Hey, 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 what the fuck happened? <laughs> the hell did you do to her, Zapara? Uh, it wasn't even anything. I just pretended to hang from the nails and gave her a little spook when she got close. She's the one making a big deal of it. Dude, what the fuck? Not cool, dude. That wasn't the prank we agreed upon, asshole. Think you can just do whatever the fuck you want? Yeah, I do. Because I can't. Ugh. Shit's fucking stupid. Didn't do anything that bad. Bullshit you didn't do anything that bad. Too fucking far, is that? Ugh, whatever. Do you want me to say I'm sorry? Is that all you want? Leave me alone. Mary, my baby. Mary, wait. Ran out of the attic. In fact, I ran all the way out of the house. And kept running down the street until I got back to the more familiar areas of my, my city. Here we go, here we go. Oh no. The tears blurred my vision, but I kept running. <gasps> good morning, Emmy. <laughs> I hope it was a good nap. Right? Bad friends are bad. Crovin needs to take a, a good hard look at the friends that he has. <laughs> Hi, this is the first time I've talked to you today. Who are you again? Who are you? <laughs> Woken up at a very odd a very odd time. Allie is on top of those shout outs today. Allie's usually on top of everything, but like on fucking point. <laughs> yeah, Mary is sad. You've missed a lot. There's a lot that's been happening. Mod Moose coming in hot. Tears blurred my vision, but I kept running. I think I was just being fueled by my emotions at this point. I was so... I didn't want to think of any of them. Enough is enough. I tried so hard to be nice. To be polite. To be their friend. But it was clear to me now that that could never happen. I could never be friends with people like this. People like... And to think Croven continues to be friends with them. It's no wonder he's been so mean to me lately. And as all this was going on in my head, I still kept running. And running and running and running. Until I bumped into somebody. Is it my boy? Is it my boy? Is it my boy? <laughs> Whoa, is everything all right? That voice. Is it my boy? <gasps> ah! I'm, gonna, I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to continue to scream. But also, but also. Glomp Girl is here. Glomp Girl is here now. This is me. Oh, there goes my... <laughs> Hold on a second. The cover on my mic does not like to stay on anymore. This is Glomp Girl Hours! Reginald! Okay. <laughs> Reginald! Great, <laughs> Amy woke up. Reggie is here. I'm just saying. 
also Emmy never leave because that means Reggie's gonna leave. You gotta stay so that Reggie is here forever. Okay? Okay. Are are you okay? Huh? Oh sorry, I'll get out of your way secretly. <laughs> well wait just a minute now. <laughs> Awfully worked up, not me just wheezing over here. <laughs> just <laughs> you seem awfully worked up. What happened? No, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Not worried. Look at you. You're a mess. Uh, sorry. That probably wasn't the right word choice. But you're clearly very distressed. My point. You can't see me, but I'm touching my screen. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? N no, no, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Emmy. But also, my boy. My boy. I'll just go home. Mary. Would you come with me? Yes! <laughs> Do it! Huh? Well, I was actually on my way to a little place that calms me down, but I think you could use a trip there, too. Oh, no, that's okay. Please, you really don't have to worry. I'll be fine. I would feel a lot better if you came with me. Please? We ha we can't leave the screen now. We just have to sit here and, like, it just ha it has we just have to watch Reggie pat her back. This is it. This is the rest of the screen. Just hours of this. Here. Here. I'll make it better. Hold on a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Where is it? There it is. There. This is- this is stream now. <laughs> Just them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that made things a little better. This is fine. Reggie is perfect. I understand, Luna. I understand why you're not obsessed with him, but also... Him. <laughs> I understand, but also you can't throw a beautiful man and a beautiful woman in front of me and not expect my dumb pansexual ass to just be like... Them. Just... Them. <laughs> I understand, but also, dumb. <laughs> Autopod is like, uh, 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 no, no queer rep here. Automod, I think we, I think we consider that a hate crime. Hey, Automod. <laughs> okay. Right, how dare, even Devo says, how dare. Hi, sweet boy. Okay, let's, let's, uh, can we just take her back? I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pull Automod aside later and be like, the fuck are you doing, my guy? Listen here, chuckle fuck. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll come with. <laughs> Reginald gave me a soft smile after da, da, da. I said it. Thank you. Da, 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 da. Very much appreciate the company. Do you all <laughs> do y'all remember for those of you who have watched Taskmaster, y'all remember that bit where James A. Caster got a little too a little too sassy with uh George Davies. <laughs> he had to like George Davies took him and like stepped aside like towards the back of the stage and was like 
listen, buddy. What the fuck? That's what I'm imagining with me and Auto Mod. <laughs> I am Greg Davies. Did I say George Davies before? I'm an idiot. Greg Davies. Which time? <laughs> the time. I'll find the I'll find the clip and uh put it in into chat or in uh into the server. <laughs> Cause it's like one of my favorites. The series with uh James A. Caster in it was perfect anyway, because I identify with that fucking gremlin so hard. Alright. <laughs> Very much appreciate the company. <laughs> Come, follow me. Even though he said follow me, Reginald grabbed me by my wrist and began to guide me down the sidewalk. I was a bit confused on the direction we were going, though. It's this way? I didn't think there was much of anything on this road. Well, it's a bit of a secret. But that's part of what I like about it. If it gets too popular, then that'd ruin the very peaceful atmosphere that we have. I think it's better if less people know. But I think I can trust you not to tell anyone about it. Sorry, excuse me, I need to remember to breathe. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Reggie, take all my secrets. All of them. Oh, alright. I kept walking with him and eventually we reached, re we reached a more desolate area of the city. There was someone walking the streets, and all the windows of the buildings we started to pass were all dark. No one had any other lights on. Yeah, Mary, it's the middle of the day! No, I'm... <laughs> Excuse me. There were no cars on the street either. It was strangely barren around here. Say, what street are we on again? Are you sure we're going in the right direction? Da, 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 da. Yes, no need to worry. Da, 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 da. We're almost there. Okay. Then at a certain point, Reginald stopped walking. He looked down into a dark alley and then walked into it. I mean, I 100% trust Reggie, I we've we've had this conversation before. The things, the things I would let this man do to me. <laughs> Most of them not even sexual. Just take my hand. Let's go. Fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent certain that Fruity also trusts Reggie. Um, <laughs> found a dark alley and then walked into it. Da, 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 da. I just, I, we, yeah. Reggie, let's go. Well, aren't you coming? I, uh... Same. Same. <laughs> Felt pretty weird about walking down into an alley with no one around on a street I'm unfamiliar with. But he was waiting there for me. I mean, I'm gonna follow him. I don't even give a shit. I, we're following. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Don't have to ask me twice. Let's fucking go. I took a deep breath and followed him down the alley. He was standing next to a door that I only really noticed because of its golden handle. <laughs> Emmy also knows all of the characters that I fall for. <laughs> he raised a finger to his lips as if to say, Shh. And then he opened the door. Oh, oh my. Hello! It was a coffee place. And it was adorable. <laughs> Look! <laughs> the number of scary serial killers that I would let both lead me astray and or do a murder on me is too damn high. The girls drove. <laughs> That's cute. That's precious. <laughs> it was adorable. Pretty string lights were hanging from the walls and ceiling, and calm music played throughout. There were decorations of intricate tapestries and an addition of some uh, rugs to soften the hard concrete floor. There were very few people, and they hardly made any noise as they spoke, as if they were in a library or trying not to disturb anybody else. <laughs> not to mention the aroma. Even if I don't like coffee, I can't deny how pleasant the smell is. <laughs> We're looking at Travis. We're all looking at Travis. Can't deny how pleasant the smell is. All of it together felt magical. See, told you it was nice. This place seems, seems so delightful. However did you just 
discover it. That's a secret. But maybe I'll tell you one day. Step further into the building. Reginald closing the door behind us. Then I followed him to the counter, and he asked what I wanted. Oh, don't worry, I can pay for myself. No, no, please. I insist. Consider it a thank you for accompanying me. Are you really sure? Positive. Reginald ordered himself a coffee, and I asked for hot chocolate for myself. I felt a little silly ordering it, but the barista didn't seem to care at all. Even when I asked for marshmallows. Sweet little marshmallow baby! After we got our drinks, Reginald and I plopped down on an empty couch in the building. Excuse me, I like to screenshot everything constantly. You got a styrofoam cup? Paper, actually. No worries, it's recyclable. I think the mugs they offer here are cute and better for the environment. But, well, how do I put it? Just particular about using the same things as other people, that's all. This is Animal Crossing 1 a.m. <laughs> right, right, right. Listen, Mary, it's fine. Also, he's sketchy. How's it going? You're in just in time for Feral Walk Girl hours. Because our boy is here. The boy. How are you doing, though, sketchy? How's it going? Oh. I believe, believe they even allow you to bring your own mug. Right? That's a little silly, isn't it? Feral Glop Girl hours. Don't worry about it. Bring your mug from home. Because I would still need to wash it afterwards. I'd look absolutely absurd carrying a mug down the sidewalk. <laughs> You've got a point there. This is why you bring a cup with a lid. Reggie, listen. <laughs> Anyways, just fill up this bad boy with pure espresso. Let's go. Also, speaking of, let's see if I can like drink this without spilling on myself this time. I've done it. I've done it. No spills. All clear. <laughs> Anyways. Are you feeling any better? Oh, who? Me? Yeah, I guess so. I'm not crying anymore, so that's a good thing. I think... Thank you again for bringing me here. Thank you all. Maybe I'll do that again. Drink without spilling on myself. We'll see. No need to thank me. I'm just glad you're feeling better. But if it's okay to ask about now, what had gotten you upset? Uh, what had gotten you so upset in the first place? Well, I guess it's okay to talk about, especially since you wouldn't know these people anyways. Where do I start, though? Well, I spent a lot of time with my kind new cousin, and I recently met his other friends. I told Reginald all about what happened since I first met them. I don't know why. It's like I had to start with one thing, but then that led into all the other things too. I told them about how intimidating they were when I met them, and about how they disrespected the cemetery, and about the incident that happened with them just today. Already I was trying to block it from my memory, and Reginald listened, nodding along as I talked. It felt nice to have someone to listen to me. And then I ran into you on the sidewalk. I told Reginald about them. I don't know why he came up. Because his love is gross, sappy love, but his love. I love Reginald here. Now we're here, I guess. Sorry for going on like that. I just wasn't sure where to begin or end. Why are you apologizing? I'm actually very happy you told me. It's not good to always let things weigh on you. You know, Mary, I must admit, I'm not at all a violent person. Sorry, mm, buddy. We want to talk about that? But, oh, how I wish I could teach those adults a lesson right now. You have given him their name. Assumably, Mary has given them their names. It's fine. Where did they get off thinking that kind of behavior is alright? No, no, it's okay. I just, I won't hang around them anymore. But at least I tried, right? That's all you can do in this life. They clearly can't appreciate a good thing, even when it's right in front of them. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. And it means a lot to me, too. 
Since then, I had received a text message. Look at my phone. Proven had messaged me. Mary, where'd you go? Not at the cemetery. At least I don't see you here. I'm not there. Actually, put my phone away without responding to him. No, not really. I was planning to run a few errands, but it's nothing that needs my immediate attention. Right? The sass. Good! You don't need to respond to him. Why do you ask? Why don't you come along? You want to run errands with me? Yeah. I don't really feel like going home. At least, not right now. You're more than welcome to come along. Are we gonna see Screwy? Are we gonna see Screwy? I would more than appreciate the company. Thank you again. Spent the rest of the day helping Reginald with his errands. It wasn't anything too big. We bought some stuff from the hardware store. Things we needed for a bit of uh, DIY car, car repair. I miss Screwy, but it's okay. I understand. Wrenches, screwdrivers, antifreeze, oils, but nothing too big to carry. One day he will return. My boy! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Sometimes Lamia gets a little confused when trying to figure out what food she wants to eat. Look at you, Goober. Um, I also helped him pick up a few groceries. He was running low on milk and eggs. But he picked up some strawberries, too, before they go out of season. It wasn't anything too exciting, but it was nice to be able to do something simple with him. And enjoy completing these simple tasks. Like, someone who wasn't trying to trick me or make me cry. Before we knew it, it started to get dark. Also, I think I smell spaghetti, and I'm very excited for this. <laughs> I told Reginald I ought to get going. Da, 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 da. <sighs> strawberries are the best. I'm a blackberry girl myself, but strawberries are fucking top tier as well. Now we know. Get home safely then, all right? I promised I, I would, and then went to catch the next bus home. So at least my day wasn't completely bad. Or at least that's what I thought initially. Oh, I'm sorry. But once I made it home and opened the door to the cabin, someone was waiting there for me. And he was not happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Look at them. <laughs> the fucking time you got yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the hell were you? Right, we didn't even get a kiss goodbye. Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't answer any of my fucking texts? Of course I didn't. I... I'm mad at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're mad at me? I'm the one who's supposed to be mad here. Do you have any idea of what could have happened to you? It can't be any worse than what you and your friends did to me. Ugh. Is this really what this is about? Get the fuck over it, Mary. Proven. Proven, you don't You don't wanna you don't wanna you don't wanna start this. Why would you even apologize? I can't get over it that easily. You all just wanted to make fun of me. These are all valid. These are all valid. You all just wanted to make fun of me. You all just wanted to make fun of me. Ugh, seriously? It's not like I can fucking control every little thing they do. You should know how they are by now. Besides, what they do isn't my fucking fault, so I don't know why the fuck you're getting so fucking mad at me. Because you let them do it! You, you never say anything. Maybe they'd stop if you didn't keep letting, the, or keep letting it happen. Don't start turning this back on me. Even if you weren't such a sensitive crybaby, we wouldn't be having this problem. You're making fun of me again. Here you go, making fun of me again. Don't you have anything better to do? Don't give me a goddamn break. You know, maybe that's why you're so mean to me lately. Huh? Come again? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Why you around such awful people? No wonder you've become such a bad person. Oh, really now? That's how you feel? No, it is. No, it is. That is what we meant. Arcade. These these are not enough choices. Where is the yes, that's what I meant option? <laughs> I don't want to pick one. I didn't mean it. Yeah, it is how I feel. 
Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know at what point you stopped, but you definitely aren't a good person anymore. I don't know who this person is, but the Krobin I know would have never been so cool. The Krobin you know? Eat that fridge. Let me tell you something. The Krobin you knew? Died with the other fucking, uh, Corvusons? Is that how you say it? Krobin! You can't say that! I'm so fucking over this already. If you really hate me that much, why are you even you even still here? I can't believe this shit. Then maybe I should just leave if that's how you feel. Maybe you should! You take all your stupid fucking baggage with you. Please you do. Please you do. Mary has every right to be upset. Krovin, stop! But also, Mary's taking the reins. Good for her. Good for her. Krovin stormed off after that. It went the other way and marched upstairs. Bonk Krovin. Ban Krovin. You don't get to be mean to my girl. Felt like crying all over again. But I think I used up all my tears for the day. I was going to text the number again. Because, well, it's what I always do before I go to bed. But when I opened my phone, I was surprised to see I had a few messages from someone else. Good! Fucking go for the knees! Ankles, also an acceptable spot. <laughs> right? Don't talk to people that way. It's one thing to have a disagreement, but also... Don't. Not like that. But when I opened my phone, I was surprised to see I had a few messages from someone else. It was Twyla. I haven't really seen her since that night at the club. Hey, hey Mary. I know it's late, so I don't blame you if you're already in bed. But I figured I'd ask you anyways, since it's not overly time sensitive. I'm gonna be at the library tomorrow looking for anything I can I can find that might help with our town's little problem. I figured you could come and help me research to, uh, if you're up for it. Yeah, I can come and help. I think that's a really great idea. I'll be sure to be there first thing tomorrow. Well, I don't know if I'll be there that early, but I'll be sure to see you there. I had agreed to meet with Twyla. Maybe part of me did it in spite of Krovin. Okay. You don't have to tell me. But. We're seeing a lot of a bunch of other characters. More so than we did with Reggie's. Um, with the Reggie's route. <laughs> We're not... We're not doing a true ending thing, right? Like, that's definitely not what's happening here. I don't feel like there's enough information for that to be the case. I just want to double check that that's not the case. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. I didn't think so, but then I started panicking and I wanted to double check. Cool. Maybe a part of me did it in spite of COVID, <laughs> but it would be a nice distraction, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, a distraction from all the bad stuff that happened today. And I wouldn't have to think about it tomorrow. Right? Some space is needed. Y'all, like, he needs to cool down. She needs a little space to, to think things through a little bit. Again, not saying that Mary is wrong, because she is not. But, uh, get out. Do the thing. Um... Uh, okay, cool. Good, good, good to know. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 no, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Uh, when I got up the next morning, I hurried myself out of the house. I wasn't even sure if Crowan was still home, but I wasn't going to stick around long enough to find out. I headed to the library as quickly as I could that morning, and even though Twyla said she wasn't going to be around so early, she was still there when I arrived. Twyla? You're already here. Oh. Hey. Yeah, I'm here. I thought you said you wouldn't be here so early. Yeah, I don't think it's super early. But that's not the point. You're here to help me with research, right? Oh, yes, of course. Just tell me what I need to do. I'm gonna need you to fetch some, fetch some books for me. Twyla handed me a list of books she needed. I worked in the library before, so I know where they're, uh, they're here. I just want you to pick a few a uh, few up for starters. Alright, I think I can do that. Uh, yeah. I sure, uh, I should sure hope so. 
Twyla, please. Twyla, please. Don't be mean to her. It took Twyla's list to begin to grab the books for her. There were a few psychology books, but also some filled with, like, periodicals? Is that how you describe it? I don't know. Uh, but what I did know is that if I kept carrying so many books at once, I'd topple over. It's happened before. I began to hand them over to Twyla. She seemed very focused as she took the books from me. Sometimes when I'd hand her a book, she'd slide one over to me with the pages open. I know Twyla's mean. I love Twyla, but also be nice to my girl. <laughs> She's going through a rough patch right now. I would close it and go to return it on the proper shelf. It was only after a few books that I realized she was probably anticipating I read the passages she had opened to. Oh well. Kinder just continued fetching her books and shelving them back again absentmindedly. It just seemed like the best thing for me to do to be able to help. Doubted I would I doubted I would understand the information as well as she did. I am well, not the brightest of times. You are just fine, Mary. Mary is precious, and I need her to be around people that are gonna boost her up. Bring her up. No tearing down. You're distracted. Uh, am I? I? Certainly seem a bit out of it. Is everything all right? Well, I, uh, had a fight with a friend last night and still haven't made up. I see. Well, that's not gonna help us here. Huh? If you want to help, you're going to have to pull yourself together. You know the issue we're dealing with is much more serious than whatever dumb fight you uh, you and your friend had, right? You should 100% hang out with Drunk Girl! Drunk Girl is going to be there to just fucking hype her up. Constantly. I miss Drunk Girl. <laughs> I... I guess? I... Yeah, sorry. Are you going to be like this the whole time? I... I don't know. You can leave. Huh? Are you sure? I thought you needed my help. Clearly, you aren't going to be any help to me like this. Oh, don't take it so harshly. I'm doing you a favor, if anything. I'll call you up again next time I need you, uh, need you for something. <laughs> Just remember not to forget about all this, okay? Okay. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. <laughs> Luna, who are you hanging out with? <laughs> Luna doesn't have to deal with talking to to chat and also reading. I, fi I figured, but uh, just wanted to double check. I haven't played Twyla's Route just yet, so. <laughs> right? I was going to say, it's like you don't have to interact with chat and you're also not reading it out loud. You just get to zoom on through. Which, good. Good. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. <laughs> um, see you later. See you. <gasps> for poor babies. I left the last of the books on the table for her and then headed out of the library. I wasn't much help at all, was I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All because I was... Dude, what the fuck? Right? Got it. Got it. Gotta figure out everything that's going on. Proven? Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck were you doing in there with her? Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't I already tell you to stay away from yeah, 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 yeah. her? What, did you just, like, not listen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or not yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, You're just trying to piss me off at this point, aren't you? Uh, Proven, go away. I, I'm trying to help her with something. Uh, not like it's any of your business in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, 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 yeah. That girl is definitely yeah, 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 yeah. my business. Especially if she's talking to you. What's so bad about her? You can't just tell me to do something and not explain why. Why not? You don't trust me anymore, huh? Guess it's just as well. Let me tell you this, then. Either you stay the fuck away from her, or you stay the fuck away from me. Proven, this is not constructive! ba da ba 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 Not constructive! <laughs> Proven stopped passing after that. Didn't apologize when his shoulder bumped into mine. He just kept walking. I hoped that whatever he was going or wherever he was going, it wasn't home. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Stream spoiler discussions is a great place to to put what's going on in your game. <laughs> and also, computer, don't 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 beep at me. 
He just remembered a spoiler tag. That's all. <laughs> this round is such a nice time. It's so great. I'm not constantly screaming about how poorly my baby is being treated. Uh. <laughs> um, I hope that wherever he was going, it wasn't home. Because I definitely plan it, like, over the next, like, week or two playing or reading through a ton more of this. Because I also want to know more, but I don't want to, like, press on ahead since we were going to be doing some more on streams, basically. But I'll be free to do whatever I want after today. Uh, that was the only place I wanted to be right now. Even if it seemed like you would prefer I not be there anymore. I want to ask you something. You always do, don't you? Please. Apologies. It wasn't meant to appear sarcastic. Go on. Do you know who I'm with? Why are you after people who aren't me? Am I your only target? Right, tone indicators? Very helpful. Or are there more people than just me? Are you coming for them too? Please? Yes. Wait. Yes to which question? I'm sorry. I have to go. You can't avoid! <laughs> you can't avoid the questions, mystery number! Alright. Days passed. Days often do. Things in the house have been incredibly tense. My baby! My baby! <laughs> Can't even recall the last time I physically spoke to Croven. Maybe it was the day at the library? I don't know. I really don't remember. It's not like I don't see him at all, but when we do see one another, we don't talk. It's really awkward. Sometimes when we find ourselves in the same room, one or both of us will just leave. <gasps> Hi, David. Thank you for the contribution to the sinner sandwich. Mary was smart. She'll be using this time to kiss Reggie, but she's not. So we're here. She is a little distracted. She should definitely go do a smooch on Reggie, though. Honestly. <laughs> we don't say good morning or good night. And if I see him on the street, he looks away. Thank you, Panda, for the contribution to the center sandwich as well. We are blasting through that much faster than I anticipated. <laughs> um, and if I see him on the street, he looks away. I wish things weren't like this. I just really want things to go back to normal. We're gonna sandwich so hard. Back before... I really want things to be better. I want... I want for him to apologize, actually. Listen, here. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. It's what needs to happen. It's just... I feel like I'm always the one apologizing. Am I? Or am I just saying that because it's what I want to... Or it's because I want it to be true. <gasps> Sketchy, thank you for the contribution as well. It, we're gonna have a hell of a good time with this dang sandwich. Okay. Regardless, I wish I could hear him say it. It would remind me that he cares. Because he does care about me, right? I hope so. Mary! <laughs> Sat in the living room for the remainder of the day. At least until dinner time, that is. The fire was on, and I was greeting, but I knew uh, I would have to start cooking something soon. Then, I heard Croven come in through the front door. Still not feeling comfortable being in the same room as him, I got up to move into the next room. When... Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know I love you, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, even when I'm mad or yeah, yelling, yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise I don't yeah, mean yeah, 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 yeah. it. I really, really, really don't mean it. Croven, we gotta talk about controlling our emotions and finding constructive ways of discussing what we're feeling. Yeah, I know. Mommy, what are you doing over there? I love you too. You say here we go! <laughs> oh no. Um, are you okay? No. Theodore died! Oh, 
Crow. Yeah, yeah. I turned around to hug Crovin properly this time. Teddy! Theo! Theodore! <laughs> Arcade, please. <laughs> I <laughs> didn't ask him what had happened. He didn't seem to be in the mood to talk about it. I don't think I was either. Horny boy gone. Goodbye, horny boy. I helped her prepare the service. Or perhaps it's more apt to say that I prepared the service because he asked yeah, me yeah, to. Yeah. You're so passionate about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I know you'll make sure he has the best one. It was just... I don't know if passionate is the right word. Straight to horny jail, there are no survivors. Oh no. I hope it was a nice service. I'd like to think that it was. I did try my best to pull it all together after all. I've got lots of flowers and a nice spot for him to rest. Crowan was responsible for inviting everyone. But everyone wasn't a lot of people. I wasn't sure if it was because no one wanted to attend. Or if it was because Theo only had this many friends. I looked around. Sapara wasn't here. Cool. Bye, Zap. Eventually, everyone began to leave. But again, everyone wasn't all that many people. <gasps> Is my hydrate limited? I mean, I can do a hydrate. It shouldn't be limited, though. Hold on a second. While I'm doing a hydrate. Maybe it's just limited you. Maybe it's just like, Travis, you, you've done too much today. Um, hold on a second. Oh, dang! Oh! <laughs> Arcade, I think you're right. <laughs> I forgot about that. You would 100%. Don't even, don't even start. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, uh. Can we just do. Should be available. I have it on a five minute cooldown at the very least. There we go. Cool. <laughs> My bad. Thank you, Allie, for the bubble. And also, Travis, thank you for the stretch. And David, thank you for the hydrate. Here, I'm gonna do I'm gonna stand up stretch. Just real fast. You're not gonna be able to see me. But that's okay. <laughs> I am doing a stretch. Don't worry. Ugh. All right. And a shrimp check. All right. All right. All the self care. Y'all better be doing this too. Take a drink. Do a stretch. Make sure you're sitting up. Okay. Thank y'all. Gotta check those shrimps. Bacon isn't shrimp. But yeah, take a drink. Do a stretch. Make sure your posture is good. Twyla do be being mean. <laughs> shrimp heaven when? Shrimp heaven now. That's why I'd be a little mean. Just a little. Shrikin? Um, before I knew it, it was just me, Crovin, and Theo. Wordlessly, Crovin sat beside Theo's freshly dug grave. I did the same. Are we gonna, are we gonna talk to Crovin? Or not Crovin. Crovin's not dead. We gotta talk to Theo. We gotta pop into the ghost world, say hey to Theo. Be like, yo, the fuck happened? <laughs> 
She's as mean as her eyebrows are awesome. <laughs> With great eyebrows comes great responsibility. Um, normally I enjoy funerals, or perhaps it's better to say I appreciate them for what they are. But this one was hard to appreciate. Couldn't find a trace of pleasantness in it. Not even a little bit. It just felt sad. Krovic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You okay? No. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Krovic? I don't want to upset you. But if it's okay, I want to try talking yeah, to yeah. him? This isn't the time for that ridiculous shit. I'm being serious. I I promise you that it works. And I've never been bad on my promises before, have I? Please, just give me a chance. Fine. If you're so insistent, then go ahead. But when you wake up, I want you to tell me something that only Theo would know. Because if you can't... I really don't want to hear about this ever again. I understand, but I won't let you down. Fuck! I laid atop of, Theo uh, of Theodore's grave. I can see Croven wince as I did. Hopefully it would be over with quickly. And hopefully Theo would be in the mood to talk to me. Take a whiff! <laughs> uh, you know what? We just saved. It's not that far away. Uh, look around. It's completely dark. I can't see a thing. Take a whiff. It smells like... Ugh. Something smoky. Like a cigarette? Ew. I feel like I'm laying on something? But I am laying down on the ground, right? It feels... Weird, though. I can't really describe it. Hmm. Listen. Listen, Theo, listen. It sounds like faint static. But if I don't focus on it, it's like it disappears. Call out. Hello? Is anyone there? I don't understand. Why can't I see anything? Of all the times for things to start going or to start going wrong. Well, maybe if uh maybe it'd help if you took that lampshade off your head. Huh? Your Theo <laughs> Hey dollface <laughs> Long time no see <laughs> Sup my dude Oh Theo I'm I'm so glad to see you're alright sorry <laughs> Slam Shade has me <laughs> Um I do see the TV it looks like Reginald's up there doing some golfing <laughs> Just saying. Um. Oh, Theo, I'm so glad to see you're all right. <laughs> My boy can golf. That's what he does in his spare time. You sure that's the word you want to use? I. Well. I suppose you're right. Still, it seems like you're okay. Wherever this is. Where is this? This. This is where me and uh, Zapara live. At least it used to be back when I was alive with you all. I <laughs> like the fork in the <laughs> in the uh, outlet. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, you you live here? Damn, boy, you live like this. <laughs> hey now, I know it ain't the prettiest, but it gets the job done. I. Suppose so. Um. Why are things always green here? <laughs> Seem to have a pretty good understanding that you're dead. <laughs> Seem like the most logical conclusion to make. <laughs> Close your eyes, things go black, and then you wake up somewhere completely different. <laughs> Not really a lot of ways you can go for, uh, from that. Oh, while you're here. Guess I want to say I'm sorry. I kind of figured that whole ghost talking thing of yours was a bunch of bullshit. But I can admit when I've been proven wrong. <laughs> Got it. Some 
sometimes you just gotta check to see if the outlet's working. Oh, that's... That's okay. I mean, I think I'm more sorry for you in this situation. Um... How did this... Mm, what do you remember happening before this? Before... Uh... Well, it goes like this. Crow was having a rough time, wanted to talk about you... He... Wanted to talk about me? Yeah, but I'll come back to that later. Yeah, golf, golf and Reggie. Reggie be golfing. So he reached out to me and Zap, wanting to talk it about it over a drink at all. Of course we accepted, so we spent the night out with him. Sitting at the bar, whatever. Maybe like an hour or so into drinks and start feeling like, not too hot? <gasps> this is what happened at the... at the... at the place. <laughs> Reggie, we <laughs> Leave to use the bathroom, start fucking vomiting as soon as I'm in the stall. Come on out, feeling all woozy. Zap and Crow try to help me all worried and shit. Looks like I know I'm crashing out on the middle of a pool table that was still in the middle of the game. And I'm here. He had a case of the purples. Here. Here. All because Crow wanted to talk about me? I... If I hadn't been such a problem for him, then he wouldn't have wound up here. You don't know that, Mary. Hey. Shut the fuck up. Huh? Sorry. Didn't mean for it to come out that way. What I'm trying to say is... I'm sure I would have drunk myself to death eventually anyways. So don't worry about it. If that night didn't kill me, sticking my hand would still make sure I, it was coming. I... Still... Listen. I want you to know that Krovan only wanted to talk about you because he cares so much. I know things haven't been the best with you two lately. There's lots you don't know, so it's been real hard on him too. What don't I know? Listen. If I may be dead, I still think Krovan would kill me over if I told you about. I know you and I aren't the closest two people in the world or anything, but trust me when I say it's gonna be alright. Theo is very polite. He has a charming side. I can see the appeal. <laughs> I guess I'll have to. So, so how long are you staying here for anyways? Oh, uh, I'm not sure actually. I could wake up any minute now that I think about it. Which reminds me, I promised Croven that when I woke up, I'd tell him something that only you would know as proof that I talked to you. So, do you have something I, you can tell me? Yeah, I got a few stories between Crow and I. Pick your poison. Orange juice, the spiral staircase, the sleepover hat story. I want to know about this hat. I want to know about this hat. Sleepover hat story? <laughs> it's a bit gross. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. I mean, like, how gross? Nothing that'll make you look at him too differently. Well, that should be fine then, I think. Alright, so, it goes like this. Crow was spending the day with Zap and I. This is before you were around, by the way. Right? Night rolls around, we're deciding that we're gonna do... Cause like, or what we're gonna do, cause... Well, I don't think I'm allowed to tell you this part. But, anyways, so like, it's night. Crow and Zap and I are all back here. Zap says she's gonna call for delivery and Crow stay in the night because, fuck it, why not? It's kinda chilly that night. This, uh, that night, this happened, like, winter time. I have Crow something to drink. He wants, like, coffee or something. Zap hates coffee, though. We only have hot chocolate. But he's fine with that. He gets them ready for him. Zap comes back. We have a fun time, etc. Door gets knocked on. Zap goes to get the food. Crovin turns to me, not looking so hot. I can practically see the green in his face. I'm like, dude, what's up? What's wrong? Starts to talk, then grabs his mouth. Then I realize I should have checked the date on the milk I used for the hot chocolate earlier. So I'm like, ah, fuck, hold on. Because honestly, doesn't look like him. I get to the bathroom. So I'm looking around, I'm like, trash can, bucket, receptacle, whatever. I know where this story is going because I have been in the room while this has happened to somebody else before. you stop him? Listen, I know it takes a bit to explain, but this all happened in a matter of seconds. I see. And your hat is... is it this one? <laughs> nah. 
I got a replacement hat. <laughs> Chuck that one out the window immediately after it happened. Samara doesn't know? Nope. By the time she came in, it was already over and done with. And he just carried on. I mean, yeah. What else would you do? I... Thank you for telling me this story. Anytime, sunshine. Oh, and, uh, one more thing before you head back. Say hi to Zapara, would you? And go easy on her for me, okay? Listen, I know she seems all firecrackers and dynamite. Maybe even a little rough around the edges. But she's got a lot going on deep down. And I know she'd appreciate some help with that. I'll appreciate it, too. Let's see. I... I'll try to talk to her next time I see her. And let her know you said hi, too. Please do. I'm excited to see my boys again soon, but I'm hoping it'll be a long wait at the same time. Yeah, I hope so too. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Before I knew it, I was out again. And I woke up to the sound of a worried Krovin. Yo, Mars, come on. It's getting late. And it looks like it's gonna rain soon? You Krovin? Yeah. You threw up in his hat? That's so gross. <laughs> I miss Theo. I now miss Theo. I wish that he had been nicer to Marion to start with. But he seems like an okay kind of guy. For the time being. It's a beautiful day today. And after so much talk of rain, I even brought my umbrella. But it was clear I wouldn't be needing it. The fun- the fun? <laughs> the sun felt so warm, so much brighter today. <laughs> I mean... It's fine. The sun felt so warm, so much brighter today. I hoped we would get more sunny days like this, before things start to get cold and cloudy again. Because right now, it just felt so refreshing. I was on my way to the cemetery once again, or once more. Didn't have any flowers this time around, but I was sure that was okay. I brought a teddy bear last time, after all. Besides, I now have a different method of being able to visit everyone there. I try to visit Theo, too, when I am able. I don't want to bother him too much. And even though he and I aren't best friends or anything, I can tell he appreciates it. I think I'll try to see him again today. I continued down the sidewalk, admiring all the things that looked so much happier in the sunlight. The birds, the flowers, the trees. But one thing that didn't was, uh, that didn't was making its way towards me. I didn't even realize until I heard her snap my name. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, Twyla. Funny running into you here. Not yelled at. See so you're out and enjoying the sun. <laughs> Haven't heard a lot from you, you know? Yeah. But like... Likewise, you know? But I've been investigating on my own time. So I need to remind you that, uh, that you're the one who offered to help me and not the other way around. Uh. Oh, no. It's been really busy. I just don't know where to start. I don't want the killer on my tail. I... have been really busy. Yeah, I'm sure you have been. All those headstones don't talk to themselves, right? Uh, I'm sorry, Twyla? I just... I... I don't think I can help you anymore. Excuse me? Not help me anymore? Twyla, please. You haven't helped me once. And now you've got the gall to, uh, to back out before you even started? What's that for, huh? Well, it's just... Just what? I can't be around you anymore. I'm not cut out for this. I want to help, but I am not cut out for this. But please understand. I'm really sorry, Twyla. I just... I'm not cut out for this. Even just helping you in the library, I couldn't do much. Couldn't possibly drag you or your investigation down. I... I don't think I would be much help at all. I should have told you earlier. I'm sorry. You understand? Oh, I understand. You, you do? Yeah, I do. I 
get it perfectly here. Why bother helping me catch a threat when it could help fill up, uh, fill up that precious cemetery you love so oh. much? My love, please. <laughs> well, what? Hold on. That's not true. I'd never risk someone's, uh, someone else's life for that. Yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't. Just like I was sure you would help me. I apologize for lashing out, so... I'm just running low on patience. Might not know it, but I tolerate a lot of bullshit from a lot of people. But one thing I refuse to tolerate is people who don't keep their promises. So, go on then. While not everyone can always keep a promise, things come up, and sometimes people find out that they're not capable of doing the thing that they promised they would do, and that's fine. Run to your little cemetery, Mary. Great title drop! Woo! <laughs> I'll let you go. I'll make sure to, you keep that promise eventually. Twilight angrily brushed past me after that. I felt hurt, to say the least, hearing what she thought of me, but I couldn't help her anymore. And it had to come out eventually. At the very least, it was something that I got over with, and I couldn't let it ruin today. I wiped my eyes of any tears and tried to regain my composure. Um, right, it's a two-way street. It's got it's got to go both ways. If you notice somebody is is flagging a little bit and you thought that it was very important, got to check in. But if you don't do that, you can't be mad when somebody also doesn't check in because they are also busy. Just 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 saying. I don't have personal experience with this <laughs> recently or anything. Um, I wiped my eyes of any tears and tried to regain my composure. Tried to focus on the nice things around me as I continued on my way. The birds, the flowers, the trees, the birds, the flowers, the trees. I couldn't let it get to me. She didn't know the truth like I did. And I couldn't keep Theo waiting. I continued on and up the way and entering the cemetery, something felt off. And I didn't know why until I started approaching Theo's gravesite. Oh, it's that someone's there at the gravesite. Is that? Oh, hey, wait, maybe it's not. I saw ears and assumed. Followed them as they ran from me. Got out of my sight quickly, but I was determined to find them. I walked up and down the aisles, trying to keep my eyes and ears open, until eventually I began to hear something. Reggie or Zap, that's, yeah, there was a lot of hair, but I did, did see, distinctly saw some ears. I don't know, maybe Reggie's a werewolf. That'd be fine, too. I'd be into that. <laughs> Love Reggie. Followed the noise, which led me to a tree. And maybe it's just an overgrown squirrel. Oh, baby! Zapara? What are you doing here? Zap, you cool? <laughs> you look a little rough around the edges, my, my dude. Took a seat beside Zapara, patting down the grass as I did so. She wiped her eyes on her uh, on her sleeve as I sat. Hi, Mary. Hi, Hi Zapara. I am. Um... Are you alright? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Don't I look fine? <laughs> you uh. <laughs> Can I get you some water? You miss Theo, right? Huh? I'm okay. I'm okay. Really, I... I'm sorry. I was just leaving. Don't worry about me. Zafara, I... I was surprised that you... Well... What? You... Didn't show up to his funeral at all. I couldn't. Why not? You didn't want me in here anyway. And after the last incident, I promised you I would respect your boundaries... Sorry, okay. But I guess I broke that promise anyways, huh? Uh, wanted to leave before you saw me, at least. Zapara, I... thinking of me. Yeah, of course. Crow cares about you and all. Even though 
how we didn't know you long. You and I were always hearing great things about you. Yeah. But even so, I would never stop you from seeing Figa. Okay, thank you for at least saying it, Mary. Thank you. <laughs> it's just... Things are the same now that he's gone. And I'm not sure it ever will. It still feels so unreal. I just... I walk into our place, and I'm ready to start, like, I don't know, hitting him with my jacket sleeves or stealing his hat and running away with it. And now when I come home, I, it's all by myself. It's... But all this stuff still smells like that. It smells like, uh, just like before we left for the bar. Hi, Cyril. Thank you for the contribution to the Sinner Sandwich. His mug is still in the sink because he said he would wash it later. And his hamper is still full because we were gonna do laundry together. She can no longer go on video. It's true. <laughs> Hello, nerds. We're getting feelsy up in this bitch. Hi, <laughs> Cyril. Oh. And the TV remote is still stuck in the couch because that's where he uh, he last left it. It was my best friend. And he's totally gone now. I'm never gonna get him back. I'm never going to get him back. I'm never gonna see him again. That's... That's not true. I promise one day you'll see him again. But not in this life. Isn't that right? I don't know what to do anymore. I don't feel like myself. At least... Not without him. Yeah, right? Stream summary. Concussions can let you talk to ghosts. Just take a nap over a grave. Concuss yourself and then take a nap over a grave. You'll be able to speak with ghosts. Um, I'm all alone. You're not alone. Krovin's. I haven't talked to Krovin since. Really? I don't even know what I'd say or what it'll feel like. The three of us were always together when we hung out. It feels unfair without him. It feels wrong. It'll get better with time. I promise you it does. Maybe it won't always be the same, but it will be better. And Zephara? You're not alone. I know Krovin would want to hear from you. And I really think you two should see each other. Even if it's awkward. You should know that. I hear from you. And I know Krovin is too. Even if I didn't always think you were the best person. That's... Just because we don't get along do or just because we don't get along doesn't mean I can't help you through this. So oh, thank you, Mary. We could really use that support right now. Yeah, of course. It's going to get better. I promise. Posted pictures of the bean? Perfect. Perfect. They're creepy. I love creepy beans. <laughs> Am I quiet? <gasps> I can move this closer to me. Is this better? I realized I was I started talking a little more softer because it was a feelsy moment. I couldn't just scream about it. But yeah, is this is this better, Cyril? We good now? Is the music a little too loud? I can turn it down some. Ah! Ah! <laughs> music a weensy loud. Music a weensy loud. Is man juice? Man juice is here. Just is that is that better? Do these two things work better together now? <laughs> is... It's the boy! It is the boy! Cool, 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 cool. If it is... If there's still any other issues, let me know. We'll fix it. Hello, the boy! Um... I've got another question for you. Thought you might. Have you ever lost anyone? Why do you ask? 
I just want to see... Of course I've lost people. I don't think there's anyone alive who hasn't lost someone. Probably lost more than you could fathom. Did it... How did you feel? It always starts the same. It begins with devastation. But over time, those feelings... You get used to them. It's like a blur. Stop worrying about who died. Start worrying about who's next. There is no rest. So you become someone who doesn't need rest. Because it isn't going to stop. You just have to be ready for the next time. That sounds heartbreaking. It was. And it's why I'm fighting so hard. So that you... Don't wind up like me. Mystery number... That's, that's ominous! It's been a few days. Despite what happened at the funeral, Crovin hasn't really left his room. When I wake up in the mornings, I can hear him stomping about his room. And when I return from having left the cabin, I find no evidence that he's left the cabin at all, let alone his room. I'm so used to him going out every day. But now I feel bad if I'm leaving him home alone. He spends most of the day holed up in his room. Door shut tight. Hold on a second. Moving some stuff around. Um, I'll knock on it every now and again to check on him. But there's not much I hear from him outside of that. But today, his door is open. And I think I should check on him. <laughs> Sorry. Friend art! His door had been opened just a crack, but I opened it just a bit more to get a better look inside. He was sitting atop his bed, and without even turning to face me, I heard him say, <laughs> I know you're there, Mary. Come on in. I stepped inside and took a seat on the end of his bed. He didn't seem to have much of a reaction. Oh, buddy. It's getting a bit late. It's prob- uh, I'll probably start dinner soon. Also, the little plushies on the shelf. Cutie. Um, sounds good. You really shouldn't be smoking inside, you know? It's a lollipop. Ah, uh, I see. His little plushies are adorable, honestly. Also, the one light that's broken. <laughs> also, the little flag! Those are bicolors, right? I'm not an idiot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Me trying to keep track of every single flag that ever exists. Those are 100% by colors, right? <laughs> Panic. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> the gay panic was real. Oh, no. <laughs> Your dear plush. Thanks. I haven't seen it before. Is it recent? Yeah. The person you met. Uh, Vass. Voss? Vass? Uh, they won it that time we met at the arcade. So they had no room for it and insisted that I have it. Hope you don't mind that I didn't give this one to you. I know you like collecting toys, but... Oh, no, no! I totally get it. Don't even worry about it. It's not upside down, is it? Or is it? I finally hung up your sign poster. It's a bit low to the ground, though, don't you think? Eh, it's fine. Besides, if it falls down, I don't have to worry about having to get a chair to or anything to put it back up again. It's totally upside down. <laughs> I'm not by. I don't. I don't. I vaguely know the color. Okay, it's upside down. This is fine. <laughs> This, these, these are the ones that I know for, for, for realsies. The other ones, it's generally a, a mad dash for me to guess. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. Um, fair point. Flags of saying. Yeah, I know. Oh, alright then. You noticed your camper is getting full? Mine's been getting a bit full too. Think we can do laundry together soon? Yeah. That's probably a good idea. It's strange, though. I feel like I just did laundry and now I have to do it again? That's that's just the never-ending laundry cycle. <laughs> Holy shit! 
shit. <laughs> I love these little these little clips that we've got. <laughs> it's not like I even wear that many <laughs> outfits. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> All right, let's stop beating around the bush. What do you mean? Come on. Even I both know you didn't come in here to talk about my laundry or the posters in my room. <laughs> Luna has officially revoked Twyla's eyebrow license. I'm very excited to do Twyla's route now. <laughs> You're here because everything sucks right now and you think we should talk about it. Everything does suck. I am gonna save, though. But everything does suck. That's okay. All right. Everything is awful. You know you can say it, right? Say what? Go on. Say that it sucks. You know I don't like using that language. Fair enough. I know things have been very hard lately, but I just don't know what to do. Oh, very, very polite. And I get that, but also, it all just feels hopeless. Just one thing after another. Is it ever going to stop? It will eventually. But you won't have to worry about me. I'm fine. You are fine. And I'm not fine either. I don't want this cycle to continue. Where all we do is feel miserable again and again. Mary. I just want to help you. Because this isn't you. I miss the real Groven. I miss the Groven who doesn't always drink himself to death. I miss the Groven who'd never get mad and would always laugh off the things that anyone would normally go ballistic over. I miss the Groven who wanted me around. There is room for growth and development for people's personalities to change. But also, Groven is clearly hurting. I think I don't miss him too. I don't feel like, uh, I don't like feeling like this. It sucks. Then, how can you just keep going on like that? Saying that you're fine when that's not true? And just settling for it? <laughs> Welcome to depression! Because it's not like I have any other choice, Mary. I just don't get it. I know you're worried about your own parents. I know that's a shitload of stress on your shoulders, too. But at least you have some fucking hope in that situation. What hope do I have? My parents are dead. One of my best friends is dead. And there's no way around either of those facts. I'm never gonna see either of them again. Like, yeah, sure, maybe you can talk to them. But that doesn't mean that I can see them or be around them or do any of the same things I used to with them. It's like, why fucking try? If everyone I get close to is just gonna die right in front of me. And why bother trying to do anything about it? Whether I'm happy or sad or whatever doesn't matter. Because it doesn't change the life I'm living right now. That's why everything is fine. Why it has no choice but to be fine. I know that you want to help, but all those, all these solutions, therapy, relaxing at home, whatever, they aren't going to change anything. They aren't going to bring anyone back. I hope you understand that, but they can help alleviate some of what you're feeling in regards to those things. Better than anyone? I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound like a dick when I say this, but your parents might come back one day. Mine sure won't. I can't stop living. I'm not. At least, I'm not trying to. I think that's obvious. Even though it not, might not be apparent to you, I know what I'm feeling, or I know what I'm doing with my life, and I'm definitely not stopping it. But does it feel like how it should? This isn't how things were supposed to be. No one could have predicted this. I could have. Should have told them to, uh, told them not to risk going out that night. Should have done a lot of things. But it's too late now. I don't think you should be thinking like that. Then how else should I be thinking? Listen, I know I'm not always the brightest girl, but if there's one thing I know about it, it's loss. Here we go. Please, Croven. Right. Sorry for cutting you off. When I attend those funerals, I meet lots of people who are feeling the same way that you are. They're stricken with grief. It doesn't matter who died, and the way they express that grief isn't always the same. Some people can't help but to sob. Others seem to stare in disbelief. Like, if they wake up soon, they'll realize it was all just a terrible dream. Some of them simply talk to everyone around them as if nothing is the matter. But you can tell they'd rather be seeing their loved ones in different circumstances. I don't 
don't see these people for very long when I am there. But I know that all of those people have been getting better since that very day. It's why we have funerals. To start the healing process with closure. But despite its name, closure is just the first step. I know that everyone deals with loss differently, but I know that grief won't last forever. And I know that processing it doesn't have to be so miserable either. So please, let me try to help you. Maybe if together, if we can acknowledge and embrace the circumstances we're in, it'll be easier to get past them. What if I don't want to? Maybe I'll then move on from it? Get past it? Isn't that just the same as forgetting? How to be a sad sap. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, Luna. <laughs> The reason you go to all of those funerals, the reason you visit all those graves, isn't it because you don't want anyone to be forgotten about? How hypocritical of you. <laughs> Wanting to remember strangers but forgetting the ones we care most about. It's not forgetting. Proven, just because they're gone doesn't mean we're going to forget them. You're right in what you said. I don't want anyone to feel forgotten about. That's why I visit them. But... <laughs> Luna. Feeling, a better, feeling better about it isn't forgetting. Wanting to live a happy life isn't forgetting. I mean, do you think your parents would want this for you? That Thea would want this for you? You can't be afraid of what happens when the grieving is over. Feeling better doesn't mean you forget how much you miss them. It just means you won't feel as sad when you remember them. Mary? Yeah? You know I love you, right, Mary? Yes, I know. No. No, you don't. Come here. Proven motioned me over with a lazy hug-like gesture, and I scooted over to him. Do you know the reason we started staying here? This old piece-of-shit cabin? No. I was always curious, but... I thought it might be rude to ask. It's because also Mary doesn't have mitten hands! I see you, Arcade. Good job. <laughs> Proven? We wanted to be closer to you guys. That's the only reason we upgraded to fingers. You're joking. That's crazy. You had such a nice home in Howland City. Hey now, you know that what all those old folks say about the difference between a house and a home. I know I've been an asshole. And I probably won't stop feeling like one for a while. I can't really explain all my feelings right now. But while we're here, while you're here, I just want to say... Just, sorry. After having lost so many people... It's free on Steam, you should pick it up and play it, Zero. <laughs> Um, I'm just glad I haven't lost you yet. Yeah, I'm glad I haven't lost you either. Thank you, Allie, for getting that link up. Look <sighs> what you made me do. Sorry, this is too cute. <laughs> Uncanny Queers! Uncanny Queers is raiding with a party of four. Kaish and the gang welcome you. Hi, Vanny, and... Charlie, yes? Please tell me I've I have remembered properly. Um how is everyone doing? How is it going? How are things? Uh how was Project Zomboid? <laughs> Let me pop in here. <gasps> Hi Goldar. Hi Goldar. Um Lazy, that is totally understandable. Thank you for coming in with the raid, but also go sleep. Go sleep. Um that is totally understandable. Thank you for the raid. Do not worry about it. Go take care of yourselves. Uh, just a quick introduction. My name is Keish. Uh, you can call me Keish. I am a queer horror and mystery game streamer. Um, if y'all got a got a dip, I totally understand. No pressure to stay. We have been here for five and a half hours. Don't worry about it. Also, hey, Smiley, welcome back in. Um, but like I said, if you do need to need to get going, that is totally understandable. Not a big deal. Um, 
But yeah, like I said, my name is Keish. Uh, we play spooky games here sometimes, mystery games. It's very, very good. Uh, we do offer content warnings for every single game. I never know how to like segue into that, so I'm just gonna drop that right now. We offer. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we offer content warnings for every single game that we play because it's important to know what kind of content will be, uh, uh will be present in the games that we are playing. Um, we try to make things as, as comfortable as possible here, but also understand that sometimes things are a little much for free folks. Um, totally understand if, uh, horror games are not your shtick. We are, however, playing a game called Cemetery Mary today. It's more of a thriller, a mystery thriller, than it is a horror game. Um, it's a lot of reading, so you just get to listen to me read to you all night. It's great. Um, but yeah, if you need to get up, stretch, get some food, take care of whatever you need to do, feel free to get up and go. Totally understand. If you want to hang out, we are here for it. Um, but no pressure either way. I super duper appreciate the raid, though, um, from our buddies over at Uncanny Queers. But yeah. Thanks, Arcade. Thanks, Arcade. I try. I try. I like doing, I do like doing streams like this where it is just like visual novels, so it is me just reading, but I also understand that it can be a little difficult sometimes, um, as far as like engagement is concerned. Keish is reading. Keish is reading. Keish is reading. Um, ah, uh, I'm glad you liked A Quiet Place too. I haven't seen either of The Quiet Places just yet. Uh, I need to. I've heard good things about the first one. Haven't heard many reviews about the second one just yet. Um. <laughs> check your toot plug. It's time to check a toot plug. Check your friend's toot plug. Make sure you get consent before you check their toot plug. Who's jumping around over there? It's Devo. <laughs> Reminder, Twyla is mean. Um. Don't. Don't, don't, don't. I'll definitely have to watch them sometime soon. Here for it. I trust your opinion, Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah hi friends howdy howdy we should do that sometime soon we still need to figure out what we're doing for uh for sunday what we're watching for sunday for horror fest um we could do that we could do we could do a quiet place stream marathon at some point in the discord yeah 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 yeah. do we want to do that this sunday or do we want to wait until next sunday to do that <laughs> we'll make plans we'll figure that out um but i'm 100 percent here for it <laughs> all right i'm gonna get reading because i know that arcade said that we're getting there we're getting close do i need to pee though Probably, but we'll play, we'll continue on just a little bit. All right, did I get a screenshot of this, by the way? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I gotta check. I did. Okay. <laughs> Look what you made me do. You know I hate all that dumb, sappy <laughs> shit. And you got me over here monologuing it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Possibly this Sunday. Well, like I said, we'll, we'll make plans. I'll figure out a time when we're all free. I figured Horror Fest would be the easiest time to do it since that's already the dedicated time but we can we can plan we're gonna wait a minute i'm not gonna pee yet i can wait i'm sorry yeah yeah i can at bars i'm so sappy i could put it in my uh on your morning pancakes Yee! don't let it happen again i am holding it <laughs> um i won't i won't Okay, maybe now's a good time to do it. I just don't want the music to continue on. Um... <laughs> I forgot that this was so late. <laughs> it's pee time. I'll be right back. Now's a good time for you all to stretch and grab a snack and maybe fill up on your water and or drink. Um, and also pee. Are we going to be pee buddies? Do you want to hold my hand while we go to the restroom? Let's fucking go.
this made me very happy. <laughs> Walking away, coming back, and there's just ass everywhere. <laughs> it's a bop. It's an actual bop. Hey, oh, smiley, consider. Consider. Dumper emote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um I am back. I'm ready to go. I should do another drink. Mm. Nope. Nope. I'm just going to spill on myself again. Excuse me. We like ass. What can I say? We like ass. You got an ass? Shake that ass. Remember. I think Prima said it the other day. Throw that ass back. Responsibly. No, Travis was the one who started it, but that was in Prima's, Prima's stream. All right. Excuse me, I've got another little, little drinking spot. Because why drink properly? Why not just spill all of your water all over you constantly? All right. <laughs> My family alone. Primo, Prima Street <laughs> was wild and I loved it. Um, but now we're gonna get back into the seriousness. Let's go. That is not possible. We're we're getting better. Also, did I see that Luna finished finished her run? <laughs> Perfect. We're, we're getting better. If, if my parents were still here, it'd feel almost like it did before. As soon as I finish my Twyla run, I, we, are, we are going to be comparing notes. Just saying. <laughs> um. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Luna! <laughs> For Luna to say that any mask mask character is hot. <laughs> I am intrigued. <laughs> uh, it feel almost like it did before. <laughs> Afraid I cannot give you the same life you ha once had, but I can assure you things will be better after this. How can you make it better? Can't explain it. At least not now. But whether you believe it or not, it will get there. And so will I. This is for you. And you'll see that soon. Good night, Mary. Good night. Thank you. It's been a few days since then. Crovin seems to be doing a little better than usual. I think he's really trying extra hard right now. And he's been seeing Zipara again, too. I think that's nice. I think that's good for them. I'm happy to see them having a nice time together again. I had a nice day by myself, actually. Sometimes it's nice to just return to the cemetery for a normal day after so much chaos. I made sure I put at least one flower on every grave today, though I haven't talked to any of them. I'd considered doing it, but like others tell me, it's probably not a good idea to fall asleep in public places, especially if there is a killer on the loose. So I decided I wouldn't do that today. But... That's not what happened, though. I truthfully didn't mean to fall asleep. I didn't. But when I sat back up, uh, back against Mausoleum, we have... After being outside and on my feet all day... Well, I was just so tired. Didn't even realize I fell asleep. <gasps> oh. Oh! Hold on, sorry. <laughs> Until I woke up to the sound of rain. We got... We get to the movies again! I was surprised to not have had any strange dreams this time, but this was a big problem. Only the roof trim of the mausoleum was keeping me safe from the rain. Rain sounds. Sounds of rain. <laughs> and it was pouring. And worse even still, it was night. The only light I could see was from the street lamps at the outside of the cemetery. Oh dear. How could I have slept so long? Well, I couldn't stay hiding under here all night. I took a big breath and ran across the cemetery to the street. Luckily, the gate wasn't locked. 
Again, I was surprised, but thankful as it meant I would not have to find some other way out. Once I was out on the sidewalk, I noticed the streetlights were the only lights on. Everything else seemed closed. How late was it? I didn't want to pull my phone out in the rain to check, but by any means, I had most definitely missed the last bus back home. I wasn't, uh, hold on a second. Okay. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I had to find shelter first. I ran through the rain, trying to find anything that was open. It wasn't long before I felt my shoes filling with water. I'd get a cold out here too long, and the rain showed no signs of letting up. Rain Mary is cute Mary. I also need a new thumbnail for, uh, like, the, the, for this, for when I post this on YouTube. So. <laughs> Um, but I knew there just had to be something, anything open, and eventually I made it somewhere. It was the movie theater. Thank goodness. E I rushed myself inside and took a seat beside the posters, waiting to dry off and taking my phone out. Just as I had suspected, it was pretty late. The movie posters are so good. <laughs> and knowing the usual times of this cinema, I could tell it wasn't going to be open much longer. What do I do? <laughs> the cashier one's very, very good. Um, even though I wasn't sure how we could, or how he could help me right now, I had to at least try calling up Proven. <laughs> Why isn't he picking up? Yeah. Mary? Sorry, there's things in my room just making noises. It's fine. <laughs> oh, he picked up. Thank goodness. I was starting to get worried. I, uh, I'm having a bit of a problem yeah, right yeah. now. What is it? Well, uh, you see, I kind of fell asleep in the cemetery. And I only woke up a few minutes ago. And it's raining really bad right now. And I missed the bus, so... I don't know. I was hoping maybe you could help me out somehow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no can do, Mary Moo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't I tell you? Tell me yeah, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mary, I'm like, not even home right yeah, yeah, yeah. now. Not even close. Where are you then? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, out of the fucking city right now, Mary. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had these plans with these... Friends, it doesn't matter. I swear I told you. Well, I don't remember. Look, bottom line is there's no way I can help you from here. What am I supposed to do then? Fuck, Mary, I don't know. I heard his frustrated sigh through the phone. Couldn't see it, but I could tell he was pinching the bridge of his nose. Where are you right now? I'm at the movie theater, but I think it closes soon. Alright, well, do you have anyone else you could call up? Maybe stay with them tonight? I mean... I guess so? Awesome. Great. Sounds good, then. Look, Mars, I really gotta go, okay? If you call up one of your other friends, I'm sure one of them will come to get you. Alright, then. I heard the click of Croven hanging up the phone. Alright, <laughs> call mystery number! It'll, I'm sure that'll go fine. Call up one of my other friends. Well, there's only two of those. Who should I go with? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, Reginald is the obvious choice because he's our boy. But also, Twyla was so mad. Hey, mystery number. Right, Mary needs better friends. Hey, Mary, come hang out with us. We'll be better friends for you. Oh, uh, shit. Shit, fuck. Piss. Ass. <laughs> Call Reginald. I did save, right? I did, okay. Uh, I don't want to bother him, but I don't think Twyla would have taken or taken to me well right now. I heard the phone ring a few times and then he picked up. Mary? It's a bit late, isn't it? Is everything alright? Right, Mary, we will be your friends. Y yeah, yeah. Well, um, actually, I kinda 
Missed my last bus home. And I was hoping maybe I could stay with you tonight da, 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 instead? Da, da, da. Yes, yes, of da, da, course. Da, da, da. Where are you now? Da, da, da. I'll be right over. Thank you. <laughs> Reggie picked up his phone because he's been sitting there for days waiting for us to call. It's fine. I saw the faint outline of Reginald's old car pull up to the side of the movie theater and I went out to meet him. Even though it was raining, he still got out of the car and held the passenger door open for me. Get to see his new car pick. Told him it was silly to do that. I hope I wasn't too late. Caught me in the middle of getting ready for bed, actually. And I wanted to get rechanged. Didn't feel right to leave the home in pajamas. <laughs> no, no, you're good. We drove off to Reginald's apartment amidst all the rain. Because it was so late, there were hardly any cars on the road, so it made the drive a bit safer. Pulled into a parking space next to his building, and he covered me with his jacket as we ran inside. So sorry, I wasn't thinking. I should have brought an umbrella. I didn't mind. We stepped inside to the buzzing of fluorescent lights. Reginald led me to the stairwell, and we headed upwards. I had no idea he lived so high up. He told me that the elevator was broken and apologized for the inconvenience. Are we going to see the same scene as before? I just feel bad for him. Must be a pain to climb up all these stairs, especially after a hard day of work. Once we were in the proper hallway, Reginald began to lead me to his apartment. Okay, never mind. I tried to be quiet as we moved through the hallway, not wanting to disturb any of his neighbors. Before I knew it, we were entering his front door. Da, da, da. Well, here we are. Da, 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 da. I apologize for the mess. Da, 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 if I had the foresight that you were coming, I would have cleaned ahead, uh, cleaned ahead of time. I looked around Le Reginald's apartment. Is this what he considered a mess? Nothing even looked dusty. Thank you for having me over. I feel really bad having asked you to accommodate me at such short notice. I'll try not to lose track of time anymore. Ugh, don't be silly. It's a pleasure to have you here no matter what. Oh, don't worry about sleeping on the couch or anything. You can take my bedroom. It's right next to the kitchen. I'll sleep out here. Huh? Oh, no, Reginald, I couldn't. You already drove me out in the middle of the night to pick me up. I can't take your bed, too. Nonsense, I insist. You'll have a much better sleep, I'm sure of it. <laughs> but don't you have to go to work in the morning? I'd feel awful if you couldn't get a good night's sleep. Oh, don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Nothing I haven't... Oh! Oh dear, I just realized. What? Is everything okay? You don't have any pajamas to wear, do you? Huh? Oh! Don't worry about that. I can sleep just fine in this. How can I not worry? No offense, but although your outfit is quite the ensemble, I don't think it would make for a very nice sleep. Why don't I go out and buy you something really quick? No way. That's... It's really nice of you, but I cannot accept that gift. Or that offer. It's so late, I doubt anywhere is even open. Oh, when there's a will, there's a way. Besides, I need to pick up some things anyways. So please, make yourself at home. Help yourself to anything in the kitchen and don't be afraid to turn on the TV. I'll be back shortly. Reggie. Before I could protest anymore, Reginald was out the door, leaving me, leaving me alone in his apartment. Guess all I could do now was wait for him to get back? Plopped myself onto his couch and turned on the TV. There were some commercials playing, so I didn't know what show was on yet. Yeah, we're not his unofficial girlfriend, so we don't get to look around, but that makes sense and it's fine. I know what's in his, in his house. I've looked around. I've been a creep. <laughs> uh, what's on at this hour anyways? Before I knew it, I heard the sound of a door unlocking, and Reginald was walking through the front door. I watched as he locked the door behind him, dropped off some of the plastic bags he was carrying, and shrugged off his coat. He left one bag in his room, and then proceeded to put some stuff away in the kitchen. Um. <laughs> Basically. Very familiar with the room. It's fine. Uh, then he came to sit beside me. Da, da. So, da, 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 da. what are you watching? Uh, oh, I, uh, I don't know, nothing in da, particular. Da, 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 da. Well, would you like to watch da, 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 something? Da, 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 da. Or would you rather just head to bed? Now that I think about it, I can't remember the last time I actually watched something on TV. Hi, Devo! Reginald passed me the TV remote and told me to put on anything I'd like. He wasn't picky. Maybe we can watch... usually choose the same things in these situations. We're just gonna, we're gonna just lay it on, lay it on thick. <laughs> Flip through a few channels until I found this one. Devo. Cheryl says hi. 
you want to come up? Would you like to? Would you like to come up? He says yes. Pick me up, mother. Mother. Are you happy now? Are you content? You are content. He is happy, boy. Okay, can I? Can I cross my legs so you can sit in my lap? Because I'm not gonna hold you up like that the entire time. <laughs> That's Devo. He's a big old cutie. He's too excited about everything. Look. Look at this face. This face right here. He is purring so loud. It looked like there was some sort of romantic comedy playing. Everyone says hi, Devo. They see you and they're like, baby. And that's all you ever want, isn't it? For people to be like, baby. He says, I don't give a shit. Let me rub my arm or my face all over your arm. Purr, 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 purr. Hi, sweet lad. Um, it seems pretty cute, just from the preview I got of it. Do I watch it? Yo. Da, 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 da. Oh, is this what you wanted to watch? I mean, we don't have to, but I don't know. I was kind of in the mood of some, uh, for something lighthearted and fun. Da, 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 da. No, no, I completely da, 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 da. understand. Something to watch mindlessly almost. Da, 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 da. Something you don't have to worry da, 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 da. about. Content like da, 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 da. that can be so refreshing. Devo, you're so loud. Can you can you sit still? Reginald and I sat and watched TV for a while. He <laughs> he needs all of the pet. It was pretty nice. Though eventually I started to feel tired. You got you gotta sit still, buddy. I think Reginald could tell too. I yawned as I stood up off the couch, thanking him once again for letting me use his room. You cannot chew on my hands either, da, bud. Da, 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 da. Not a problem at all. Da, 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 da. I left the pajamas in the bag for you. Da, 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 da. I think they should fit. Da, 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 da. Good night, Mary. Far too excited. I had a pretty nice sleep, actually. Reginald's be bed felt comfier than my own. But that only made me feel all the worse for taking it from him. I got dressed into my usual clothes and carefully stepped out, uh, out of the bedroom door. After all, if Reginald was still asleep, I didn't want to wake him. But to my surprise, there was no one there at all. Knocked on his bathroom door just to make sure he wasn't using it. But there was no answer. It was then that I noticed a note that had fallen in front of his front door. Da, 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 da. So sorry to leave you alone this da, 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 da. morning. I had an urgent matter to attend to. Da, 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 da. I don't think I'll be back anytime soon. Da, 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 but feel free to help yourself to any food in the apartment for breakfast. All I ask is that da, 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 when you leave, you lock the apartment with the spare key in the end table drawer, and then slide it back under the door. Da, 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 Thank da, da, you. Da, 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 da. I'll talk to you later. I see. I didn't really feel comfortable taking Reginald's food, especially when he's not home. And especially not after all he did for me. I followed his other instructions and left the apartment. Wonder what I'll do with uh wonder what I'll do today. Corbin's been pretty anxious lately. He would never admit it, but it's easy to tell. He's home almost all the time, but never relaxed. He's always pacing, itching, double checking. He's almost always looking at his phone. Sometimes I see him go outside to talk on said phone. He yells at whoever it is that's on the other end. Even from inside, I can hear it. Inside. He's been asking me to stay inside a lot lately, too. It's not just like my parents did back when this all started. I don't know why he asks, or why he asks me. But I do it anyways. Because whatever it is, it's making him worry himself sick. Not gonna, uh, I'm not going to add to that stress. I just wish you would tell me what's going on with him. But I'm not gonna push either. I'll let him tell me on his own time. Don't say, don't say uh oh. Don't say oh no. So as expected, I've been home all day. I haven't done much, though I'd like to change that soon. If I'm staying home anyways, I might as well be productive about it, right? Maybe I'll get a little cleaning t <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> A clean home is a happy home, and it may help take some of the stress away. I just finished washing my face and brushing my teeth for tonight. I was about to change into pajamas and settle into bed when... I received a phone call. So late at night? I reached over to my phone to check who it was. Twyla. That... I figured Twyla would be mad at me still. Why is she calling? Maybe she wants to cash in those favors I owe her. 
but so late at night? Bebo, stop chewing on my hands. Stop chewing on my hands, buddy. I'm gonna have to put you on the floor if you keep chewing on my hands, Devo. Ooh. Oh, hitting buttons. <laughs> Luna. <laughs> He's doing, they're just like, they're just tiny little nibbles. But you can't, those are my hands. I decided to pick up anyways. Hello. Mary? Hello. My love. She sounded like she was out of breath. Hello. Mary, thank goodness you answered. Please, I I need your help. What are you talking about? Are you okay? I am, for right now. Please, I need you to come get me. You're the only person I can rely on for this. I... I don't understand. What's happening? You wanna hop down? <laughs> oh? I don't have time to explain. My phone is low on battery. I don't know how much longer it'll last. But I'm in trouble and I need your help. Trouble? Why didn't you call an emergency number? <laughs> Soon! Soon I will get through it and then we can scream about theories together. I can't. It'll make things worse. You have to believe me. Please. I know I haven't been the easiest on you, but I'm really relying on you right now. Okay, okay. I I think I can still catch a bus. Uh, where are you right now? Do you remember when we met in the bathroom of that club? Yeah, I do. I'm near that building. I'm, I'm hiding in one of the alleys. You do have time to do the Reggie run. Consider... Please hurry and find me, and whatever you do, don't go to the police. Promise me- Twyla? Twyla? Her phone must have ran out of battery. I... I had to go find her. Hold on a second. He's a good boy, though. He's a very good boy, though. Listen, Luna, he's a very good boy, though. I do have my Reggie run up on YouTube, though, if you want to watch it. <laughs> Crowbin was asleep in bed when I answered the phone Even though he didn't really want me leaving the house This this was clearly an emergency I had to go Okay, Devo, I love you my sweet, sweet, darling child You gotta, you gotta go though Like Mary, you gotta go <laughs> I don't, I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> I quietly slipped out of the house, making my way towards the bus stop. Um, pretend it's Regina. Consider. I hopped on the first bus that came and silently prayed that it didn't come too late. We were off to the city once again. Alright. I need to trim my bangs. Sorry, I like keep pushing them out of the way because they're just too... They're too long! They're too long. They're in my eyeballs all of the time. Twyla sounded really bad. Like, it was hard for her to breathe. Is she really okay? I do embrace the bang, but I embrace them so that they don't stab me in the eyeballs. She... Right? Right? There's a long length that works well, and there's a short length that works well. Anything in between, just miserable. I am at the miserable stage. She she told me not to contact the police or anything like that, but how am I supposed to help her? I don't understand. <laughs> I, I think I look odd without something framing my face. Um, and I love my bangs. <gasps> not the eyelash stuck. Not the, not the stuck in the eyelashes. Oh my goodness. If she doesn't want the police involved, then I guess it's not something they're supposed to know about. Is it okay for me to get involved with it then? <laughs> I drop a piece of dust into your eyes. Also, Cyril, I 100% understand this issue. This is 
me all of the time. Travis. <laughs> Do it. Get him. Make him. Make it happen. Um. Alright. I hoped I wasn't making a mistake. There was hardly anyone walking amongst the streets tonight. In fact, I think I may have only seen one other person out here tonight. Luna, I've seen your hair. It's extremely thick. You could definitely do like a, you could do like even an undercut or even a side cut and still get those super long braids and have enough hair for it if you grew it out. Consider both. <laughs> um, in fact, I think I may have only have only seen one other person out that night. <laughs> Consider both. It was eerily quiet. I had to find Twyla. <laughs> it's true. I simultaneously want very long hair, but also very short hair. All of all of the all of the doing, but also none of the doing. Right? Can have both. I have an undercut right now. I need to trim it up. I need to just trim my hair again. But also, you can barely ever see it. It's great. Uh, per her instruction, I made my way towards that hidden club building. <laughs> was it the was it the was it the utensil walrus one? I need to know. I just hope she was still there. It was the walrus. Good. That's a good one. <laughs> um, I checked between each crack and alley I could find. That was like. I was like 16, 16, 17. We were babies. We have been friends for a very long time. Smiley, if Emmy doesn't do it before I do, I will send you, I will send you the picture. <laughs> you guys do your thing. I'm going to keep reading. We're so fucking close. Um, I checked between each crack and alley I could find until Twyla... What happened? Are you okay? I like the sad face above her. <laughs> your head is bleeding. And your shirt. There's blood all over it. No, 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 no. It's just ketchup. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm I'm fine. She coughed. She sounded hoarse. Don't don't be so loud, okay? I tried to quiet my voice, but it was difficult with the sight before me. How did this happen? I was attacked. Huh? By who? I don't know. I didn't see them. I was just trying to investigate. Then suddenly something struck me in the head. I'm lucky it didn't knock me out cold. I somehow managed to get away, but I'm scared they're still trying to look for me. I... I shouldn't have gone alone. Twyla, I... We should call someone. No, please don't. That's more trouble than it's worth. And I don't think I'm in any shape to be interrogated right now. But, please. I just called you to help me get to the hospital. My car, it isn't far, but my leg, I think it's twisted. I can't make it there on my own. You want me to drive you then? No, no, I think, I think I can do that. I just can't do it alone. Please, help me get to the hospital. Yeah, of course I will. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. I kneeled over to help Twyla up. She threw her arm around my shoulder for support. Right as we were about to turn off out of the alleyway... What the fuck was that? Twyla fell to the ground beside me. In complete shock, I turned to the source of the noise. Only to be met with an even bigger shock. Crowbin, you <laughs> motherfucker! What the fucking stupid do you take me for? Crowbin! Mary? We're leaving. What? You just- I shot her in the leg, she'll survive. But you won't, if you leave with her. Huh? She's trying to trick you. She's really good at it too. But maybe if she were better at it, I wouldn't have been here to stop her. I don't understand. What's going on? I'll explain it later. But we need to go. Now. <laughs> Luna! I- this is all too much. You just shot somebody! I didn't even know you had a gun! There's no time for this! You're coming with me! I don't think so. <laughs> oh no! How 
fucking stupid do you take me for, huh? You think that's enough to incapacitate me? I couldn't get any words out. I didn't know what was happening. All I knew was that Twyla's arm was locked around my neck, and I felt the cool, uh, the cool touch of metal brush against my face. Now, unless you think you're a real fucking lucky shot, I'd put that gun down right now. You... You gotta be fucking kidding me. Did you go deaf? Put the gun down or she loses a fucking eye. You, shut up. Twyla choked me harder. What's it gonna be, asshole? Do you like your chances? Uh, fucking hell! Shooter. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Mary? Yeah. 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 Can't do you, bitch! You little bitch! <laughs> Can't do that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Really tried. Kerwin put the gun on the ground. <laughs> Twyla pushed the knife closer to my face. I felt its teeth lightly press into my skin. Kerwin's eyes grew wider as he understood what she was getting at. He held up his hands by his head, defenseless, and took a few steps back. Twyla quickly drew the knife from my face. I'm just glad she didn't manage to scratch me in the process. She then remo removed her arm from my neck. I didn't realize how tightly she had actually been choking me until she let go. Gasped for air and almost toppled over. I stood as still as I could as Twyla walked over and picked up Crovin's gun. Thanks for agreeing to come help me, Mary. I really do appreciate it. <gasps> she aimed it in Crovin's direction. You are a very big help. And then pointed it towards me. Don't you dare. If you do, I ain't telling you shit. I wasn't going to. Twyla walked over to me again. She lifted the gun above my head. Mary? I'm sorry. I was out. Twyla, what the fuck? What the fuck, Twyla? Oh my god. Yoo-hoo! Can you hear me? M Mary? <gasps> Baby! Yoo-hoo! Is that Kara? What? Where am I? Where's Krovin? I was going to ask you the same thing. Crovin went missing. Twyla did too. Or at least she's very good at hiding. It's been weeks since that night. I've not seen or heard from either of them. Supposedly, Zephara found me because Crovin messaged her and told her to come get me. And she didn't hear from, me, from him again after that. I went to the police, even though I know Crovin doesn't like them. That's because they're shit, Mary. I'm sorry to- I'm, well, I'm not sorry to tell you, but... Um, they were the only people left I could think of that might help me. But, just like my parents, it's turning up with nothing. No clues, no evidence. As if they had suddenly vanished. Hi, Ams! Thank you for the lurk, friend! Zapara's been trying to help me look. I thought that... Maybe we were starting to get along before? But it didn't seem that way anymore. She doesn't like talking to me. I can see it. I can feel it. Uh, her messages are short. We never meet for more than an hour at a time. She's always got somewhere to be. She's mad at me. I know she is. Can I blame her? It's like... I took her last friend away. Mine too. It's all my fault. If only I should have listened to Crovin. Maybe then none of this would have happened. It's like everything that had been happening came to a sudden halt. Twyla was gone. Crovin was gone. Even the mystery numbers stopped responding to me. Was this really it? Was this really the end? I still live in a cabin. Or I still live in the cabin. I've got nowhere else to go. I try not to bother, bother Crovin's room too much. He still smells like him when I walk past. And I'm sure when he, you know, comes back, he wouldn't want to see his room a mess. I try not to bother it too much, but sometimes I just can't help myself. I walk in. Samper still has a shirt sleeve hanging off the side. It's 
pillow is still lopsided on his bed. His curtains are still drawn. I walk over to his bed. I lie down. And I try not to cry. My baby! I did get a bad end. I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. See you on Mars! <laughs> Don't you fucking congratulate me! <laughs> how how badly did I fuck it up arcade how badly did I fuck up <laughs> oopsies oopsies many so many endings seven in total is that right did like okay <laughs> fair enough fair enough um i could be wrong uh okay we'll just have to play around with that more that's fine this is this is acceptable i was just trying to get unending um <laughs> i figured the twilight thing was probably not that is being an optimal boyfriend. You just couldn't get any of the pigeons to care about you. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, that was fucking wild compared to the compared to the Reggie route, and Reggie was fucking wild. Let's start that. Um, <laughs> let's start there. I uh this is fine. Like I said, I wasn't necessarily like trying to go for a good or a bad ending. Great a good ending would have been fantastic, but also <laughs> I do want to kind of like see all of the endings so the fact that we got the bad one fine that's fine I can work with this um yeah no I'm looking forward to playing all of the other endings reminder that this game is free on steam um and if people want to check it out themselves I know a handful of you already have or are planning on it there's the link there I will inks inks um, I will 100% post in stream spoiler discussions at some point, um, when I get through some other, some other endings, and then we can all have a conspiracy talk. I might, honestly, I might just throw, <laughs> throw a, a Cemetery Mary, um, section into discord so that people can mute that who don't want to see it and the rest of us can just go fucking wild we'll still do spoiler tags and stuff like that but so we're not taking up any of the other space um <laughs> yeah you gotta you gotta everyone has to play it everyone should play it our buddy here arcade kitten made it please if nothing else go support our friend we love supporting devs here and arcade is now part of the group um, Screwy says, reminder. Screwy says, eat more screws. Screwy says, eat more screws. Uh, it's important. <laughs> I'm picking it up right now. Fucking perfect. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, adding the Cemetery Mary channel. It is in there. Please still be mindful of using, uh, spoiler tags if you're gonna talk about stuff. Um... For those of us who want to do that, uh, yeah, 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 Luna is in, Luna is in, uh, in my server, it is there, um, what was I saying, spoiler tags, make sure you're still tagging things, uh, if it is for a specific route, start out your, your post with that, and then spoiler tag the rest of it, so that people who either are willing to be spoiled, um, <gasps> Panda do it! Do it. Do it. Uh, let us know when you're going to do that. I will try to make sure that my schedule is free so I can pop in and just go absolutely rabid with everyone about it. Um, good game. Even if you're not going to stream it, it's just a very good game. Check it out. It's wild. Art is good. Arcade's great. It's a review for Cemetery Mary by a crow. <laughs> and I bet it's like, wow. 
guns were involved. I don't. I was gonna say something funny, and then it didn't happen. Where is this? I need to see this. <laughs> Annoying crow. There is a character named Crovin. Ka ka. <laughs> um, no, but also seriously, we love we love choose your own adventure stories here. Arcade also has a bunch of other games that you should check out. Uh, all of them on itch.io. Do I have your link available at the moment? I think I do. It is one of the first ones that I have. <laughs> This is fine. Um, if you if anyone else does want to check out Arcade Kittens, um, other projects, they are there. Would highly recommend. It's not me. It's my basement. And here for sweethearts, Crow Scare also very good. Basically, all they're all very good. They're all very good. Hey, they're all very good. It's not me. It's my basement. Is in like I am endeared to it uh, greatly just because that was the first arcade kitten game that I played. Um, but uh, Cemetery Mary top tier fucking do it this is this is what we do arcade you gotta you gotta deal with it we're gonna we're gonna spread the word yeah support the homies or i'll punch you um i won't actually but i will fight you a little bit if you don't but uh <laughs> i have been streaming for over six hours now i need to go get some dinner figure out what i'm gonna do um but yeah, there is a there is a cemetery Mary tab in the server, uh, in my server, under gaming. If you wanna if you wanna post stuff there or just scream about the game with us, you can. Uh, <laughs> I love you all. Uh, no, keep screaming. Do it. Just fucking go. Just scream. That's not how you spell raid. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> there are our raid messages. Let's go ahead and find a friend to go hang out with. Who do we have online? While well, I'm trying to figure out, does anybody have any recommendations? Allie recommended FQK Gaming. Do we know which of the trio is gaming? Doing some Dead by Daylight. We could do that though. Um, why, are you, why are you doing Cyril? No, Cyril, wait, Cyril. <laughs> if you wanna give me stuff, you can, but there's no, there's no pressure. To, to do so um that's fine do we want <laughs> i love i love all y'all seriously i i'm so glad that i got into streaming and that everyone's here <laughs> i need all of the shoe merch i love shoe um but also general reminder that my birthday is in four months i guess so if you want to wait until then that's cool too but anyway, <laughs> let's go hang out with uh, FQK Gaming. They're doing some Dead by Daylight. Uh, I love y'all. Y'all are great. Uh, thank you for sticking around. I know a lot of you have been here basically since the beginning of stream. Um, for, my birthday is in April. April 2nd is my birthday. That when? <laughs> I'm an Aries baby. Um, but no, I know a lot of you have been here, like, since the start of stream. Jesus Christ, it's been a while. Everyone get up, stretch, get some food, take care of yourselves. Um, <gasps> Arcade, when's your birthday? When's your birthday? Tell me, tell me your birthday! <laughs> I mean, I'll definitely remind people, it's fine. March 27th! Woo! Birthday buddies, we're very, very close! I know! Allie, go take a nap or something. Take care of yourself. Anyway, go say hi to our friends. I love y'all. Take care. We'll see you next time. We'll be back with Deadly Premonition this weekend. Okay, bye!